You want a rampage. I want a rampage. But I don't want a ram page. Put it in my bound for glory hole. I love the women, I love the ladies, I love the chicks, mm -hmm. I love the tits, the ass, and the pussy. Mm -hmm. I don't do do. Do your fucking uh -huh. job! Bird. I just, I don't know, just, it just, you know, we're putting something foreign into our bodies and we just don't know what's gonna happen. Then again, I drink alcohol. You got a dick, I'll follow you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I feel like I can eat my fucking grunder hole. I, I basically bust in on her. I hate your fucking guts. I'll kick your ass, Lord. And fuck Bill Goldberg. I play games where you get fucked to death. Creepy sons of bitches. Colonizer. A lot of small ones. I had about motherfucking five, fifteen, uh, motherfucking eighty drinks tonight. I'm coming on your ass, Rick. I'm coming for that ass. <sighs> ha, ha, ha. Oh, yeah. Everybody's kept coming in there. Oh my God, die. Nah. <laughs> Oh, do you want some of daddy? <laughs> it's a Friday night, and I've got an erection, like most of you. And uh, we're celebrating the king from last week's Monetize This. Really mysterious. And we're on Discord. Wow. There's a lot of fucking people on Discord. Holy shit. What the hell is going on? What are you doing, Garguts? What did you do to my Discord? What do you mean? I brought my, all, all my family over. You fucking fucking on my Discord? Bringing on... Fucking Danny MT and Bird and goddamn Devious <laughs> Dave Rose and Getty Lee's trolling lifestyle and fucking hey, yeah. I'm gonna fuck up the show, Joe. I'm gonna fuck it up. What Two up? OGs, Jeremy and Jesse. Okay, we brought them. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. <laughs> we oh yeah. Here. Oh no. Hey man. Insert submit dominance now. So I would have been on the air like a long, about forty <laughs> minutes ago, good. but uh. It's always something, man. One of the kids didn't feel good. I'm like, what? Is anybody going to stop getting sick or whatever it is? I don't know. Facts. Hey, better late than never, man. The guy at my work, it's like, this guy's going to die. Like, everyone's dying everywhere. Like, everyone's sick or dying or finding out they're going to die. or well, Everything dies. Everything dies. They're euthanizing <laughs> people in other countries now. Um, you know, I, I mean... Them. You know, I, I, I won't even get a tattoo because I'm I'm like, yeah, I'll change my mind like the next second. So like, I won't even get a tattoo. Can you imagine if they had euthanasia? I'd be dead by now like seven times. Bullshit. If, see, if you got a free tattoo of fucking um, 
Shawn Michaels, you would tattoo it just about anywhere on your body. I might Probably put, even on your cock. Yeah, I might put an HBK on my like muscle area, like if I had a muscle. Oh god. No, I don't mean that muscle down there. I mean like you know. right on your tit. That'd be fun. Actually, you know what? I'd get a tramp stamp. That's totally me. Yeah, it's insane, uh, sexy boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be honest, like that's something somebody would make a joke, probably like Dave. Even if he didn't like me at the time, he'd be like, he'd be like, oh, you know, Joe, you type guy get a tramp stamp. That's what he would. He would do it. He's right. I would do it. I would get a tramp stamp. I would do it. That's weird. You 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 put it in a heart over your shoulder. You know. Yeah. There you go. Like, instead of mom, it would be like. Sexy boy, or like Shawn Michaels, or something. No, you know? I'd put HB Gay. That's <laughs> what I'd do. I'd put a HB Gay tattoo right on my, right on the tramp stamp area, and then like right where the where the where the where the heart is, where it goes around the HBK, right down the middle of it. Like I would just, I don't know. I don't really have a lot of back hair. I was gonna say I'd shave myself to make it look all weird, but I I really don't have any back hair. It's weird. I like, say sh shave your head. Oh, well, at least a little bit. Um, yeah, it's not much there. It's well, exactly. Yeah. You can you can put the tattoo there, and then you know it'll grow up, you know, over it a little bit, so it'll be camouflaged, but it'll always be there. You know who does have a lot of back hair though is um, how do I Hero? get? No, that Scott video where you sent you guys were sending about him in the shower. I did not oh, send that God. shit to you. Never even saw that shit. Well, who okay. sent it? I saw the preview <laughs> and just like nope. Not gonna watch. Yes, the scrubby. <laughs> yeah, scrubby dub. Yeah, Danny MT did it. Yeah, yeah. So I would say that like it was. It, yeah, dude, it was like so weird. It was like this big patch of black hair. It looked like on his back. I mean, I thought it was his, the hair on his head, like laying down on the back back of his back. But it's not that. That's his actual back hair. He's got a lot. Yeah, of, but he's got like a mammoth scruff. Yes, he's a very berry type of person, like a very bear like uh, a sweater, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, like if dude, if you were lost in the forest and it, you would you would kill him for his his back hair if you ever lost in the forest. Rogue. Yeah, All right, that, for, uh, that's gotta go. The woods and Asquatch. Fucking like rug in front of the fireplace instead of like the bear pelt. Yeah. Scott instead of fucking back pelt. Right. Yeah. Yeah, he's got. Ba it's nasty looking too. That's the thing. It looks like Saddam Hussein's hair. Very you coarse. Yeah, very coarse and. No, it's like it's like wet. You know when like big black hair and it's wet and gross. Like that's what it looked like, dude. It looks so nasty. Like, bro, I almost <sighs> threw he's up on myself. He's reminding his Arab audience about what they have to face, and they have to yeah. live in a hot, temperate environment. So, congratulations, yeah. Joe Awandi is like seething right now. Well, he knows he's <laughs> disgusting. Sending a close up of his. Well, the guy takes photos of his shit. I mean, that's yeah. It's like enough when reason for him to be called. Well, that's the problem is when your skin looks like shit. Oh. Like it just all looks like shit. Like so that's why. And the hair is all <laughs> shitty looking too. Sweaty Fuck. when it's caught and. Oh, it's now a soaking it's sweater is sweaty, what it is. Gnarled, <laughs> sweaty. That's uh, Fuck that's bu Fuck? that's Bullsy's head exploding right there. <laughs> So you stop talking about Colonel Santos like that. Yeah. Damn. Hey, you seen Colonel Santos? His fucking red beard, though, right? He's got a pretty good beard. I yeah, I can see him because oh, he's like three feet tall. No, no he's really he's got him. a beautiful red beard. Oh, it's beautiful what he has. Yeah, he's how many fucking... three feet? How tall is he? Like three feet tall. Guys that dyes them red. You know, I don't know what he does or why or whatever, but it's I'm telling you, man, it's something. Just playing Viking. He sells bananas. The people I know who's got red beers are Vikings. Yep. <laughs> he sells, he sells bananas. Gingers. You know what? I, uh, I I saw I just saw that hair, man. And I don't know, man. I, I like he that guy has done a lot of weird stuff over the years, you know. But man, I'll tell you, seeing that back hair, it was it just I almost enough to throw up. Like it's the I ugh. <laughs> Like, dude, I don't know why, but that was just so gross. Like, the wet hair, and I don't know. It, ugh. It's like pubes are, are engulfing his back. You, you see, like, Cronin, you're not helping, bro. That's, yeah. I got a visual now. If you're in the rodeo and you're not fucking using the reins on a Bronco, like, you could have enough hair mm. to fucking grab with your fist and fucking ride Scott around. Ugh. Danny. Ugh. Oh. Oh. 
and just think about that. And think about the smell. Uh, think about the runs. Why? I, I'm not even picking on and him at all. I I don't even have a problem with him. I I haven't had a not, I don't have a problem with anybody. But I'm just saying the oh, hair, man. Like I listen, you can make fun. I don't have hair the right mind. I think my hair kind of a little bit like that too. Like my facial hair. There's something gross about when something don't come in right. And there's also something gross about when it's just like looks that much. I don't know what it is, bro. I, it's just I, it's something off, you know. Well, you you you've never really like hit puberty. Like you're so patchy as fuck. Like yeah, that's, that's I, was, I just impregnate you know, women. That's all. That's it. Yeah, your semen works. Yeah, that part yeah, it, is loaded. It's just it doesn't make any sense. You would think I wouldn't have any testosterone. You think there'd be something would be wrong, you know? So I I don't I don't get it. It's like God gave me the sperm, I guess, but not the facial hair. All right. You just can't grow sideburns. Yeah. I can't grow the white and beard on your face. And I certainly have a a gay old time. (laughs) Wipe wipe your own jizz on your face. Maybe that'll work. Uh, I've tried that, actually. That's funny. I know you did. That's a damn lie. Oh, you know it. I give hand jobs like a 70 year old Asian woman. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a little bit. Are, the, are, are they good? I, I, what, what you might you, my, you <laughs> might you might uh, my new daddy scissor me ass ba- ass man. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know, man. That's a very strange thing. You know, I was looking for my clip the other day. I made a funny clip. I thought it was kind of funny about Italians, and I don't know where it went. But oh well, it's gone. But I I, I basically I said like they were gross or something, and it was just to me it was funny. I don't know. I lost it though. Yeah. You ever you ever see two Italian people like you know. F- talking to each other and the they go they go oh paisan or whatever and you're just like your people are gross <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> i found it right as i said i couldn't find it i fucking found it <laughs> that's exactly what i that's exactly what i think of fucking italians are just like they all look like they smell really fucking yeah. bad like especially yeah. the fat ones and i feel like it's okay for you to say this about italians because yeah. they're like probably because well, i am racist some people because I am part well, that, of partially Italian. No, no, the, the Arabs are the racist people. They're the most racist. Well, for years, I, don't know if I thought this thing called the Sopranos, but they're pretty racist on. There. I, I yeah, used well, to think I thought cheese came from Italians. I thought it was when you just rub their bodies, you, <laughs> like in the just, cheese just, comes out. Are the most racist, but uh, let's continue. No, that was never true. No, that Stop actually lying. is true. I can uh, prove that. Stop really? lying, hockey. Please, please. I feel like, no, 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 Dave, I feel like blacks and Italians are probably on that same boat where it's like they're racist. With the but then boat? again, they're also, they're also super like uh, hypocritical. They're like, oh, don't talk shit about uh, Christopher Columbus Day. He's an Italian hero. And it's the same thing with black people always trying to like, you know, oh, no, no, it's not racist because this person, yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny, though, actually. And well, you're a Hispanic ass racist? can get out of here. So having slaves is not racist, huh? Yeah, I just ask the blacks. I don't know. Well, but what it all boils down to is the Italians. They shouldn't have sold their own people. Wait a minute. We're going to really skip over the whites? I mean, I got to hate them. See, this is yeah, Dave. Exactly. See, this is Dave. No, will, no. Because uh, slavery existed no. in Africa long before the whites even got there. But this is okay. this is you, this is you painting me as I hate my own race right here. This I've been painted in the corner. Well, no, I, I can do that for quite some time. Well, in then fact, you take the, the whites. Segue. You protect the whites. Perfect segue, Joe. Yes. Let's talk about how uh, Yeezy, Mr. Kanye West himself, stirred some controversy by wearing a shirt that said, White lives matter recently. Oh yeah, well he's crazy. So I mean, they don't care. <laughs> Troll yeah. job or because he made a video, like he made a few interviews afterwards. I don't know if you can play those, but um, he was talking about things where he said, "No, this is absolutely true, and I believe it." Blah blah blah. So I was just wondering what everyone thought about that. Well, basically, <laughs> Kanye West is a guy who goes against the grain, and when 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 everybody is seeing one. When everybody is seeing one color, he sees the other color. And when everybody wants to go one way, he kind of goes the other way. And that's how he goes with everything. So what this should do is open people's eyes up. Because at one point, people were like, man, Kanye West is a genius because he sees things and the people don't understand. But then when he does this, now he's crazy. Now he's just a lunatic and whatever. Not only that, not only that he's just earned this reputation because of you know the media just basically trying to attack him at every point because he supports Trump and stuff like that. So now anytime he says anything or wears shirts like that say white lives matter, people will just laugh it off and be like, "Oh, he's crazy. He's crazy he doesn't know what he's that. talking about." You need you, yeah, you need like you need a someone who's not 
like never what's his name terry cruz or whatever yes. who said he didn't support the black lives matter movement and he i think people listen to him when he said it because they get rid of him he doesn't have this yeah he doesn't have this negative reputation he yet been. no he's been excommunicated from everything also, Joe, I, I mean, look, he's still I, on that. He's, he's, he's also not that, big uh, enough, dude. He's Terry Crews is not even close to as big as Kanye West, really. So I thought he was dead. He's not dead. No, I've seen him. He's on American no, Idol. You're whatever dead. Fuck that show is called. America he's got talent. America got dancing? talent. Is he on the dancing thing? I Joe, was sorry. I, would, I gotta bring this up. Go uh, ahead. I'd love Terry Crews to have sex with me. I I'm just supportive say that. of uh, whether what, whatever it is that that Kanye is doing, trolling or just actually believing. Oh, I crashed because they got my video on. My computer is dog shit. Well, Terry Crews is a coon. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> why? Why? No, I want to know why. The guy got sexually assaulted uh, by a Jewish fucking, well, two Jewish. He's a sellout. That's what it is. Oh, what my I God. Why? Dude, why? Because he's he is black a sellout. against what black people. Wait, wait, wait. Did he get on, raped on. by his fucking <laughs> security black people, guard? Black people don't, black people don't like have... when other black people make money, and they especially don't like it when other black people have white friends, because then that means, oh, no, they're more successful than me. It must be because they're sellouts. He and is a sellout. Wait a minute. Come on, man. Wait, wait, I need to I get clarification. He got sexual assaulted and didn't do nothing about it. Yeah, it's sexual assaulted, yeah. Oh. In front of everybody. The guy grabbed his dick in front of everybody. Grab his, and didn't do grab his shit. <clears throat> yeah, right? I feel, like whatever you just, I feel like whatever you just said is probably false. Just the way it came out of it's your mouth. But either way. It, it came out of Terry Crews' mouth. <laughs> it came out of his mouth, you retards. Uh oh. You know what would be Yo, funny? Yeah. Yo, what's up? All right, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Word. Hang on a second. What are you saying, Dave? Can you show the image of fucking th that image that you just showed again, but focus in on Kanye's neck, please? <gasps> His neck? His sexy yes. black neck. Um, I, well, I guess, you know what? My apologies for being so curt with you. Um, there are way too many people on this call, but regardless, there, what really, I'm just trying there to really is a lot of people here. Uh, he's, uh, he's got a sausage neck, and regardless of whether he's trolling or he believes this, and I support him either way, because... You know, uh, I, I bet you do. You work, I, uh, you work for white people. Sausage neck. Sausage neck. Hey, Terry Crews, you know what it is? He's a dancing monkey. That's exactly what he oh, is. Oh, come on. That's, that's exactly come how he on. is. Don't you shuck and jive? It's, isn't that all, you know? Your Actually, thing? Hey, didn't you say you, uh, y'all, you live in a jungle in Brazil and y'all worship like gorillas in the mist or something? Didn't no, Brazil is different from Argentina, dude. Only the north. What does it matter? This is monkeys. Is that, has, uh, that's the guy, yeah. right? Yeah, so I just yeah. Sausage neck, baby. Uh, I just think like mouth. Kanye West has just gone full Marilyn Manson, man. He knows how to get attention. I'm fucking running this. Okay, thanks. Well, he's a damn drug addict too. That's why y'all don't know that. You know who's a drug addict? Your entire family, probably. So why don't you just be quiet? Oh uh, no, none of them. <laughs> why, why do you know all these? Why do you know all these things about Terry Crews that seem not <laughs> true? <laughs> he said it, you by, the, by the way, Terry Crews forgot to pay for his dinner this one time with me. This motherfucking piece of shit, Uncle Tom, motherfucker. I'll be fucking dies of cancer. He is Uncle but anyway, Tom. he's Uncle Tom. You're right. <laughs> Show us on the doll where Terry Crews touched you. <laughs> oh, he, he, admit, he, he admitted it on TV. He told it. Yeah, you gotta touch me. I ain't do nothing. Pussy. Probably, probably put it in. Just poked it yeah, in there right. all the way. Yeah, yeah. This is what AJ Adams should be talking to fucking uh, you know recovering rape victims. Like, bitch, you should have done something when he fucked you. <laughs> no, no. AJ a, AJ Adams talks to recovering rape victims. They're gonna think they're back at the rape because he sounds just like the guy that did yeah, it. This guy was working oh, one of those crisis lines. Terrible. I think that people would rather be raped than listen to his voice. But either way, I mean, but he's got some good points about Terry Crews. I mean, I'm sure he's a terrible person, even though he's all shucking and jiving and smiling every time I see him. He's always happy. He's exactly. a sweetheart of a guy. Shucking and, like. shucking and jiving. He's a little bit right. too happy, right? Something's going yeah. on. That's, well, well, that's what white people like. They like happy black, black people. Trying to keep a black man down. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You see, me and Dave are agreeing for one time. Like, you know, we're, we're real... Uh, we love black people. We just don't like to see him be uh, kept down by the other black people. That's you know? another like lie. That's another lie. Stop lying. 
No, because uh, we know economics, and uh, the in the long um, run, it's a net negative. If you actually own slaves, if you actually, and I'm being totally honest, you own slaves, especially back in the day. If you want to calculate it, back in the day, it actually ended up costing them more. Uh, so yeah, yeah. So I'm talking well, yeah. technically well, you're you're, you're, they have, you're they two have Hispanic men. Well, uh, you're both Hispanic and he's um, You built the pyramids. Which one was it? Huh? Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> he don't understand. What did you do? What did you do? Say, what Listen, I'm just wondering, Dave, what did the black what, guy what say? Dave, oh, Dave, before you speak black to AJMs, just be to get his attention every time you start a new sentence, just say crack pipe before everything you say. And <laughs> you know, okay. he'll be like, oh, what? Well, what did say? Hey, I get Crack I get his attention to say anyway. sister kisser or something like that, cousin yeah. lover, and that'll get his attention. I have a yeah. question. I'm like, compare it's of, like, of of Egypt. Yeah, they built the pyramids. They built the Sphinx. What did the black slaves build? Fucking, they didn't build those uh, those highways. Those were all post slavery. They built, so uh, chicken and uh, Popeyes. That's true. Right. They lived in. They See. built um. <laughs> oh no, we don't build no better. Yeah, that's I'm just saying, like, why couldn't you guys pick up the slack a little, you know? <laughs> yeah. You well, know, we like the the Talk way, about the know, wrong people. <laughs> Talk about the wrong people to make slaves. If everybody, if, if the whole world had been smarter, if the, if those Egyptians back in the day had been smarter, they would have gone down to Mexico and grabbed some of those motherfuckers. They might have actually worked, like, much harder. You know what I mean? Well, no, they are. They no, are. They fucking sacrificed them by the thousands. These yeah, go to Venezuela. Oh, that's what the Aztecs did, but and, I'm saying. And they build pyramids yeah, there, too. Go to, go to yeah. Chile, Venezuela, and enslave them idiots. Uh -huh. like, it's, 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 just please, enunciate well, your words, please. I yeah. mean. Come on. Like, well, nobody can hear nothing with you running your mouth all damn night. No, no, stop that, because I was waiting for you. Oh, to oh, oh you do run your mouth. Why could you actually oh, just speak properly? My, always um, mumble oh, rapping. Always, like, every, all damn yeah, night, it's been like a minute. <laughs> all damn night, it's been like five minutes since the show it's started. It's already a fight. Yeah, every time comes on. <laughs> well, we might have to mute somebody. We'll find out. Hey, Bird, uh, what do you think, man? If you had to be, if you were stuck, all right. Say you're 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 in you're in San Francisco. A mob of LGBTQ molesters are around you, right? Like, but I'm not saying like the good people. I'm saying the the people <laughs> people like bad ones. Like, you know, you have bad everybody, bad white people, bad this type of people. But like, uh, you know, just a mob of you know. And they want to rape somebody, and you're the one they're going to rape. How do you get out of that? Would you, would you, uh, how would you escape their attack? I would fucking shoot somebody in the face and run everybody else over. Oh, so you're in a, you're in a car and you're like, you ever you ever see two Italian people like you know f talking to each other and the, they go they go oh paisan or whatever and you're just like your people are gross. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, yeah. dude, but it, you oh, donated yes. 50 bucks. I'm going to take my dick out because you donated 50 bucks. You donated 50 bucks, motherfuck boy. I'm a rich motherfucker. Whoa. And it's so damn lucky they have the acclaimed as tag team champions right now because oh, yeah. they were the lone highlights on both Dynamite and Rampage this <clears> week. <throat> WWE are going to keep teasing Bray Till Survivor Series at this rate. Points to Joe. Man, you might be waiting that oh. long. Damn, Soundwave, thank you for the fifty dollars. Give me Scissor the me, Aspa. Ah, Soundwave, thank hey, you. D hey, D West, maybe Joe will uh, sleep with your damn wife again. He said like points to you, Joe. Oh, with yeah. my dick. Maybe I'll Holy give uh, I'm, I'll give him. Uh, I'll Soundwave. give him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just came somewhere else. There, black Hebrewite or whatever the fuck you can call yourself. I heard the baby mother's a horse. Oh my! Speaking of D Welsh, D Welsh, hold on. I want to say one thing, D Welsh. Um, you were saying a few weeks ago that uh, no, the white rabbit is not uh, Bray Wyatt. It's Carrion Cross and this and that and blah 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 blah. Now the more that, and again, I think this little Easter egg hunt for mm -hmm. WWE marks is fucking retarded. While well, they shit on fucking AEW people. And I'm not hating on AEW or on WWE, but like, look, you want to do your little fucking rabbit chase? Fine. Okay. It's kind of fucking 
and cool. Pointless. Right. Um, I mean, what, I mean, what's the point? Well, I don't get no, what I'm asking from from fucking D Welsh here is for him to explain what he thinks now. Is he going to backtrack on what he said about uh, it not being Bray Wyatt or what? Did he say which one's Dave? He just donates like five hundred bucks. <laughs> Maybe I mean it is it is a little weird when you see D Walsh in like the comment sections like he's screaming at people like it's just like I don't know you're not as I I feel like you get a lot wrong (laughs) now he's running his mouth again and watch him look at him he was screaming at people in the chat saying no you're stupid it's not Bray blah 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 obviously it's Carrion Cross this and that blah blah so I'm thinking why would it be Carrion why would it be Carrion they already repackaged him because his logic is beyond my comprehension but he's here in the chat he's got a wrench he can easily call in why doesn't he explain himself he's gonna start suspending people like hey you're out of the chat blah 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 blah. you're blocked that's true I don't even have a wrench so I better go watch my ass you had one Dave had one for eight years, I don't have a fucking wrench. <laughs> yeah, well, you you give had one somebody's too. address again, like you did before. Oh, uh, oh! Don't uh, threaten me with a good time, there, buddy. You'll be next, AJ. <laughs> well, well, I'm, no, I'm, what are you I'm talking there. about? He has no listed known address. Oh, AJ, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He, he didn't call Campground somebody's seven. address. He just threatened to call their job. I That's have all. you know, I live at Occupy <laughs> Wall Street, <laughs> location number six B. There ain't no address as a P.O. box. <laughs> Not even, man. He can't even afford that. I live in, uh, I live in an address. His, his address, is, a, his address is the local <laughs> convenience store that he fucking hangs out outside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a place on the corner called Liquor and Such. Liquor and <laughs> Suck at that. I don't drink liquor. What the hell are you talking about? Got, some Indian guy's apartment. family-owned business. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I actually live next to the Western Union. <laughs> not let him. Why don't you send He's me a Western Union? Western Union. <laughs> S- send me a Western Union check with the cum of your dad on it. Let me have that. I'd like to have that. I don't even know what that means, but we know you ever, in the freezer you ever, section you ever, of the supermarket. <laughs> so let us get the dad's semen sample. Well, it sounds like a fantasy that you made up in your mind there. So uh, maybe you need. Well, to- sounds like a fantasy. Hey, it sounds like a fantasy you have in your mind. I'm- <laughs> we got to get Bolzy's take. Like, I got to get Bolzy's take on what was going on. In is, that, uh, is that uh, Bowser it's from the new uh, trailer for Super Mario Bros.? Hey, dude, wait a minute. Did you see that guy? Uh, I remember that one. Uh, Dave, I don't know if you're subbed to this guy, but I don't remember his name, but a particular guy I'm subbed oh, to. Oh, we call somebody a bitch. I wonder and he, um, oh, you interrupted me, you fucking goddamn, goddamn oh, fucking so onion. Um, oh, no, hey, I'm just. How to find your dad? Oh, he's dead. I forgot. Oh. Let the hate um, flow through. You. No, but uh, yeah. let me tell you something. The other day they compared the Mario, the French Mario. The French Mario is like, I think it sounds like Mario, and the Chris Pratt just sounds like Chris Pratt. Like the Chris I'm Pratt so Mario. About that. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've heard a lot of people criticize that, and I. I honestly I mean, think it's I'm not just really that invested in it to even give a fuck, but I, I don't you know, either. Some people are really mad. It's not for me. It, I'm not going to get that mad about it because whatever. It's Mario. I think it's, but to me, this movie is for mm. kids five and under. Like it's not. It's not at all for older people. At least it's not no Sonic the Hedgehog. I, I, I said fire no. the. I, I think it's the trailer. I said fire the guy who made the trailer. Why, I can understand why people would be mad about him not sounding like Mario because think about all the outrage people had when. You know, Ariel was black or some shit like that. It's just like, it's the same with Mario. It's like, dude, why can't you just have him sound like Mario? Why does he have to sound like Chris Pratt? Why does he have to sound like no Chris Pratt? Generic. The thing is, though, like the guy that we heard for years. Yeah, well, Chris Chris Pratt was on saying like, oh, I I was so careful with you know, doing this voice and trying to come up with this voice, and then we hear the voice and it's like it sounds just like you. What the so fuck it doesn't compare do? to Ariel being black because the story yeah. is a Danish story who yes. features a well, mermaid that has frost-type light skin and almost silverish hair. 
It's well, in I mean, the it, it, it should compare. I compare it to, oh, if you're mad about the aerial thing, if you're mad about the aerial thing, then you should be mad about this because it's just as stupid. No. The guy has been Italian. No, because the guy's been Italian the whole time. Imagine if they well, fucking yeah. got Labar, Lamar Verton or whatever the fuck his name is to fucking voice Mario. <laughs> it is. It Le is Ver- true. They've, they've got a like a Lavar shit face. How about this, Rojas? You've got the outrage about. Um, Fuck, what's his name? He's going to be playing Castro in an upcoming movie. James Franco, right? Oh, yeah. So you've got... Um, That's terrible. James got Franco's terrible back. Casting decision. Hold on. Hold on. First he, of all, if you look at the He photos, looks pretty good, up, actually. I've seen it. Also, it was... Um, I want to say Guillermo del Toro, but it's not him. It's fucking... Um, Benicio? No, it wasn't Benicio either. Uh, God damn it! Why am I forgetting this? But okay, he was he played Benny Blanco in um, in uh, Carlito's way. Uh, Leguizamo, John Leguizamo, oh. John. Yeah. So basically, well, he was in Mario Brothers. He's like, he, no, he he came out straight out as soon as this was announced. He criticized James and Franco, saying, "No, we need more Latino representation. This and that." Turns out that this guy's fucking family is Latino, and that his fa- his like his father was born in the same place that Castro's father was born. That like he's got like really similar genetics and all that sort of thing. And Leguizamo was just like pissed off and like trying to start shit when, you know, not only if you look at the guy, he he has a, a similar look. And again, why do you have to cast somebody who is that ethnicity if they have the look? You cast them, but more importantly, he's got the look and he's got the ethnicity. Leguizamo is a fucking pussy. Yeah, that's true. You, know what? <laughs> you did. You did uh, bring up something that I that I do agree with. As long as the character or the actor has the look of the character, I mean, I wouldn't mind if a Hispanic guy who looked really, really white played like Superman. You know what I mean? Because it's like, it's like I'm not gonna really that care if happened. his last name is dude. That already happened. Didn't what? Didn't Dean Cain look kind of? What is his background when he played Superman? Who the fuck's, on? Dean, who the fuck's Dean Kane? Dean Kane. Dean Ambrose and fucking Kane tag team together. Uh, there was a there was a TV show. The time. There was a TV yeah, show. TV show. Yeah, it was a TV show with Lewis and Clark, and it was about Lewis and Clark. yeah. The new oh oh yeah. Yeah, and yeah, Dean yet, Kane, the I mean, Dean Kane. No, but there has been. Luke is right. Seriously. There has been times where somebody has not been. You know that ethnicity has been cast that role and has fucking blown it out of the park. Mm-hmm. And there it's also is times where characters. This was a good show. I actually, time. this show was pretty good, to be honest. Doctor Doolittle. There's, been, <laughs> well, there's been times yeah. where characters will be re- recasted as black, and I, I really won't care. Like, what's the guy, the fire guy from uh, Fantastic Four? Honestly, Michael J. Hey, Michael B. Theory. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan is such a great actor that I was like, okay, I'm excited to see him play. I mean, I I wish that he was playing like a an original Why? black uh, uh, superhero. Exactly. Now can I mean, now can white I mean, people? I mean, you guys bring up. You guys start every show with race. Do you realize that? You ever think about that? It's just but I think he fit the character better than um than fucking when uh. Captain America did it in the no, early 2000s. Thing, though, Fox was running it, okay? As soon as Marvel, for example, mm-hmm. took over certain franchises, they were running shit, okay? So it's 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 not because, oh, I want to see alternative to this shit. It's like, let's keep it pure. Okay, how about this? How about uh, Static? Um, static Shock. Yeah, Static Shock fucking um, Great TV show, movie by the way. or mm. TV show from D.C., Right, not a so shitty they, fucking CW, you know, whatever. No, they have a they do. It was a cartoon <laughs> back then. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. It started off as a comic book. Again, a lot of yeah, people don't even realize yeah, that started. I understand it started off as a comic book. I'm saying was, there's already a cartoon brand, of it that's really good. Well, the brand was called Milestone. What was it? A DC offshoot from all black creators and artists, and they wanted to create. So, again, they realized, okay. Well, uh, we would like to see more. Not that we're not being represented, because anybody can look at uh, Optimus Prime, black, white, green, or blue, and be like, that's my man, my man you know? So they just said, let's, let's start off. Jesus. This and that's true. He-Man could be anybody, okay? Four. Back in the day, kids don't give a shit about the fucking color of, their, uh, of people's skin. They just want to fucking emulate somebody they admire. Right. So these people said, okay, let's start Milestone. 
and I don't, I don't know, know if you I guys certainly know that comic, uh, I, line, but uh, but Static Shock came from that, as did many other uh, like heroes. Icon, Icon, yeah, there was a lot, and it was a sort of con you know contained mm. universe, but it did have crossovers and stuff. All black, all black writers, all black artists, all that sort of thing. And they created something that was original, unique, and not just trying to say, oh, uh, let's just take one of these many characters, make them black, and oh, now it's original. Yeah, or or in the case of fucking Black Panther, right, where they made, where it's like, oh, it was so amazing. And then you look at the trailers from the movies and it looks like fucking dog shit. And you're like, holy shit. So it's either we get we get reswap of a white character with a black guy or we get a terrible fucking shitty uh marvel fucking explosion cgi fest with fucking like ps2 graphics uh that's our yeah, representation for black people <clears throat> what i want to know is that if we could do race no, but then, swap yeah but they if you could do a race swap with like an entire cast like they did that with um death death at a funeral that was like an original you know, it's called the Wiz. You ever seen that musical? Yeah, Where's the Wiz the too. But can Where's you do the, it backwards? The problem when you need them, right? Can you do it backwards though? Can I like swap out like a all black movie and just make them all Mexican? And I'll be yeah, like, well, uh, you, probably, you probably could do the Mexican stuff. Weird, the white guys have. Well, Mexican no, there's a good Africa? example of this. There's a current good example of this. It is uh, what's the what's the movie coming out? Or it already came out actually now, but. It was out. It's the it's West Side Story. Didn't they do West Side Story in a different sort of setting? Or so I think they still had Puerto Ricans um, and the whites. I guess. Yeah, they, they, that was kind of changed around. See, I don't have a problem yeah, with that sort of thing. I don't know. That doesn't bother me because you're taking a classic story and you're sort of adapting it to some place. It's even Santa oh, Claus. Stop. No, you know what? Okay, this, this is what bothers me: is why are you adapting it to new time. You know what, King Kong. The story of King Kong works perfectly in the 30s when it was placed. You don't need like in Japan, you know, right? They did recently and stuff. And they not in America, so though, right? Because now King Kong's yeah. done, they do King Kong in New York, but so that's the same thing. It should be done over in Asia somewhere. No, it, King it, Kong was American. You know, but what I'm saying is Godzilla. updated. Okay, Godzilla, so like sorry. the original one was in, you know, the 1998 Godzilla. That sucks. No, I'm just saying Godzilla. Well, like when he was a dinosaur? That would that be like when he, yeah. you know, Asian people would be like, oh, what the fuck? It's supposed to be here, not in America. Now Godzilla's in New York. Like, what the fuck? You know, I actually no, 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 Asian, that. I Asian, people, Asian people yeah. actually have this to say about it. They're like, oh, get the fuck out of here. No, you know what? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what Asian people have to say about it. Asian people go, oh, I don't know what that's about. I get good grades in math. That's what they say. <laughs> I'm going no, to college. It, if you watch, if you watch Godzilla, dude. They actually explain that that's another creature called named Zilla, and they have it reprise its role in like this huge monster battle, and they just throw it over the mountains, and you never see it again. Oh, <laughs> like, that's, yeah. that's what we're gonna the do Rocketeer. with your people. The Rocketeer Joe. is great. Yeah. Would you? Would Rocketeer, you? Great. Would you basically re-put that, like recast it, whatever? into today's time or would you keep it in the 1930s which is the pulp fiction where it was you know supposed to be placed in yeah i mean i would keep it there because it just exactly loses. that's yeah. the point i'm saying is that some movies again why update it like uh, you know oh like we're just retelling it at today's time you know what the past isn't that bad admit, uh, why don't we I just admit, fucking stay with the past yes, they, dude dude they think the current present is like full of racist insanity so can you imagine what the past is to all these people now that are nuts so like no, no, no. I, let me interject for a minute i think it's a little more impressive to bring them into modern times where you're hitting them with all the modern revenue and it's not doing a thing well what? um um, yeah, I, I'm, I know what he's talking about. He's saying the modern thing. Like, if you did Rocketeer nowadays, they, it wouldn't be the the charm of the old one and, like, and sort of the charm of that time period. It would be, like, you know, like, almost like a comedy or something. Iron Man. Let's yeah, remake like Iron Titanic. Man. Guys, let's Iron remake Man. Titanic for today's time. Yeah. No, oh, that will definitely work be that way. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. definitely going to get remade. The problem is, Dave, what's annoying, even more annoying, instead of reworking it to, the, to today's time, a lot of the times the remakes will will be set in, like, 1905, but, like, 
upper class people there will be just randomly like black and hispanic upper class people and it's like that didn't happen in 1905 in america so sorry i got it, it. Not, they can't they can't not a fucking yeah so it, they can't remake the titanic today it's called carnival that fucking fucking thing where people were trapped on it for like a week and shitting in the fucking hallway yeah see that the real titanic is fucking it's it's giardia tannic such examples but real no, the but real the point Titanic. is that you're not going to remake the movie Titanic and it's going to be like on a carnival cruise ship and like it, yeah. it, the Titanic story obviously is unique. You're not going to, again, it's not going to take place in mm -hmm. fucking 2022. It's going to take place know. in 1910. I don't know, Dave. Some Hollywood executives listening to you say that right now, like, you know, I'm giving them good, like, that's that's a good time. idea. Damn, Titanic <laughs> part two starts with ideas that they'll no. fucking shit on the floor and try to look into patterns to see what they can think. The next thing and they'll do they're is gonna, they're the, gonna remix the Titanic song aren't they, with Nicki Minaj. Aren't they building the new Titanic? Isn't that happening right now, or did that already happen? I forget. Aren't I think it's happening now, isn't it? China, China, I think it's just building a replica of the Titanic and uh, right. it's supposed to be ready for sale but so i don't know if that's the movie who remembers those fake titanic 2 trailers Dude. where they would pretend to lift the, the ship out of the water <laughs> <laughs> and then like at the end it was like some copy and paste fucking like tombstone of rose and jack would be like bros <laughs> it was like terribly edited but it'd have like a million views because people didn't know how fake trailers worked back then <laughs> <laughs> this looks good are they, are they are they building it exactly the same? Back. Remember the Rick Rolls? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I get Rick Rolled by my kids all the time now. They're like, you got, oh, you got so Rick Rolled. Like, what? Yeah, oh, yeah. The, my kids do you, it. They're you, like, should, uh, you should spank them for uh, yeah. Rick Rolling you. Well, because they just, okay, they well, just discovered line. it. He doesn't have to do that. He but, just rapes them instead. Yeah, oh, but no they Titanic. You guys are going a little too far. A little bit of a, a belt is uh, good for uh, the arm health. I can't and, do that uh, anymore. I just think that shit's gay. I mean, I just think it's like you have to. I don't care what you say. I feel like you have to get a little bit of an erection if you're spanking your kid bare ass with a fucking belt and just being like, "What? Oh, yeah, that's the sexual abuse that you face. That's not regular people." Sorry. And then like you gotta like, and then you also have to. That's your stepdad get to you too. It. This is weird. Well, yeah. I mean, Dave brought it up, not me. No, you're like, <laughs> rape, you're talking no, about raping no, your kids and stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a shit. proper parent if I was one, but uh, yeah, it gives me more pain uh, to hit you than you're receiving, as they it's say. Very That's why strange. kids aren't allowed near your fucking house. I'm, so, I'm some asshole. It's got a couple <laughs> dozen people watching me. I didn't hear that line, but it really doesn't matter. You uh, you were abused. Really, really quickly, everybody, guys, you can actually see, wasn't. You'd you can be surprised. See, you can. See, you really sound like you have been by your sister. Just called uh, um, a little these cuddle. at the top. These are the numbers at the top. By Feel my free sister, to do yeah. it. Yeah, by your sisters yeah. while you're sleeping. Um, the donations are up top. If you want to donate the chat, the link is in the chat right there. You can super chat or you can use the link and it's pinned. Go ahead and do it. Have some fun. I'm on the board. We have some donations. Let's play one. You raised a piece of shit. AJ Adams' dad never came home after going out for a pack of Newports in 1983. <laughs> yeah, he never came <laughs> home. <laughs> He never he came home after he, after he came in his crying wife's face. Like, he never came it home. Turns yeah, out his dad was Terry Crews. That's why he hates him so much. No, if it was Terry Crews, he'd be begging him for money or something like that. Like, this is just nothing. Banning in Newports now? Anything with fucking menthol? Yep, nothing in the Massachusetts. Oh, shit. We got to go to New Hampshire family. to get them. Yes, it's actually me. Just showing love tonight. Hey. I will pay Rastafa to wear a White Lives Matter hoodie. Also, hi, stalkers. Oh. I'll never oh. call you out again. You respect me. I shall love back. Scott donating. I don't believe that's really him, but thank okay. you for the $12. I do have to say, though, for that $12, the Look at His Look song didn't play. What the hell's up with that? I got to figure that out. Scotty. Okay, Scotty, you've been keeping us up all night. You all <laughs> fucking <laughs> night, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was fucking Scotty. Scotty. In the fucking house. In and out oh, of the fucking shit. door. Right, I'm you, sorry. You remember that? Wow. You remember that? That was really good. And I like, what, I I like the banging on the door. I can make. I like you the know, banging you can use on the door. Your, uh, your ringer. Your, yeah, that, uh, phone. Th that was really good. Like, I don't know where that. If I have that clip, but I'll tell you I what. Got, dude, all you have to do is ask, and I will provide. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I got Scotty. it. Scotty, <laughs> you kept us all Scotty. night, boy. You kept us up all night, boy. 
Uh, here it is for for like Scott. Him, he's like, and he's like, what? 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 He's what like, the what fuck? the fuck? Who's on that podcast? Yeah, fuck yeah. There it is. That's the twelve dollar look at his look. Yeah. And look at his look, how he looks. 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 Look at his look, you get shook. Look at his look, you get shook. Look at his look, how he looks. Look at his look, he looks like. Crook. Look at his look, you getting kind of shook. Look at his look, look at his look, how he looks. Look at his look, you get you should. This is a test donation. There for it $12. is. Thank you. Um, it might really be. I don't know. Um, that's his uh, probably 900th name that he's remade. If that's really him, we've been uh, we've only banned about 900 Scott names, but uh, he just that's keeps, all. he keeps coming back for more. Damn. Well, it's weird because a month ago he was—I heard he was bashing me all over. And I was like, I don't know why, but now I guess he's friendly again. So what's up, friendly man? Why? Friendly. Come on, you've dealt with this for multiple years. Well, you I know mean, because he's got it's problems. A he's got problems, but it's okay. I don't care. There you go. There's, there you go. There's something going on up in the space. There's something yeah. going up on something my brain. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I don't. I don't have a problem with anybody. So except for I don't really like that that Revere fucking right. loser. Mm. That's like the only that is, you really don't like him because that's like the only guy I've ever heard you go out of your way to be like I don't fucking like that guy. Everybody else, you're always like I don't give a shit. Whatever he can go do that, I don't care. Right. But that's the only guy I've heard you ever like sort of go after, even months well, after removed all the drama. Yeah. Well, well, to be fair. I mean, have you heard him speak? No. Oh yes, trust me. I have videos on my channel about how he's a fucking fake loser. He. He, he he deletes streams or he shows up on other people's streams so nobody can just go to his channel and find out for all the shit that he talks shit about behind people's back because that'd be too easy. Instead, he goes on fucking people's streams who they delete those streams so nobody actually knows what he's saying, but he can still feel like a tough guy talking shit to like 20 people. Does he say yeah, things like this? Game. Does he say things like this? I give hand jobs like a 70 year old Asian woman. <laughs> <laughs> listen now, listen. Oh, yeah. I know. I'm a I don't know what JR was doing there, but it was great. <laughs> he was like, I'm a bitch, jo you're a bitch, I'm a bitch. Joe, did you Just listen that. to um did you listen to Wade Barrett on commentary tonight? Yeah. I did. I thought he was good. He was alright. It was good. It was okay. I, I wish it was Nigel. I wish it was Nigel. Like I, wish I really was, wish it was Nigel. I'd rather but. it be Pat or Nigel, but yeah, we got I, I, I did I really notice? I didn't even notice. Damn, you didn't notice Wade Barrett? Nope. That's how much SmackDown bored me. Really? Did you even I, watch it? Well, I thought. You, yeah. How was SmackDown? Because I thought people said it was yeah. all right. But dude, I, I had the, like the heroin uh, injection in my arm, dude. dude I was like, no. How was what like, dude? Are the you? fucking show sucks. You know what I did last <laughs> night? I went down to my mother's house and I masturbated in her face and murdered her mother. I don't know. <laughs> you sound like um, a yeah, fucking Finn Balor. I couldn't. I, I couldn't figure. Yeah, out. I watched Smack. Yeah, I watched SmackDown. Just because right my now I'm eyes watching... are always halfway closed every time I talk doesn't mean I didn't watch it. Like, what, right now I'm watching um fucking Battle of the Belt. So you're not watching that. Is that on Rampage right. right now? You fuck a people yeah. think these motherfuckers it's still, are it's still alive right now. Really? No, I, I think this is the replay. No, no, no. This is about... They had two hours. I'm fucking end all of you. Proof. And more is coming. I'm gonna fucking end all of you. Proof of what? <laughs> fuck you, Proof man. of what? You fucking what? wanna fuck with me? Proof of what? Of... I can't afford rent, and you wanna fucking take money from me? Oh, fuck supporters. yourself, Scott. You all I did hunters. was enter your I'm email and the you. password to your YouTube and back the fuck out because I did not want to verify <laughs> the fucking phone number. You stupid dipshit. What is going There's a hailstorm! Fucking password. What is happening in here? 
Who's that fighting with him? Bulls here? Uh, 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 no. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Marvin. That that part's funny too. Marvin. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Marvin. Yeah, what is you going on? The fucking password. What is happening in here? I, this I'm gonna fucking kill uh, you, Marvin. I'm being exposed. Club, well, wait a minute. He's gonna kill you. What the ever said fucking in my done? Life. I got all the screenshots, Marvin. Marvin. Everything that you and I have been doing to Joe Cronin for six years. Going to me, go to this community. Shit. The high died like, like fucking six years ago, Scott. Stir the pot. You Fuck fucking off think with you your got stupid control? Oh my I God. work my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Here's where he, he goes. He, he says the N word here, so we had to edit it out. Here, Pot, you <laughs> fucking off think with you got control? Bullshit. You don't got control, nigga. Oh my I God! I work my <laughs> ass off and get on YouTube and bullshit. I'm gonna end you, off, dude. Oh, <laughs> um, so unbelievable. He goes, you don't got control. <laughs> yeah, quite the pension to use that word because he's used it many times on other people. On a white guy too. I just mean. So. Yep. It doesn't matter what color you are. A he's gonna call guy. you it. It's just funny. <laughs> you ain't got control. What? You fucking oh, think you got control? Bullshit. You don't got control, nigga. Oh my god! I worked my ass off. What was he mad at? What was he even mad about it? Like, uh, like from what it, from what it sounded like, it sounded like Marvin found out his his YouTube password and then entered into his account without yeah, the permission. Yeah, apparently they <laughs> like, that is about what it was. Account. They shared the password or something. And what? No, or no, no, no. I know what it was. He was trying. He had the email address or something because they shared something, and so he used that to try to log into his account several times, which he admitted to. Marvin admitted to it. But Although, like, well, that's a scummy move from Marvin. So Marvin's well, a piece of shit in my opinion. Well, but still, it, well, so, he was. It was a little bit weird what he was doing to him as well. He's right. He does have a point, but I think he was going a little crazier than he needed to. But Marvin did do some stuff. They were in a fight with each other. I mean, that's what it was. No, I don't think it's crazy. I mean, yet yeah, the way uh, Scott acted, you can't even say that it's not like way too crazy. But either way, he is it's a shitty thing to do. It's also I love the that people try to cover up their tracks from what they did. They're like, all I tried to do was do this. It's like, no, no, you didn't. You did it yeah. to do it in a fucking scummy way. You were planning to do scum something scummy. Now that you got caught and fucking because the guy who catches you is a psycho, you're not. I'm gonna just try to deflect guys, what you did. It wasn't fucked up. It was. Guys, we, have Scott, we have Scott in the chat saying uh, mine and Dave's Patreon. It was always his Patreon, but obviously we made an agreement that I would take obviously some of the cut right. of that. But <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Marvin did uh, attempt to log in and such, and, uh, and he admits to that on this I, clip too. So I mean, he, yeah, I, he admits to it as well. But you know, Scott's in the chat there wanting it to be admitted. Now, um, I did send you that you clip. admit to it. Doesn't mean it's buddy. Right. I sent that clip to you, uh, you. in uh, Discord, private message. So uh, you should be able to play that. Let me know if you can. Okay, let me see real quick. Before I look at yours, oh, I, shit. I, I might have the clip right here, actually. But... I didn't run the fucking Patreon, fucking Scott. I was fucking just constantly contributing. Oh, uh, he'll say, listen, this is the game of some people. I'm not saying it's the game of him, but it's the game of many people to... Basically, they say things that aren't true about you on purpose to get you angry so you'll engage with them because otherwise they won't engage with you. That's what people do that to me all the time. Heart, and I don't have. Well, that's why he's saying that to you, probably. And maybe. I don't know. Could be wrong. Regardless, uh, the clip uh, is quite hilarious. And I'm I, sure I that, do have uh, Scott calling Homeland people Security. People love it. Yes. I have Scott calling Homeland Security on uh, <laughs> on Tiffany. Yeah, you asked me for the clips. I've got them all fucking cataloged by fucking date and month. So What's this one of the infected trolls as I ride it. <laughs> what is this? And I'm gonna give him COVID 19. I mean, you're gonna be there with <laughs> the defibrillators <laughs> and you're gonna defibrillate his him and show him what it's like to fucking underage boy. Oh, what? <laughs> Not the wait a minute. Whoa, what the, what the fuck is this clip? Hold on a second. Let me COVID 19. I'm gonna play infected. Yeah. Go over there, just I'm gonna get put infected out the gloves, and I'm gonna fucking cut them back mask. out. And after I get infected in Fort McMurray, I'm gonna travel down on a plane to New Jersey, and I'm gonna find DJ Forever Playground, a pedophile that you saved. And I'm yes. gonna infect him with COVID-19. I'm gonna tell him and show him what it's like to fucking underage boy. 
<laughs> oh my god well see you could take that out of context see somebody would take that out of context and just play that last three seconds and then it would you could paint see that's what people do though like they could paint somebody like and be like wow this guy's like a you know what i mean you could really you know but if you hear the beginning his you, it's still it's still it's just weird it is weird anyway. that is still weird but you could paint it really badly that's what people do you know they paint that but uh, that, let me let me go find Dave's clip because I still can't find it. So let's go ahead and play this. Play your fucking clips. All right. I'm trying to play your clips. Boom, 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 boom. I'm trying to help you. Scotty. Oh, was all right. <laughs> I did see that fucking Bully Ray came. What well, Bully Ray does. You kept us up all night last night, both of us. Fucking yelling back and forth, in and out of the fucking house. <laughs> fucking piss me off. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and you know what? You could and you could pitch you could picture him like on his phone, like making videos or whatever, or talking. And he's like walking, like he walks in and out of the house to have a cigarette, going like, and I've been trying to tell you, like. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's sitting there and his wife's like, what the fuck? Oh, man. Imagine what that house must have looked like. What the fuck happened? Did I get kicked out? No. No. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. It was so quiet. I was like, what the fuck happened? Oh, that's something I bad. think everyone who tips what was, was way you to finish your sentence. No, that I was, was it. More, I think it was more to that clip, but. Was there? There might have been two more seconds. I thought there was, but maybe I'm wrong. No. Other like, way, put it again, Sam. Oh, all right. I'm gonna calm down. I gotta calm down a little bit. <laughs> Fucking, I'm losing my breath. I was at, I, I flipped out today in my place. I was just like lose. I just lost my mind. Had a heart attack to deal with. Dude, God damn I, I I almost had like one. Flies. I I almost had one. I'll tell you what. If I had bad blood pressure, I would have found out tonight because I would have passed the fuck out tonight. I almost did. I was like in Sarah rage. Lee for taking that poison jab. Oh, I mean, um, yeah. Why is she dead? Do you th do you no think it's whatsoever. Because nobody said the cause of anything. I mean, do you think it's they don't know, or do you think it's that it's because it's either I hate to say it, but it's usually a suicide of death, a lot. Of, death through sinus infection is extremely rare because that's what she was saying that she had uh, an issue with. But if you're having blood clots with a sinus infection due to a certain thing that you took, uh, and you again suddenly die, and that's always if you want to again. If you want to figure it out, look it up on Google. Suddenly dying. You're going to start to see a lot of coincidence that's not. And there's something obviously a little bit more to this one. It's unfortunate, you know, uh, especially with two kids. Um, but there's... Dude, like the guy at my work had an aneurysm. Had a blood clot, something like that, or an aneurysm. Shit. Oh, yeah. Do you know his status on his uh, jabby jabs? I know, yeah, he had them all. He had three, four of them. Oh, okay. I mean, but he was, uh, yeah, it was just awful, bro. I, I found out today that they're like, you know, that's it. They're going to, sounds like they're taking them off the thing. Yeah, we, can't stop, we can't just ignore this. Like, this is starting to get a little too coincidental. And when uh, you have all these government organizations that are projecting, and this was way before you know this happened but they were projecting the population of america to drop to the point where it's just like 10 percent of its population mm -mm. something's up and i can show you guys the numbers but yeah something well something is up because well but here's the thing i'm just gonna play a little devil's advocate because you got someone's gonna do it right but put it this way even I if thought i was the devil here well you might be but then again look at me I'm the MJF of the community. After all. I, I will say this. And you know it. This this is You're something more I, of a I, Miz. I, we can we can agree. Shut with, the fuck up. I believe we can agree <laughs> with. We can agree with the statement I'm about to make, though. Let me play devil's advocate and say this. We this can say co COVID nineteen. Oh well, should I shouldn't say it. Um, the the coo coo coo. Um, the coo coo. Regardless of jab, whether you got it or didn't get it, if you get the coo coo, um. You can dot. You can get these these same inflammation issues. Like that's happening to people who just get that, right? So 
the jab can do it or getting uh, cuckoo itself can do it. I have not seen that at all from anyone getting the cuckoo or whatever. You Everybody, know? It's that's like, well, no, it's well I've known that the, that actually from from people that actually have no taken, people taken this supposed protection. No, people have all kinds. Of, no, because the COVID legit causes inflammation in your body even after you have it. It's mm -hmm. it's a huge thing. But not to the okay, not denying that. But what I'm saying is it doesn't cause to the extent where you have people whose feet are basically coming off. Like there was that one black lady who had both her arms amputated because it just had this reaction that that's just, different yeah i'd agree that's a different thing i'm talking there are many people though that get the, the jab though the, the, uh, the uh, i can't remember who i think it was the supreme court forced the cdc to release all information at least so far it's been shown by the information 7.7 percent .7 of everyone that got the the jabby jab um has experienced what's called severe reactions to it. Okay, this is not mild reactions or, you know, like even something like loss of, uh, you know, uh, taste or smell. It's not a severe reaction, but it's a reaction. On the, that's not including the 7.7%. .7%. So close to 10% of people that got that, they experienced a major health issue afterwards, and they're going to have to be like that for the rest of their lives. And this is not, again, including those that did, you know, that received lesser symptoms who are dealing with it, probably even not even noticing that they're dealing with repercussions of this shit. Yeah. No, no, you might be right. I mean, I'm not saying yes or no, but there's definitely a lot. There's definitely a lot of data right now that shows something's going on and it's going to take a lot of fucking digging to figure out exactly what's really happening. Is that why my hands are going well, numb? No. Is that why your hands are going numb? No, that's because of... The retardism. I'm sorry. You're having a stroke. Well, okay. well, you 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 might have that too, Joe. Well, yes, definitely. I mean, but I only got one jab ever. Patrell, Patrell McInnes, how you doing, my Irish friend? I'm, I'm Daniel uh, Cronin. Mom uh, came in recently. What came she in? Saw the donations. Yeah. What? Did it. What it came did in? Donate. We're gonna keep them rolling. Yeah. We got uh Patrick. Uh, Thank you, Scott. Before that, and uh, Patrick. Allison Tuckwab. I didn't see that one. Uh, there's. We're way behind. I can tell. Actually, in well, fact, did I saying, in, did know. I spin the wheel for? Uh, oh, Scott, I didn't spin the wheel for. Spin the wheel oh, for. Yeah, yeah. We got. Spins, yeah. All right, Soundwave. I spun the wheel for him. Scott needs a wheel spin. Spin it. Here we go. You spin me right round like a retard, baby. Right round, right. Yeah, Joe. Why don't I have a a, a wrench in your chat? Please. Because you need to learn a lesson about being bad to people. I well, I, I can't help myself. I know, but yes, you can. You can be better. I want you to be better. I like you. I think you should be better. Do I have to write that like a hundred times on the chalkboard? Yes, I'm like your younger, older brother. Yeah, do a Bart Simpson. I need you to be better than other people. What would Jesus do? You know, <laughs> not he whip people in the temple. And fucking turn over tables that were trying to fucking change <coughs> the yeah. away from neighbor. Well, so metal was fucked. Right. Well, yeah. well, Jesus fucking invented the first table match. Well, <laughs> Jesus says, yeah. turn in listen your cloak and Dave. get yourself a sword. That's what Jesus said. Fuck well, listen well, to Dave. Dave listen. I think what Joe needs you to do is turn water into wine. Listen to Dave, dude. What's so pathetic, dude? Dave is like, he's like pegging Joe for a wrench, dude. He's like, please, like, Joe, give like, me a wrench, Joe. Please. So somebody Joe. for Scott? <laughs> Please give me a wrench, Joe. So pathetic, dude. Come on. Be better, Dave. Be better, Dave. Uh no, hey, but uh, uh I love it. Uh switching switching a gear or two real quick. Did you hear ahead. that Dana White is got dead. a blood test and said that he's got ten point four years to live? What? Based on his blood? Yeah. What does that mean? How what I didn't hear that. <laughs> Yeah, he did a podcast about it a few days ago, and uh, there's this like special, special like blood test dude in fucking Miami, and he fucking his his uh, son had a Miami birthday party, so he went down there, got his blood tested. Then like three weeks later, he gets a call, and they're like, "Well, I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna fly up there. I'd rather walk it to you, walk it with you through your uh, through um, in person." So he tells him all the stuff that he's. He's literally um, having trouble with like his 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 legs are numb. He um, 
you know, he can't fucking breathe when he because he's sleeping. He's got sleep apnea, and he's he's like always losing his voice Fuck. because he's just snoring so much. This is me. So like he said, he said he did a, this ten week t- training program and saying if you want to go to phase two, keep continuing and your life will expand. You, Joe, direct uh, on Discord, but yes, um, what uh, Gargutz is saying is strangely actually true well wait till the next part oh, where he yeah, says he's met dana. wait till the next part where he tells you he met dana, uh, dana. <laughs> yeah dana uh, white punch me in the dick he gave me 10 he, years he was the one that recommended dana white start uh ufc but yeah apparently this headline is uh he gave me t- dana white is referring to this doctor he gave me 10 years to live ufc boss dana white says expert reveals when he will die after blood and dna tests now uh, i I mean, shit. They keep saying this about the the climate and shit, and they're never right. Right. And we believe this too. I don't uh, know, but it is interesting at least because you know, obviously, Gargas is talking about this. Dana White's addressed it, so it's certainly not a, mm-hmm. a small issue. It's I mean, uh, honestly, depressing. if the if if there's a method, I'm, I'm I'm unaware of where, and I'm sure they can do it. Like it makes sense that they could look at your blood over a period of times and, and, and study the genes and stuff like that and realize, hey, man, you're going to have a... You're going to develop some kind of a blood cancer, it looks like, or you're going well, to... He, he, said, he said they also go into his parents' history <clears throat> really? as well. Because it's all in your DNA. Oh, right, so, right, right. Damn, so they're it's unlocking like, shit. Well, I mean, oh, let me tell you something. when you Because I did these stupid things. Dave would say don't do this, but I did do the ancestry, and um, Leah, my wife, did the 23 and Me one. And the twenty three and me one like breaks down like your your all the DNA history they find. They start breaking down like the issues, you know, that your like parents had and that you have and what you're susceptible to dying of and getting. So if you had all that data and, and even more data if you're a big time doctor who, you know, is providing a million dollar service to Dana White or whatever it is, I mean, I'm sure that they can guesstimate and look at it and say, Hey man, you know, none of the males on this side of your you know family and you're in that category of these of this xy chromosome and this time period ever make it past this age and they usually die of this and yep. also you're falling under the scale of the next person after being skipped four de- generations so now you have two likelihoods at that period of time and he looks at it and he does the math and almost kind of like a little bit of a a guessing scientist he's, Nostradamus he's off by one month apparently because he's, yeah, he's already on. guessed it, a few days. This. Yeah, the article also says uh, that basically uh, the doctor says, so he says, if you uh, if you do what I tell you to do in the next 10 weeks, I promise I'll change your whole life. And that, um, that he could, by doing these uh, sort of exercises, <laughs> this doctor assured him. Uh, it's a little sus. Could, uh, you know, his death is not set a stone, and uh, this 10 week program okay, that's questionable already. Right? 10 week this program is so suspect would, would be willing to mm-hmm. um, actually extend years to his life. Now, I think this is, I honestly do think this is one kind of like alarmism journalism. It's like, oh, like this and that, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, if for example, somebody continues to do, you know, do heroin. For example, yeah. yeah, you can sort of calculate when they're going to fucking expire. But if they yeah. change their life, that point, the human body is amazing. Truly created in, you know, the form of our creator. Simple as that. Believe it or not. You want to know what but I think? That being said, is that we can heal ourselves. Okay. You, so maybe. even somebody who is like, look at fucking Michael Lindell, addicted to fucking crack, fucking homeless, bankrupt. Within fucking a few years, goes to become a billionaire, fucking running a pillow company, totally straight. The human body is amazing. So, yeah. you know, the, the, I just think that this article's sort of blowing things a little bit out. Of Here's course. what's really happened, Dave. I'll tell you what's happening. This doctor gave Dana White like $5 million under the table somewhere. And he said, hey, we're going to go with this thing, 10 years to live, and I'm going to have this program, and then I'm going to sell that program for the rest of my life, and you can get 20% of the profits. Well, well uh, apparently what ha- who introduced him was uh, Carrie Kasem. Uh, uh, what's his name? K- Kasem's daughter? Casey Kasem's um, daughter? Casey Kasem's daughter introduced him. That's weird. Because, what does she look yeah, like? Is she look good looking? Casey Kasem's she daughter? Looking, she looking pretty... I mean, for, for her age, goddamn, I'd bang it. How old is Casey Kasem's daughter? Like 40? 
rat. Oh, like a rat. Like a rat. She looks like a rat. No, I'm saying that Garguts would fucking. Oh, he'd a fuck, a fuck a rat. Yeah, he would. Yeah, yeah, he would. Ring rat. Oh, she looks. Oh, she looks all right. She looks pretty good. Even in well, her, I mean, of the uh, the woman that served uh, Judge Dredd the uh, rat burger. In, uh, did you Judge ever? Dredd. Did you realize Ooh. Casey Kasem was so tan? I always thought he. The, they always try to make him look whiter than he really was. He's very tan here. He looked very. The the proper word is swarmy, very mm, yeah. swarmy. And then you know, southern swarmy. Yeah. yeah, swarmy. But I don't. This is Dark Casey skin. Kasem on the yeah, countdown. And I, yeah. I do. I do remember they did try to lighten him up. Yeah, they yeah, always they did. did. Try to lighten up his color. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Look, no, I'm serious. Probably he was Shaggy. This, this guy was doing Scooby fucking. Doo. Well, he's doing voice of Shaggy, but he was in those yeah. stupid fucking whoa, 1950s whoa, 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 whoa. like surf movies. He's doing a voice for Shaggy for what? For he's, everything, like he's since the voice of Shaggy, dude. Like, the original you, voice of Shaggy. Are you near the game here? Yeah. I mean. After all, you know, Gargatz was the first voice of Shaggy, you know, but then it was Casey. But, uh, yeah, you don't know about Casey Kasem being the Shaggy. Hey, have you ever seen Casey Kasem's wife? She's a gigantic fuck. Have you ever seen her? No. What the fuck? Uh, no. The yeah. only person I knew that did Shaggy was like the original Shaggy. Oh. It is the original it, Shaggy. Wasn't it with Casey Kasem where his wife took his body to Montreal? Oh my God. And Dude, tried to like keep the kids from fucking bringing it back to America so uh, they could have a burial and stuff. Like, was it? Dude, she could a big deal a few years. Yes. I remember bringing it up. Like we were talking about it in your show. Like, yep, years ago. I remember it. And she and she he married an Amazon. She could have carried him up there on her on her back. Look <laughs> at her. Death by snooze Dead. <laughs> yes, at this definitely. Bitch. Death by snooze new. He's this happy. Looks, Look at him. She looks like the mother of that NXT woman Amazon wrestler with the big fat ass. Remember. She looks like that lady's like mom or something. Look at the titties her head coming is out bigger too. Than his head. She she called him she called him she called him, bigger than his head. She called him Casey Case Case. Shit, her cum. tits are bigger than his head. <laughs> That's why he's happy. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I call him Casey Case Come. Yeah. <laughs> now on. Casey. No, no, no. The, the this would 10. be like uh, fucking if Morticia, you know, dyed her hair <laughs> blonde. This is basically Adam's family, you know, uh, housewives of fucking New Orleans or something. I don't know. Look, look at this Casey shit. Kasem. This guy looks like fucking like, you know, what's his name? What's the well, name I'm Casey Kasem and I'm marrying an Amazon bitch. Look at her. Are we sure she's not a dude? This is the Adam's family, two, 2022. Yeah. Okay, she's not a dude. Let me those, see if I can pull up. Because, yeah, he sounded like I am. I sounded like I am Casey Kasem, but I look like an Indian man. Chaos in the hat. In the chat says, Horzilla. <laughs> yeah, oh <my> God. <laughs> the countdown will begin this Sunday afternoon at 1, right here on the radio station you grew up with. Music Radio 138. Oh, fuck. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are great. These fucking these are outtakes great. are hilarious. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Let me tell you something. This afternoon, mad. I'm going to get fuck off and die. Like this. Radio 138. Oh, oh, fuck. What the hell's going on here? Oh, geez, well, isn't it the last hour? We got another hour to do? Geez, I thought we were almost finished. Good golly, Miss Molly. Boy, this is fucking ponderous, man. Ponderous. <laughs> fucking ponderous. Hi, this is Casey Kasem. American Top 40 has moved to a new time. I hope you'll join me this Saturday morning and every Saturday morning yeah. at 2. 2. Now, oh, we're up. <laughs> mm, 2. Hi, this is Duke Nukem. I hope you join us for the all-new countdown. That's not Duke To Nukem. our long-distance dedication. And this one is about kids and pets and a situation Cock. that... Cock. We can all understand whether we have kids or pets or neither. It's from a man in Cincinnati, <laughs> Ohio, and here's what he writes. Uh, Dear Casey, this may seem to be a strange dedication request, but I'm quite sincere, and it'll mean a lot if you play it. Recently, there was a death in our family. He was a little dog named Snuggles, but he was most certainly a part of... Let's come start again. From coming out of the record. Play the record, okay? Please. <laughs> 
<clears throat> See, when you come out of those up-tempo goddamn numbers, man, it's impossible to make those transitions. And then you got to go into somebody dying. You know, they do this to me all the time. I don't know what the hell they do it for, but goddamn... It's a fucking dog, Casey. But if we can't come out of a slow record, I... Is Don on the phone? Okay, I want a goddamn concerted effort to come out of a record that isn't a fucking up-tempo record every time I do a goddamn deaf dedication. <laughs> <laughs> Death dedication. Oh my god. Like can you imagine yeah, coming imagine out him of him doing the, the shaggy voice? <laughs> Let me pull that up too. Can you imagine them coming out of a record? Like what record would that be? Like what's like like Mbop? Jefferson Starship or something. No, they're 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 like they're like okay, like it's it's like Wait a minute, oh. wait, wait a minute, where's the where's the read? Hold on. I don't understand it. Is that Oh here it is, okay. Back with, uh, I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there it is. <clears throat> See, when you come out of those up tempo goddamn numbers, man, as in, there's a little dog, it be a strange dedication request, but I'm quite sincere, and it'll mean a lot if you play it. Recently, there was a death in our family. He was a little dog named Snuggles, but he was most certainly a part of. Let's come start again. Come, come. <laughs> come out of Umbop, and he's like. We got a letter from a fan today. Um, we had a death in the family, uh, Snuggles. <laughs> but he wants. To, see, I would. I don't. I di I disagree with Casey Kasem. Now, listen, Casey Kasem's a legend. Obviously, I grew up listening to him. Howard Stern, Casey Kasem, and we can name all the people we all grew up loving and listening to. Um, who, there's a you know, and there's a guy that obviously me and Dave uh, listen to a lot. Uh, you know, uh, Dave. Who am I talking about? We're talking about uh, conspiracies and aliens and shit. Oh, about fucking. Oh shit, Gargots. Um, who? Yeah. What? Come on. Come on. Tell them the name. Um, God damn it. We Mr. all listen to it. Mr. Rogers. A lot of people. Yeah, but you, you know what I mean. It's uh, Coast to Coast. Coast to Coast Radio. We all listen to Coast to Coast. Uh, we all listen to a bunch of these things. Art Bell. But Art Bell. Thank damn you. It. It's Art Bell I was looking for. But, um, yeah, so but I disagree with the great Casey Kasem. I actually got to tell everybody this. I'm sorry. I disagree with Casey Kasem because here's the thing. I think it's fine to come out of a record that's happy. It's fine because you're going to go into a promo and you're like, well, there's Umbop with, you know, Umbop. Anyway, we received this letter from a fan, you know. But what I think you need to do is go into a soft record after the announcement of a death of somebody because then it's respectful because then it goes into like, I was on my... And like, so that kind of flows after you give the announcement. But what's bad is if you go, our mother died. Anyway, here's Umbop. By Hanson, <laughs> like so, it's actually it's That's you don't, true. yeah, you don't go into a happy record after that, but you can come out of a happy record, I think. Um, but obviously, a commercial maybe would be where to go. But then again, who the fuck wants to hear if someone's dead? Hey, now listen to five minutes of commercials. No, I just love the fact that we have the ability to listen to these fucking outtakes and shit you know <laughs> yeah it's just fucking great to hear what these people sound like when they're actually dealing with this shit do you know like if so if like youtube didn't exist right like let's pretend like youtube didn't exist but let's pretend the radio exists and we can we can do a show maybe or all of us are sitting around doing an internet radio show it's like 1998 or whatever mm -hmm. but dude you would have to basically be like and i'm a special type of person not just because i'm a retarded weirdo but because I save so much. I'm not a hoarder, but I save I save media like you wouldn't believe. Like if I showed you my collection, right? I've got hundreds of VHS tapes. I've got hundreds of cassette tapes. So I probably like I could see us being like, dude, who, does, do, does anybody have a tape or a recording of Casey Kasem? Because we want to make do a bit on the show with Casey Kasem stuff, but we don't have an audio recording of it anywhere. And the only way to get it would be to have had it recorded somewhere. So, or to listen to him live and then record it. You know, so we'd have to all talk to each other and be like, does anybody have one? And I, and I would say, you know what? I know I've got him somewhere, and I'd be going through fucking hours of tape trying to find mm -hmm. or like Howard Stern 911 on in 2001 I have that on my cassette still it's it's in my bin I have all kinds of stuff like that so I could go find it and dial it up to you the recorded it off one. the radio or yeah. well so okay so I were I f from the 90s to the early 2000s like 2003 I used to record radio a lot in the morning because I would go to school and I would miss the show. So I would catch the I would catch a morning radio show while I was showering, getting ready in the car. But by the time I got to school, I'd only heard twenty minutes of the show. Now I want to hear the rest of it. So I would record Howard Stern. Left it 
Left it on record. Okay. That's I would just yeah, I would leave it on record and, and I would put in a VHS tape that was an eight hour long play version tape. Hit play, nice. hit record. Nice. I'd plug the radio into the audio connection of the VHS, record a black screen, and just record all the radio mm-hmm. I could get. That way when I got home, dude, I would either be doing homework or I'd be playing PlayStation One or whatever I was playing. And while I was playing, I'd be listening this one. listening to the recording of the radio show that I missed because I, I just didn't think nighttime radio was that great. Like from from about 3 p.m. to like 9 or 3 p.m. to 7 or 8 p.m., radio wasn't that good around. Like it wasn't the greatest. Radio was good in the morning and then after at night, like overnight, like Love Line would come on at like 11 p.m. or something East Coast time. And so, yes, yeah, so our beats. <laughs> yeah, or whatever. Like there was a bunch of stuff where you'd find things. So I would just play that radio show. J- j- and, but to think about it, because nowadays we have anything at our fingertips. I want to go t- listen to something about wrestling. I can listen to podcasts about wrestling up the ass. I can listen to old Howard Stern clips. I can listen to current shows. I can listen to whatever. Wait. So what Dave is saying though is I'm bringing up like think about it. I'd have to go search my tapes for Casey Kasem clips, and I have them. And you guys would oh, too, yeah. and someone would. Ha- we'd all be like exchanging the tapes and trying to play them, so we could do this show. So it's just crazy to think I about mean, what we're where we're at. Have you actually tried to watch your old tapes on VH? Oh God damn it! Fucking Discord. Uh, Discord crashed. Gargots is about to ask some meaningless thing. Saying, have you ever tried to convert your tapes or like watch them and like put up stuff? Yeah, I've converted a lot of tapes and, and stuff, but I, you know, I haven't done a lot because honestly. I'm just too busy right now. I want to, I, and I, I honestly don't think I'm ever going to end up converting these fucking tapes until I'm like 60, and then chances are I'll die eight years later, and no one in my family will give a shit that I have a hard drive full of it, so why the fuck would I do it anyway? Uh, but Get, get uh, Gavin to do it for you. He's capable yeah. of doing that sort of yeah. thing. I could pay him to do it like exactly. on some summer. Just like, here, log tape, motherfucker, and... Uh, you know, he gets three hours into it, and he finds that video of me and my goofy doll, and he's like, "What the fuck?" Talking about it's you called play, record, and bucks. wait. I'm That's gonna right. take my yeah. dick out because you, oh. oh. you donated fifty bucks. You donated fifty bucks, motherfucker. Boy, I'm a rich motherfucker. Oh. Points to Garguts. You oh. guys are hilarious what? tonight. Wow. He said you're hilarious tonight, <laughs> or he said you guys, oh, wow. everybody. I look hilarious yeah. tonight. The ghost from the coast. <laughs> Thank you, Ghost from the Coast. $50 bomb. I'm going to give it a bombs away tonight. I'm going to say he's Space Ghost from the Coast. Oh, yeah. You think so? You might do my you might, uh, my oh, new yeah. daddy. Scissor me, ass, ba- ass man. <laughs> That's a thousand point, a uh, thousand times, whatever this lands on for, for Garguts. A thousand times. Oh, yeah. A thousand times what? A thousand times 400. A, a thousand times four hundred. That's still really good, though. Yeah. That's really good. Think about it. Four hundred thousand points for Garguts. He's in the first place. There we go. Fuck yeah. So Garguts is in the lead. Garguts is in the lead. That's unbelievable. Uh, I feel disgusting. That's why he's the only one of his family that made it over the border. He was in the lead then I too. Mean, oh yeah. I mean, Out of all the, the, like, the only race I mean, time, like, Russia, but I can't even speak Spanish, man. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> the only the only race I've ever won was uh, being born. There you go. Yeah, this that's true. And the wrong one won. Um, but thank you, Gargutz. Yep. Appreciate it. No, I'm just kidding. I, I enjoyed. It. By the <laughs> way, I'm sorry I was not in, ignoring your Facebook messages, and I'm glad you. Invited oh, that was me. fine yesterday. I'm glad you invited me though, but uh, I wasn't available. And my friend, what ca- did he invite dude, you to? What? Oh, he invited just to his to his stream. But I was like, a, I was egregious. Dead. And let me tell yeah, you something. Was, I was too busy getting phone calls from my friend uh, Wolf. Who was like, yo, I have all this horse medicine in case you need it. <laughs> oh my god, you're like special K, I'm on the way. Nah, bro, this guy like got this guy must have like an ivermectin stock at this point. And then other things too. He's like, I got all these things. I'm like, okay. Does he have a horse up on that? Because the uh C D C and others have admitted that, oh yeah, it uh, actually did work all along. Sorry. Fauci said the other day it didn't work. Yeah, but the CDC actually did say it did. Right. So fuck Fauci. So did it did or it didn't? 
it does. There's and so there's no there's no conclusive study on it because no one's there is studying the fucking, it. The, the World Health Organization, the CDC, FDA have all said, eh, yeah, it actually did work all along. But uh, what, sorry for oh, not please, telling can you, you get me that? Well, let me ask you something. Can you get me that article that says that, Dave? Yeah, I can give you several. I have to look that up. All right, you find that for me, and I will tr I will champion you a hero later. I'm not. I'm just saying I don't. I haven't seen it either way. But I don't trust him and what he said the other day. But I also don't think anybody. I don't really need it right now. He says you do the opposite. Well, the be, the be, see what I don't like is that they said, oh, you're taking some kind of a horse paste or whatever. Well, why, it's really used on humans. So the other day, Fauci was like, it's used on humans since the 1930s. I know. in Africa for all these diseases and in fact it's required for anyone immigrating from africa to america because it actually clears up any of the the potential fucking infections they might have yeah this and is and, 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 and fa but he finally said it the other day on that show he said he goes it has it does it does get used on humans for other things and it's like okay but before you said it doesn't get before it was it's like you're crazy it's for horses joe rogan took horse medication okay well yeah. then why'd you say that but now oh it is used on humans well why'd you try to paint joe rogan as some weird fuck who takes horse medicine when he took a prescribed human version of it well my friend has horse version of it because he couldn't get the prescribed version so like they well, want no it's but that's the thing, though. It, it, horse version is basically just uh, a little bit more concentrated. So what you do, instead of taking you know, a certain amount, you take less. People have fucking calculated this out. I've got the documents for you as well. But basically, okay, you got this fucking tube. Instead of using X amount, which would be for a horse, you use Y amount, which would be much more appropriate for a human. It's not overdosing. It's not doing anything. But it still accomplishes the same thing, clearing up these sort of infections. I'm gonna why does this remind me of a fucking Seinfeld episode when fucking Kramer started taking fucking dog medicine to fucking cure his fucking cough? It's the same shit. I don't remember that. You don't remember that one? Oh, Jesus. I'm just saying it's the same thing. If it's more concentrated, fucking take it. It's so free. really mysterious, uh, Joe, uh, apparently thinks that um, Fauci is smarter than you. And everyone, for that matter. So... I guess we're going to have to take his opinion for it. You know, appeal to authority, logical fallacy type thing. Fauci, squanchy. He squanches everywhere. Is even is Joe even here? Yeah, he's he here. walked away. No, uh, he's no, he, no, no. Joe killed himself. He walked away. No, knowing, knowing him, he's taking a piss in a bottle right now. Well, then right. why even walk away? You just have your, your piss jug there, and you just put your cock in, and you just fucking piss, and you talk at the same time, and nobody knows the difference. <laughs> you get, as long as you don't hear the fucking trinkling down. How, how do you think the fucking truckers do it, man? They fucking, they're still on the CB. Yeah, 10-4, damn 4, oh, damn four. Piss it in a fucking piss jug, fill it up, cork it, and throw it out the window. They usually have oh, that too. If they're by themselves, if they have like a partner behind them that's asleep, they'll wake no them up. No reckless, out. Jeff. I'm not a voter for Trudeau. I've never voted uh, liberal at all. And um, I find it kind of comical that you would say such a thing, yes. But no, it's a. It, well, you are too mentally deficient to understand. Uh, I could just. Well, pigmentation in your skin but uh yes uh, i've always voted conservative what do you have to say I, I could just imagine you outside of ottawa just waiting outside of a fucking government building and just like all right you're full of shit you're full of shit you're full of shit you're full of shit <laughs> let me tell you why and they're just going to fucking lunch yeah uh, next morning's newspaper is uh, crazy man shot on lawn of parliament <laughs> <laughs> And you're like, all I was doing is filming a video. God damn it! Well, we've seen a lot less, you know. And, I mean, and and it, and it will be considered Canada's you know, uh, January sixth. Guys, did you see? Okay, so some kid was eating his food in the parking lot of McDonald's. Cop. That was that was here in San Antonio, Texas. Okay, <laughs> that's funny Basically, you say that. Yeah, it was on an unrelated call, but the guy just straight up goes to the guy's door, pulls it open. Wrong. Tells him to get the fuck out. He immediately starts to be aggressive. This guy's like, I don't even know who this guy is. I don't know. Like, again, you can dress up in any, and Halloween's coming up. You can make yourself look like a cop. So guy comes up, tries to, like, he opens the door, 
Okay, not even knock on the fucking window, try to, you know, discuss mm -hmm. things. Straight up opens the door, you know, goes to be aggressive. This guy's like, what the fuck? Pulls out, and this motherfucking cop starts to fucking just unload on the guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, the kid got got away, but he had to be hospitalized. Excuse me, hospitalized. And oh, um, sure. the cop, I believe was fired if not suspended no, no, he, was, he was fired he was totally he was fired he was he was fired as fuck because uh he had only been on the job for seven months and he did nothing what they what they trained hearted bitch like also mm -hmm. really mysterious you are a fucking moron you've always proven that and uh again uh ogs uh, have the ability to sort of push some weight around. So you better be careful there because you might just lose that wrench and uh, be obscured to nothing. But, uh, yeah. Just uh, you're you're to totally that. right. This was a big story down here for the past, like. Yeah, but where is it on the fucking. It's not even covered much on the media because, like, if you look at the video, it's fucking crazy. This guy just, again, the cop just starts to unload. And, and they kid, still haven't like, even released. Off, and he's still shooting at him, and yeah. with no concern yep. for anybody else around. And it, it's like he, he, you're shooting away from a a, a non-threat now because it's driving away from you. It's not driving towards you. That's a threat. Driving away, yeah, exactly. no threat. Exactly. Yeah, I saw that one. I was like, dude, this guy's gonna get fired. He's probably gonna go to jail, and they're probably gonna, not gonna release the name of the fucking kid because. He just had probably bought a car. So didn't have the title white. Char so no, that's no, why. He, well, I don't think he was white. I think he was actually Hispanic, but he looks Hispanic. white enough where, nope, the media doesn't want to fucking cover that soul. Story. Um, but I'll tell you that to, part. The oh, part of the hood where it's at, oh, part of the hood where it's at, it, it, it's it's actually a white dominant, like um, your upper class neighborhood kind of stuff where it was at. So I know where it was at, that, that exact spot. So. Uh, you're right on that. You know, he he probably got out of it somehow, but they're not going to release his name or the. Did you know that there was a girl in the in the passenger side? I did not know that. What? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. he missed two of them. Like the what? guy was a terrible aim. God damn what it. was he? A fucking that, storm that deserves, that deserves criminal charges. I mean, and uh, it just. I mean, again, it, if this was a private citizen. And they thought, for example, I don't know, this guy had just, you know, driven up to their house, shot it, and then just drove to the McDonald's and was eaten there. So yeah. you know, he's investigating it. Still, the response would be terrible because you don't have any confirmation. You're going to open up a door not knowing what's inside, not try to de-escalate it. It's the whole situation is un very unfortunate. So, but I he said that he go ahead. Report said that he had saw the car a night before that evaded him. He was like, "This is the same motherfucker from last night." So he was like, "Well, if they're evading me, nothing's matching up. You know, they're over here. I'm gonna sneak up on them and be like, yo, get the fuck out of the car because of the prior uh, running that he had." No, he had he had uh, tactical superiority in that sense, and uh, instead of actually opening the door and causing the fleeing action. He could have knocked on the window, already had access to a firearm. It was rolled down. And, uh, you know, await for uh, the guy to respond and roll his window down. But he could also have his firearm ready to be able to utilize. His his window was already rolled down. He just opens it up. You can see him. He's He has his burger yeah, in his I, fucking I, lap. I don't believe it was rolled down. It wasn't? Damn. I gotta look back at the fucking footage. But uh, I remember having him having his burger in his fucking lap like he was about to eat it. He reached for the door and then opened it up. Now, imagine this guy. Say, for example, he's just, I don't know, doing coke in there, and he's got a gun in his hand. As soon as this guy opens the door, he turns to him, shoots him in the face, done. Is that the smartest move there, Copper? Or maybe you want True. to approach things, show up to the window, show that you're there, and... Identify you know, yourself. I identify, knock on the window, try to de-escalate because, you know... Why is Jesse muted? Server muted? What the fuck? I have no idea. Joe needs to fix that. In fact, he needs to give me access to the server. Yeah, I thought he had that. A wrench in the chat there, Joe. I don't know what you're uh, waiting for on that one. 
and he had um, me to do that too. Yeah. that you will be removing uh, wrenches from, and that will be the case. So take over. <laughs> but no, but you're, you're. I think by this point, Allison Tuckwad does deserve a wrench because uh, for her uh, massive bombs and stuff, obviously. Every see? fucking now and then, yeah. yeah every like, it's two more strings. worse than anything really mysterious has ever done. Like it was really did mysterious say, ever. Done. Did you say Tuckwad? Tuckwad, Allison Tuckwad. Tuck, like oh, she's tucking her okay. wad in. Said something else. No, yeah, it sounded like you said wad. I was like, wad Wait. asshole wab. Okay, <laughs> no, no, that's right. That's that's fine. Hey, uh, Jesse served me it though. By the way, you I will fix you, Jesse. Well, he was doing some early and it was like rattling, so I had to mute him. He was weird. He was like counting things, and it was like it was like well, really he, horrible. He cleans from time to time. No, I know, he which I don't blame him for. I don't blame him for. Also, I think he should make a make his his house look like a diner because you got that whole little. Open in there from the kitchen. Yeah. He should be like, you know, right. play a little fucking uh, bell there and be like, oh, "Servers up." I uh, right. order up. I order up. I had to check on my daughter. She was freaking out. She's still awake. She's sit she's sitting there like I can't sleep. I, she she like ran into somebody today at at, what at, the fuck? at cheerleading. She like she hit her face on them or something, and she's like, "I can't sleep because I have a concussion." I'm like, "No, you don't." And she said that they. <laughs> I'm like they. I'm like they told. I'm like Leah. What I'm telling Leah. I'm like, what is going on? She goes, well, she yeah, she collided with somebody. She's like, but it wasn't that bad, and it was her face. And I'm like, yeah. They, and they said she was okay. And I'm like, and I'm looking at her, and I'm like, you're okay. You have a little bump on your cheek, but. And she's like, I can't sleep. So I'm like, I'm, so I'm sitting there with her, and I'm like, are you okay? She goes, I I feel sick or whatever. And so I'm feeling her head. I'm like, you are warm. So she is warm, and I'm taking her temperature, and she's got like a 99 slash 100. It's bouncing around, so it's really close. And I'm like, oh my god, dude, is everybody gonna get sick? Like we just got over stuff. I'm sick. So anyway, so that was me. I was just checking on her. I like to play doctor. You know, Leah Leah's like she's fine. You know, I, I get all weird though, and I start checking fucking vitals and things. I don't know, man. That's me. You know, the fever See? is uh, the body healing itself. So I don't know why. I know, I know, I know. But I mean, but, but listen, my son, my son's body was healing itself, and then they rushed him to the ER. So I don't know. I don't. You know, it's hard to say. Like I, I mean, I t listen. I told them he don't need to. I'm telling you, this is what he gets like every time he gets a fever. His his oxygen drops to about this level, and it's scary because I'm at home taking care of him, and I'm like, normally you you this is borderline go to the ER. Like other people, you would take to the, but like, this is what he gets like every time. So I start like doing the nebulizer and stuff on him and all these things, and um, and they're like, yeah, but that it came down to that's what he needed. He just needed Tylenol, nebulizer, and st well, he did get steroids, so that was good. But his doctor gives me those. He's only had that one other time, but he needed it this time. Anyway, whatever. Thought about using um air filters that are HEPA filters in the household. We got those. We got those. I got those upstairs got those. in the living room that he's in. Um, yeah, iron pills. How about that? And some spinach. Lots of spinach. Yeah, no, that's Remind true. Remind him well, that Popeye knows what he's talking about. The good thing about Finn, even though he's allergic to peanut butter and he's got the asthma, he loves all food. This kid loves salmon. He loves, he, he actually probably would like spinach. Gay. What'd you say? Salmon's gay. Oh, I thought you said he's gay. I was like, oh. No, right. salmon is gay. Oh. Give him some, like, how, give him how, steak. How, give him a fucking. Wait, was, oh, he loves steak. No, no, no. He loves steak. steak. Yeah, he loves steak. I'm just, I guess I'm surprised. Wait, wait, hold up. How I'm surprised. can food be gay? Well, it's. Uh, because when you uh, use it as some sort of, uh, you know, action of your superiority, it's a fantasy. Mm -hmm. Then uh, it clearly is not uh, cool. It's usually. If you're going to eat. Because if it's beneficial <laughs> omega-3 oils, then that's okay. But if you're going to be like, oh, look at me. I'm eating salmon. I'm so cool. No, stop it. I just love salmon, man. I don't know what it is. Well, I'll, the taste uh, is good, but I mean, also... It's pretty good for you, but they're all farm... If you get farm uh, people, it, if they're farm raised. Are you, uh, okay, are you getting it farmed or are you getting it wild? So there's two, diff there's two different things. Usually it ends up farmed, but it sounds like it's wild and it's not. They're like, this is the Alaskan something. It's not coming from Alaska. It's coming from a fucking farmed area in Canada, by the way. Um, and it's farmed. So most of yeah. it's, almost all of it's I farmed raised. Yeah, it is, it is, it's got, so just to give everybody a heads up on this. Yes, salmon is good for you. And yes, this salmon does have omega-3s and good stuff in it. But some of this farm raised stuff usually 
has fucking um what's it called uh, antibiotics that they feed the fish crazy shit it's you can not see the difference between the two fillets from yes. a natural to one that's farmed yes. the only type of salmon or tuna well salmon the only salmon that i trust is north atlantic salmon that's yes. nordic that's the only stuff that I will eat. I will not eat Pacific wild salmon, no. as they call it, since fucking Fukushima continues to poison the fucking coast and shit. Yeah. And uh, I won't eat this fucking bullshit that's fucking farmed. I won't. Imitation salmon? Well, and you're, 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 you're actually... It's not imitation. It's salmon, but it's just fucking... They feed it with shit that they shouldn't be eating. Mm -hmm. They're confined in a small area. They're not living like they should, so they're not as nutrient-full as they would normally be. Well, Have you ever heard of fugua? Like gua? Eight, yeah. Wait, go, going going full full gua? Yeah. You want to go full gua? So no, fugua is uh, basically um, duck liver. And liver. To make it. They've got to actually force feed these ducks and make <clears throat> the liver Jesus. expand to a size that's about. A fist? Three to five times its normal size. Wow. So it's like when they mm -hmm. put cows in one of these pens and just feed the fuck out of it so they can fill it up, and then they slaughter it. So the the same sort of thing has been going on since the 1700s in France. That's why it's, you know, foie gras. Uh, <laughs> basically, it means, like, duck fat. Oh. But, uh, I was going to yeah, say so, it means... Or, or liver fat. Basically, it, it tastes delicious. It's absolutely it's and it's considered a fucking like delicacy. But mm -hmm. yeah, the way that they get that done and the way they treat the animals to make it might want you re might want to make you reconsider if you want to eat it. If you actually value, mm. and I'm not one of these pita types or anything, <clears> but if, you know, if you understand that animals do suffer, you might want to reconsider that. But god mm. damn it, it's fucking delicious. Yeah, no, in the better, the more nice and like. It beautiful peachy it looks like it's like fake it's like that's not real it should be it should have that reddish look to it you know that kind of darker yes, very red as opposed to a pinkish <laughs> yeah when it's it looks like very red. <laughs> did you put jesse back on mute and he's like trying yeah to i did now. because he's fucking <laughs> shit dude he sounds like shit there's all kinds of stuff going on i had to put him on mute it sounds like oh i know what it is he needs to back on and come point. back in that's he's in california no nah, he's unmuted now no but i, I muted him because he was folding stuff and while he was folding he his mic was just going still <laughs> muted I yeah, he's, he's, he muted himself he now. muted himself okay there you go we'll figure lex it out. luther speak is that better or no yeah you sound awesome boot hey, you sound yeah, awesome. Go for the salmon don't fuck with the other i only use the other one for fucking like right. patties like Salmon patties, but if you want good salmon, always get sockeye. Yeah, sock, sockeye salmon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, your salmon, because I know you've you've I've remember seen videos of yours, but uh, where do you get yours? Farmed, wild. Me or Jesse? Jesse. Where do I get it? What do you mean? Jesse, I think you need to turn on your noise suppressor. That's I, usually, all I usually get the Canadian like stuff. Storm in there because the yeah, wind. Yeah, a lot of times it does come from Canada, like North it's Atlantic. Rare that you get a and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I go North oh, Atlantic. Oh, that, that was the problem. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. That's all good. I'll have sex with you. Loved hearing from you. So, but you, I know that you <laughs> love your salmon. I remember seeing you doing off, the, like again, doing a show, and you're just like, you're out there cooking your salmon in the middle of the desert. You know, you're perfectly cool, and you know, <laughs> dude, seriously, that's fucking hilarious. I don't know. I prefer something, but I mean, eventually, when there's not a lot left in the world. We're going to all have to eat that farmer. You should Dude. might as well enjoy it where we can. Jesse, last year, you fucking predicted there was going to be a meat sh shortage. And you fucking oh. bought $500 worth of meat in one day. And you fucking, and your fucking electricity went out. And you had to fucking <laughs> cool these motherfuckers on ice. <laughs> Damn it, dude. I was like, you have the worst luck over there. That same thing happened <laughs> to Jim Cornette. Did you hear about that? Cornette's, Cornette's freezer got oh, fucked up, too. Good. Oh, no way. Bad luck, I was, was it keeping the remains of his wife? No, yeah. Oh. Was, she probably sleeps the in it. Up, the fucked up thing is that Jesse, like, fucking a year and a half later, looks behind his freezer, and there's, like, three steaks that didn't make it into his freezer that's been there for oh, my a God. year. They're purple with <laughs> bugs in them and stuff. Like, oh. No, they were perfectly Basketball sealed. They still look good. Oh. Just... 
Yeah, I mean, I'm just oh, so sick of you little Here we go. Man. This is coming yeah, in from RN Retro Neon. I'll be honest. I'd like to take a big bite out of your face. There's the top leaders right now. Sup, Joe. Wrestling yep. today is dog shit. Ratings and viewership are down. Yep. It finally did something right and hopeful got rid of Punk and the marky ass elite. Put actually dudes like Arnold Anderson, Chris Jericho, and Kevin Sullivan in those roles. Yeah, I mean, better people need to be in the roles. Shit bomb. Objection. Test donation lol since my other didn't play points to Monica. Well, it's funny because he said that and I did do that. I actually did that and I didn't even know he said that. So we had the same thought. Uh, Scott or whoever that is, thank you for the five dollars. Come and ship him. Wait a minute, objection. Objection. Cruz Benoit. The fact is, it was. Oh, you're spinning the wheel. It's okay. I'm just spinning uh, for Scotty there or Mon Monica, I guess. One thousand points to Monica. Go ahead, Dave. Damn. Uh, okay, so this came out earlier today. Several different or uh, wrestling dirt sheets, whatever, came out with this. There's something that's holding up the resolution of what's going on right now between Young Bucks, fucking Omega, Punk, Steel, all that shit. Did you see what I said They're earlier all going today? To court. Did you see what I said earlier? Did you see on a video? I yeah, I made a video earlier no, today. I, I probably missed that video. It was probably the last one you did. All but right. go um, ahead. I, I got contacted by quickly. several good sources. Go ahead, though. No, I I totally believe you, um, but. Okay, so it seems to be from what I've read, and I, I'm actually more interested in hearing what Joe has to say now. Yeah. But um, yeah, it just seems to be that's you know it's probably Punk holding up something with the the legal issues and the resolution of this, and A Steel apparently isn't you know out yet or he's not fired and there's some sort of company yeah, in the background there's something going on and yeah i i mean it's very interesting because some people were even criticizing with the whole Guevara thing yeah okay so you know he had this issue with andrade but like they initially said it was fucking Guevara squashed it. apparently the story was that you know Guevara didn't do shit he just took a few shots from the guy before shit got uh broken up andrade was sent home and then and then eventually fucking Wait. um Guevara got sent home but like the I, you know what? I can't Did you hear how it all started, all though. This fucking dirt sheet shit. Well, and I'd rather trust fucking Joe, who's got the actual insides that uh, can actually explain things. So, the, what, so what? This is what cur This is what made me perk up. I got I got messages from th about three to four people over the course of the last two weeks, but specifically in the last two days, and in the last two days. These are people that barely ever tell me anything, but when they do tell me things, they're right. For instance, uh, several occasions, most of them have been right on, on some crazy shit. Um, one of them has been specifically right recently um, about MJF, and another one was right about a couple other things. So they're, they're very on. They don't tell me things. They almost never tell me things. And so what all, all of their stories, all of their stories uh, correlate together. And so what is being said, and I said this in my video earlier today, that's why I made that video so people could, you know, kind of hear it. And I'm not saying it's true, but it's, I'm 85% on this. I'm 85%. If it's, and it's a great video. And it, by the way, if it's wrong, if it's wrong, it'll be the first thing that's ever been wrong by several of these people. And they've only told me a couple things. Over two years, they've only told me a couple things, and they've been right. So here we are. This is number, this is about number three for some of them and number four for some of them. And they're all saying the same thing. So the thing is, that apparently they're trying to get Punk to to be, to get released from his contract, mm -hmm. uh, yep. to, to so to get out of his buy contract, out. to buy out his contract. It's like nine million dollars. He can't go to uh, WWE uh, during that time, and he's ha it's to sign an NDA. So they're trying to avoid court any legal problems, and to get him to sign that NDA, and to basically here we're gonna pay you to go home and do nothing. Yeah. And this it, all started with this all started with hold, uh, on, Sammy. hold on, hold on, hold on. For how long, Joe? So that would be is so I think he's got two more years, right? So that's two more years and no punk anywhere and the NDA and nine million allegedly. And then on top buy out his contract and for the next two years, so twenty twenty four, yeah, no punk anywhere. Right, no punk anywhere, and he can't talk about this. And and he can't and he won't sue them then, I guess. Uh, or at least sue AEW. He might sue individuals so outside, I don't know. But but hold on a second. So so the Bucks 
and apparently, allegedly, the Bucks and Kenny Omega are also going to have their contracts not renewed, and allegedly they're going to sit home possibly for the rest of them. Now I about that and that shit. I hope the fuck that's fucking bullshit. Me too. I do too. Because and also, what do you do about the video game? You know, these guys are all prominent in the video game. Cody's gone, but the other thing that is in this is in this thing that I've been told is that Kenny Omega will they will still promote the video game, but that's it. That's all you'll see is the video game stuff. Exactly what I'd do. I'd bring them all back, all of them. I don't give a fuck. I bring them all back too. Whatever. Well, it's, so this, it's, all, this is the problem. And, and you though. know what? Do you know, he know pulls why? A fucking McMahon. He's like, it's enough. But now I tell you the reason what to why. do, and he embarrasses them in front of everyone. <sighs> and says, There's you're only still one on reason. the hook for two years. And guess what, punk? You're gonna suck my dick. <laughs> I only- feel like there's no locker room leaders anymore. There's nothing but clicks. Who That's all you have now. About? What are you talking about? Literally tonight, it was click. just announced that fucking Moxley has just been signed for another five years, not just to wrestle, but also to be a um, locker room leader. Going to be a yeah. Well, if you want to call the problem that, is the, the legal stuff, Dave. You know, like that. Dave, the issue is the legal stuff. I believe. I believe if there was no legal stuff, I think everybody would be in trouble or suspended or something like that. An investigation, they would figure it out, and probably things would move on. I think the problem is the yep. legal stuff. I think the fact that the young legal bucks and them. It's just like, but who bit who? Like well, what the fuck? Like, well, like, uh, Punk has obtained like- a lawyer already. Punk already is moving on legal stuff. So, and if the young bucks are doing anything so it, i think at that point tony khan doesn't want to be sued he doesn't want AEW sued and he doesn't want to be sued so because of that that's the problem i think that, but if there was no one saying lawyer this lawyer that then i think everything would have been all right and they could have fixed it but because so be honest here joe you know i'm a fucking Wait. AEW mark but i'll say one thing before i shut the fuck up and gargots gets to speak but okay fact is he's been uh, tony khan's been too kind and these people have been allowed to just act like children and expect everything to be handed to them and this whole fucking fight this disloyalty that we've seen uh, especially andrade trying to get fired and shit (laughs) like like tony khan loved you guys right fuck to help you guys out and you treated them like this you know what? I want this. I want Tony Khan to go fucking scorched earth on these motherfuckers and remind them that he was the one that put them on the fucking map. Especially yep. the F. Well, I think a lot of people are insulted here because think about this, right? Tony Khan values these guys as shiny toys, which is okay. He loves them yeah. like Andrade, values them like a shiny toy. Uh, Andrade wants to be a part of AEW because he's not happy with WWE. So both people are happy. He joins. Tony Khan doesn't really book him a good way, so he kind of craps on him in that way. He doesn't book him well enough. And Andrade really isn't able to deliver either, so now they're both unhappy. And now Tony Khan continues to cruise with the guy, and now the guy says, well, I'm going to get myself fired on purpose. So it's like everybody's kind of dropping the ball left and right, but to get yourself fired... So Tony Khan now has to send Andrade home and, and say... Okay, and he needs to pay him. Just pay him and send him home. Stay home and get paid because otherwise, if he releases him, now that tells everybody, and I know that it also tells people, hey, you know, be belligerent. You'll just get sent home and get paid and get vacation if you want to do that. But that's still not as bad as if he releases him because if he releases him, now it says, okay, punch people in the locker room and get out of your contract. So you can't do that. So Andrade can't get that way you can't do it but the thing is the thing is that like sammy guevara comes in the locker room saying hey you hit me a little bit too hard have you and it's like <laughs> is sammy like like blind to see that he's doing spanish flies off of like 18 foot drops and shit and saying oh you're hitting me too hard yeah but sammy's but but, but sammy's probably well, like it's nothing well, yeah but sammy's well, thinking well, that didn't hurt me as much as your punches that's what he's thinking he's like yo the well, spanish well, flies well, yeah you're trained to take JR, this is in ballet. Look, okay, you're so you know what? It. this might this might yeah. be valid if it was true, but we already seem to to have indication that Andrade wants to leave. This sounds more like a setup by Andrade, to be quite honest. It, yeah, yeah, you're right on that. Well, you yeah. know what it sounds like? It sounds like Sammy Guevara having another problem with another well, person in the locker. Room. I, obviously, this guy has problems with everybody. Again, he's what? 
he's been fed the silver spoon. That's why Andrade attacked him because Andrade yes, yeah. knows I'll go after Sammy because he's been in trouble you before. Sam is a cool, you know cool person probably in real life, but all I know is I like that oh. he's been fed this fucking goddamn Jericho silver spoon to say that, dude, you I can mean, fucking, you can fucking yeah, ass roll this shit. You know what? You gotta, you gotta attribute that to Tony Khan. Is Tony no. Khan that you know again gave him the the title, tried to build him up. <clears throat> yeah, you know what? He deserved to you know get good, but he wasn't even you know at the level when he won that title. This guy still needs to do. He he keeps doing a lot of botches. He's dangerous to himself and others. Mm -hmm. And yep. you know he needs to be able to improve before he can be given the status of the Spanish God. When the fact is, the guy can't even fucking speak Spanish. <laughs> he's like Gargoyle. You raised a piece of shit. Hey, it sounds like me. It he's wasn't out than. very long, but when are we gonna realize that Tony Khan is black only cast. booking for the hardcore fanboys? Uh, didn't hear anything anybody said. The donation was playing, and it sounded like mumbles. Uh, Dave's voice dries vaginas. Said it wasn't out very long, but did uh, anyone see the version of Rent with the black cast? Oh, okay. So they did that with with Rent too. Okay, I didn't see it. I don't wow. know. I'm not. I didn't see that. They don't have enough to pay rent. Can I do black cast? Talking over his donation. Scissor me. Disrespect from Gargots to talk over a donation. Look at that scissor. Uh. Uh. Points to COVID survivor Joe Cronin. Yes. You sound much better way to beat the hell out of your most recent sickness. Gargut's rules. Thank you, Mastodon. Actually, right here in my throat still, it feels like someone's kind of pinching me or stabbing me. And my nose is starting to get a little stuffed up right now. But I'm still rolling, baby. Uh, Mastodon with the 999. Thank you, Mastodon. Uh, Maybe you got to tell your kids. Shot. <laughs> Maybe you gotta tell your kids to stop playing around with the fucking idiot children who have yeah. Cheetos and snot on their fingers every day. Yeah, Maybe that's why they're coming home with a new fucking sickness. Dude, your fucking what do you got? Black mold in your fucking house? I don't know. Uh, Maybe Leah, Leah's upstairs right now. She's been coughing up blood all fucking day. And Finn, oh, he's been shitting bricks like literally. I don't even understand. He's actually it myself, man. He's recovered so well. <laughs> he's he's doing great. Like, uh, but the rest of us are fucking dying. Uh, Mastodon with a thousand. Uh, so that's uh, what is that? Uh, that's well, that's just a thousand. So th a thousand for Mastodon or whoever he gave that to. Oh, you gave points to me. Thank you. I get a thousand. I like that. That's good. Is there me. ever a day where you're just not like <laughs> sick? <laughs> I haven't been sick. You know? in, I barely get sick, but now I've been sick twice in a row. I mean, like in a way. I. I, I by the way, I think this was the flu, because I looked it up and I'm like, yeah, this is the fucking flu. It's it, we all got the flu, so we all got COVID five weeks ago, and now we get the flu. This is definitely the flu. It's been two weeks. And you all got that, that all would make sense it? that you get sick again after um, your immune system had been attacked. So five, five, oh, actually, six weeks ago, right? So or six or seven now. It's been. I keep forgetting the time is going by. Seven weeks ago, we all got COVID. I was the worst affected by COVID. Everybody else. Everyone, hold on. You're telling me every single person in your family has been positively addressed as being infected by the thing. Yes, all of us. Seven weeks ago. So the youngest, the oldest, everyone, everyone. Yep. And you all, ex it, like, did everyone experience the same symptoms? Um, yeah. Somebody okay. I'll tell you right now. Uh, Finn. Finn got a hundred degree temperature, but was still up playing video games. <clears throat> and then um, after six, after six hours, um, it went away. It the fever went away, and then the next dude, day, temperature he doesn't mean shit to me, dude. Like either you're on your fucking like deathbed or fucking puking into the toilet, or you're fucking chilling around, high kicking and fucking playing video games. What was it? No, I, I wash my, like the first I, version. I wash my hands like you wouldn't believe. I'm so cleanly, it's fucked. I clean every, like I'm a nutcase. Leah yells at me for how ridiculous I am. Um, no, so it's not that. It's just we, dude. We, none of us had gotten COVID ever. We would never had COVID. None of us have been sick in years, except for Finn. Finn has gotten colds, and that's about it. So none of us have been sick. 
Um, Finn got COVID and, and he was the worst off and he was not even that bad at all. He was really not bad at all. He was fine. He like, just was like, whatever. He slept one day with it and that was about it. And, how um, you know it was, uh, but how'd you know he got COVID? I, I tested how him. Did you get, how did you know that everyone got COVID in your house? Because Finn got it. I tested him. No, but with what? Like, I got it first. Okay. So at. let me explain. So I got it first. And I tested positive immediately several times, and I had it. But for, hold on, you went to a, a fucking store. You got a testing thing. What'd you do? I, we have thirty kits in the house. You have thirty kits. These that. things made in China. With but, the well, because but be, okay. well, because so Lee, Leah's um, mother and my mother would drop off kits because they would get them, and they're like, "I have a million here, have mine." And then also, I I went on the stupid USPS website and was they give you free ones, so I'm like, "Yeah, send me fine, I guess, in case we need a test." Because for my job, I have to test all this, all, whatever. Now I had never taken a COVID. I think I had. Ne I I don't believe I'd taken a COVID test. Yes, I had never taken a COVID test. Not in two. Not in 2020. Not in 2021. Not almost all of 2022 until seven weeks ago when I got crazy cramps and pain and I in that three days I was fucked and I felt like like my whole body was being destroyed by something and I took the test and I had it so I was like okay and I must have taken five you know what I mean throughout the course to see if it was still reading and I when can I go back to work um so after I got it I got it pretty bad right but I mean you know nothing nothing respiratory nothing ever dangerous just pain you know sore aches really bad 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 aches worst aches I ever had three days so then um then Finn got it and he just nothing, almost nothing. A day and a half, he had it. Didn't no big deal. Um, my daughter, I think she got it, but like you couldn't really tell. And she never tested. Po she never tested positive. So, but she was sick with something. But whatever. So I think she just blasted it. Uh, Gavin, he got it. He had a headache and he felt kind of weird for about two days. He tested positive and he was fine. Just beat it. Two days was over. Whatever. Didn't he barely even knew he had it. He felt like he didn't have it. But I'm like, let's what are test these you. tests though? Like, what are these tests that are like? Is the one that you jab that fucking. Thing up your nose? Yeah, it's the nose thing. thing into the it's nose, or is it the one that you like spit and like? It's the nose one. Step. It's the nose one. So you you just ram this fucking Q-tip into his nose, broke his fucking no. It doesn't go that in there, and it doesn't it doesn't have to go that far anymore. It's not like that. It's like it yeah, does. and also also I'm just confused, Dave. Not saying like, but like, what would you what would explain why they were all sick with the same sickness? Like, I, I don't even, like I don't really know what he's well, getting I at. Know, I don't okay. know what the conspiracy of it is. Okay, well, I don't want to get Joe's channel. But, but, but wait, wait. So, so then, so then no. Leah, Leah gets it. And, and Leah had, Leah was probably the most affected besides me because Leah's was weird. And for like a week, she kind of felt like she didn't feel the greatest for like a week, but it really wasn't that bad. But she got like this sort of just like a little sinusy thing, and that was really it. But she tested positive, so everybody tested positive. We all had COVID a couple weeks, right, or or a couple whatever. So so, but now recently, th about three weeks ago, or, or two and a half weeks ago, uh, the kids got fevers, and then three days after their Fever. three days after their fevers, they all got a snotty like you know like mucus thing and that was when and that lasted for a few weeks and during that time they got ear infections and they had sore throats and then fevers came back and then that's when finn had oxygen and breathing problems and i took him to the hot we took him to the hospital and then uh my daughter had an ear infection so we she was treated for that with antibiotics my son ended up getting steroids and uh, you know we we have a, we have all these things here cuz he always had needs a nebulizer so we have a nebulizer here so then Leah gets it and then and then I get it and now I've I'm the last one to get it so unlike uh covid I was the first one to get it this time I was the last one to get it now I tested for covid nothing kids the 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 ER tested him for covid nothing I tested him at home nothing I tested the other kid nothing so it was never covid so I believe that was the flu so we got god but you got but you got covid didn't you 7 weeks ago oh so yeah. that was a while ago and then these new symptoms didn't account for anything like right no that. no these are so i'm saying we all got covid seven weeks ago and then about two weeks ago we all started getting whatever this is and this i think was the flu so i literally it's, think we just got the flu and covid and none of us have had the flu 
I, we none of us had ever had COVID ever until seven weeks ago. Now the entire family's infected. That doesn't make much sense. To what me. are you talking about? What it doesn't make sense about that? We got COVID. We all got COVID seven weeks ago, and now we all got what Does I that think makes sense. Okay, but, yeah, but we all live together. Got the flu. Yeah, now and they we all live in the same house. We, we, yeah, yes, so, the, I mean, the kids I, all went back to school. The kids just went back to school in September, so they went back to school and they caught fucking probably the flu from the kids yeah. there. Probably. Yeah, it's a, it's probably a lot more different. Like with the having flu's kids, raging hard right now. Yeah, like when you have kids, you're you're increasing that risk factor of picking up something nasty. Like Dude, I don't know. Every kid. kids are kids are the fucking ones. Like that are you're fucking... an adult and you've got a actually <clears throat> fully, uh, you know, uh, complete immune system. I had so. not been sick in years. But I, but I haven't an, been as sick as, in years. Like, as a kid. But as a kid, like remember we used to fucking run on the monkey bars and all this shit. And never wash our hands and shit. Yeah, yeah and then like. No. I mean, so when, I really when I was a kid, a chance when I was a kid catch, I'd straight uh, up jizz in my pants and wouldn't Dave, even fucking this is wipe why, them away. You know, this is why those pies on the pies on Italian fucks were dropping like flies in Italy because they're all packed oh. in the same homes together, catching it from each other constantly. Is this why parents won't yeah. associate with their kids who have chicken pox? I mean, yeah, you know, no, no. Back in the day, you used to have chicken pox again, parties. Again, you could be a parent around a child with chicken pox. You're not going to catch it. So what's the issue there? I don't think there is an issue. What, what's wrong with chicken pox? Is chicken pox still a thing? Are you drunk, Dave? Yeah. Yeah, I don't get what that has to do with what the earlier. Did you just, so, did like, you just take shrooms, Dave? Yeah, yeah. The, the, what you're asking is, oh, well, they were around the parents. Okay, well, parents that are around their kids that have chicken pox. Don't get infected. No one, with no pox. one's talking about chicken pox. We're not but talking you. about chicken you're pox. We're talking about an infection. It's a different it's type. Same way that you're well, trying see, to like <laughs> Oh my god! It's, it's like uh, means. Are you drunk? Is, uh, you know, flu. To it. Okay. Chick yes. You but realize, not but chicken so pox. Can I explain yeah, something? Hold on a second. Happening. Chicken pox is a whole different thing. Like now, nowadays everyone's like vaccinated early, so they don't even deal with that anymore. Like you don't even that's not chicken pox isn't even a thing anymore. When we were kids well, then, let's rewind and look at the fact that before people were vaccinating themselves to this stuff, they were actually associating. So again, right. a parent with chicken uh, with a child with chicken pox wouldn't get infected with that chicken pox. Right, because they already caught it when they were young, so they're not gonna catch it now from their kid. Yeah, yeah but, catch have, but but so but, but, but the point I'm sorry, the, I'm trying to make right. is that with you being around, uh, and again, this is what Lucas, uh, sorry, uh, Luke brought up, not Lucas, um, is that just being a, you know around your family doesn't necessarily make you susceptible to certain things. Yes, but the flu, but but but, like but, it, but it does, but it does when. If somebody comes home with COVID, which is highly contagious, and none of us have had COVID, of course we're all probably going to catch it, most likely. Oh, same with the, same with no, the flu. I mean, had, with the, with the How many times have you had COVID? Once. Okay, but don't you get an immune entity? Probably. Yes. yes. Yes, we do. Sort of talk like Kirk there. But. Yes, I'm, I probably. So I, I got it. I've gotten it three times. Yeah. One got, very mild. You got it three two times. Two very sure. deadly. Two very sure deadly. Able to. Because again, the but first now, time you get it, your body is supposed to create an immune system towards it. Your body creates an very immune mild, system. Very, it very, creates. very slightly. And then um and then uh when I got it the very last two times, oh dude, that was it. I didn't drink for poison? like fucking uh, have you been it creates an immune the, system, uh, but it's not jab? like Dave, Dave, on, Dave, do you to the so, Dave, do you know again. how the flu strains work? Do you know how the uh, so, Yes I do. I wanna okay. I wanna hear from Gargutz. Have you been pinched? I've been, no, uh, no. So I'm gonna say that uh, since I got it those two deadly times, and that was in 2020, dude, I fucking I can go, I can be around people that have COVID, and I don't get it, but people around me will get it. You said, so, yeah, you the it. fucking immunities. Hold on, I want to know what happened. You caught it, okay? So yeah. what, what happened? You went through a a big illness. What? what like, yes, what, huge illness. But like, I, yeah. you get an immunity? Did you notice an immunity after? That's I thought I did, and then it happened again, and then that was the worst. And then the, when that was the worst one, and I didn't drink for like what at least two months, Jesse. Yeah, two so and a half months. After getting it three times, is that's when his immunity kicked in. 
Yeah, because uh, my immunities were fucking. Uh, it took three pretty, times. Pretty diminished from um, you gotta, from cancer. You gotta work on your immune You're basically man. immune. Well, he had cancer too. Dude. You're Why basically have I not got it though? Why have I not got it? Uh, what? Well, you know what, Dave? That's actually weird because I didn't get I didn't get mine until like earlier this year, and I thought I was never gonna get it. It when it hits you, it literally just hits you out of nowhere. Like if you haven't already gotten it, it's just gonna hit you out of nowhere. It might hit mm-hmm. you like two or three years down the line, and the immunity it keeps you from basically getting so sick that you're gonna die if you ever get it again but you still can get it but the possibility of you getting it if you're immune and somebody else in the house has it i think your possibility goes down because me and my sis me and my sister both had it and my mom didn't get it and i think she she had it a few years ago but it, she was out of the house at the, at the time. So it, it's it's weird. Like, it's weird, the whole immunity Dave, thing. But, Dave, like, the, the Dave, virus... It was right after you. Dave, it sorry. was right after you... Sorry, I'm just saying, sorry, real quick. I, I remember now. It was right after you left the show. And uh, I was on the show with uh, Jesse and mm-hmm. fucking Joe all the time. And, dude, I fucking party. just... Yeah, I fucking... I, I just disappeared. Um, They're like, where the fuck is he at? And... I came on and I was like, dude, I think I just got COVID, and I had to go get a blood test and all this shit. And they're like, hey, you had COVID. You're, you're, you're you good guys, though. He was at a house where they had random people there, like every yep. fucking day for parties. Can so, we admit party something house. at least? Can we admit something at least that uh, in un, uh, obviously really mysterious seething and coping? He'll never be a woman, despite cu- cho- chopping off his dick. But um, the, the, what? the fact is that we had we had really mysterious all these different. We, no, seriously, guys, you know, being serious, we had all these medical organizations telling us that right. okay, well, um, you get the vaccine, it's not going. You're you're not going to get infected. Then they updated. Okay, well, you might get infected, but it's not going to be that severe. Then they say, okay, well, it, it, you're it's gonna get infected. a little severe, but you won't be submitted to the hospital. And, I mean, this changed constantly. This is why so many people, and this is rightful to question, you know, what Fauci's been doing. Because there's been such an update uh, on all these different sort of situations where people no are to but be uh, questioning on this. So I'm just wondering, what do you guys think of this stuff? Well, I just think it's weird that, like, yeah, it is weird that they had so much misinformation and, you know. Well, it also like, takes they, And they contradict themselves a lot, too. But at the same time, you got to remember that I don't think there is going to be this perfect vaccine for really anything that says, hey, you're never going to get this because it's impossible if you take this. There's always going to be a small chance that you're going to end up getting Whatever. I mean, I'm sure there's people somewhere who still fucking get polio somehow. So, I I mean, Luke, a serious question then. Uh, Luke, a serious question then. Okay. So, the flu, obviously, is the influenza, as it's probably called. Influenza has existed for quite some time. Up to this point, we still have a, a vaccine that will probably cure it or prevent it from being. You know, like you have the booster shots every year that people have. Okay. But if that's the case, then what's the point? You, you see what I'm saying? The it's just like the if point it's is that it brings action. down it brings down the possibility of you getting it by a lot. So while, yes, you still can get it, and, and it may seem like, well, what's the point if it's not going to completely keep me from getting it? A lot the percentage of you getting something after taking the the vaccine is it goes complete it goes a lot down so you're basically you're taking it so you're mitigating that risk other because you're never going to i don't think there's going to be something that you take and be like hey if you take this you're totally not going to get this there's always a small Luke, chance that you're going to get something so Luke, the point I'm just trying to make is that basically after over 100 years, there's no vaccine that cures the flu. The simple fucking thing that just gives you sniffles. The, literally, the flu just gives you sniffles. Maybe it gives you a migraine. You got to fucking stay in bed for a few days. Grandma you always was right. You fucking eat chicken. Uh, uh, was it chicken? Uh, chicken soup. noodles. 
and your uh, chicken noodle soup. There you go. And and it's good. Like, you don't need fucking a $50 million grant to study this shit. We all know this because grandma already told us. So my point is, okay, we don't have a fucking cure for the flu. We don't have a cure for fucking AIDS, which has been, you know, people have thrown billions of dollars at. We don't have uh, a cure for cancer, which have been trillions of dollars thrown at. Isn't it? making more sense that it's just more profitable to keep people sick yep well i mean i don't i feel like yeah that's that's a it's good called legal point. genocide that's what i call it that's a good point dave let's but stop i don't know let's, you know, hey, let, let uh, fucking i just want to speak i'm just wondering how we got to that point because because joe was just simply talking about how his whole family was getting sick and it felt like all turned into like, whoa! How how are they all sick? Something seems up. It's like it felt like it felt like we were trying to, I don't know, debunk it for whatever no. reason that his whole family got COVID. And it was just no, like, no, well, I'm I mean, actually just, just looking for, you know, uh, he made a mountain like, out of a mole. Okay, hill. like, did everyone get vaccinated? Was only a few vaccinated? I, was it like, some people got exposed. Did to you certain, get vaccinated? Obviously, the kids go to school, get exposed to other kids. Did the adults do the same? Like, what's again? I'm looking for the statistical fact. I'm looking, not looking to place blame. I'm just trying to figure what, out what, what's going what on. Did, what did you do? I get. I guarantee you, you didn't get vaccinated, right? You're like, I'm not gonna jump that. I'm not gonna cross that line unless I'm. Sangre sure. pura, señor. Sangre pura. So you didn't cross that line. You didn't want to do that. I didn't do that. You didn't get it though. I did get it a few times. I learned the hard way. Yeah, but and why is that though? That's what I'm trying to understand. Is this like okay? Some people say, "Oh, you should have done this." My immunities that. were down. That's why, because of the cancer thing. That's what it was. Yeah, so, it, when you have chemo and radiation, it, could be, a, it could be a huge factor right now. But at the same time, I survived that because I don't like to take medicine. And people were taking medicine. They were taking Advil, and it was giving them pneumonia. It's like okay, so why, why would I even take medicine if for fucking? And people were trying to make me take Advil. Advil. Remember that year, and I was like, no, I'm not gonna take Advil. Fuck, I don't take any medicine. Then like I see a report on fucking like you know ABC News or CBS News taking Advil can lead to pneumonia when you have oh, COVID. Poor shit. Like, oh well, that's what fucking air- it's killing everybody. They're yeah, being prescribed I mean, they- the wrong shit. Because well, yeah, the different- only. The only pill they should have told you to take our guts was, um, and this really works uh, with people, especially with people who have cancer. Um, it's called cyanide. That's what they should have given you because yeah, I think well, it really would have helped you. No, honestly, honestly, you could have <laughs> given me cyanide, and it would have fuck. I would have been like, I would have been sniffing that shit and still live. Yeah, that's fucking how fucking powerful up. I am. No, I'm playing. No, um, no, uh, you know th- that's a great point though. You know, Mister is still looking like the uh, bundle of sticks that he is. I, I I've learned my lesson when it comes to <laughs> Joe Cronin show. I know I can't say certain words that start with the F and end oh, with. You I learned it. Like you learned that. Uh, Fauci versus uh, Fauci. Uh, oh, serious. Certainly uh, showing his uh, true trans colors and uh, good. Dave, I just you, ignore but, that uh, lesson. You know, uh, statistically speaking, you're going to commit suicide soon enough. So, enjoy. Damn, Dave's. Anyway, um, <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know if. I don't know how many people watched uh, SmackDown tonight, but uh, did the anybody? Yeah, the QR code's one thing, but there was also like a little thing during. I forget which it was like coming back from commercial break. It was like two people talking like in the darkness or whatever. And they're like, they say exile oh, or whatever. The Viking Raiders. That was the Viking Raiders. Okay. Yeah. I Viking couldn't Raiders and uh, the, the girl from the riot squad, not Liv Morgan, not Ruby, right? Sarah Logan. Dan, Dan Kennedy, real quick, dude, you suck at taking QR codes on your fucking phone. That shit did not work. I was like, this motherfucker can't even take it the right way. <laughs> At first, no, I love that hate that I'm inspiring in the chat. Uh, you're going to all fuck yourself because I'm here and you're not. How about that? Please continue. Kill him. Get him. Well, uh, anyway, I wanted to just say, I wanted to just say, I thought that was going to, I thought that was oh, a no. vignette for hey. something mysterious, but. 
the fact that it's just for the Viking Raiders. Never mind. That's fucking stupid. Who gives Dave, a shit? First of all, first of all, I'm going to say I'm going to say the name that you're talking about, and that name, <laughs> Jesse, oh, wow. me, me, and Jesse know about that name. All right, so don't even worry about that. Big G, disinformed Dave Rose. Uh, I don't think so. Wait, are we talking about the wonderful world of Randy? Okay, Sam? No, Big G is cool. I don't know what's going on there. Hey, that's between y'all two. Not, I'm going to get out of here. Woo. Anyways, so when I fucking walked into the goddamn thing, y'all were talking about Bicanye, right? Bicanye, Bicanye. And that shit is not, you, you, are you serious that they don't serve that around you? I guess I'm too close to the border or something that they serve it down here. Quite possibly, but the fact is you just can't <laughs> walk into any fucking, you know, supposed steak, you know, house. In Canada, and say, yeah, yeah to, so uh, you know, I will have some picanha. You, you have to go so to the best one, big Brazilian place to actually get it. Like, they have it at the Brazilian steakhouse. Only, too, here. only you can't yep. uh, unless you know a Brazilian butcher. Well, but you're not going to get from anybody. Have, have you ever heard about the the either the butcher's cut or the oyster steak? Nice. That's well, the butcher's cut could be just about anything. The butcher and the blade. So, well, you tell the butcher to cut it, but what do you, what do you talk about? <laughs> it's it's more towards like the the back end before you get to way before you get to the asshole. But that shit is like what? supposedly like the tenderest fucking thing, and it's flavorful. It's all that shit everywhere. Like, hey, I just dude, want I, I just want, want that to cut. cut oyster steak. Wanted, look it up. I, I just wanted to say because we were talking about people in the chat earlier. It's, Certain certain people. I hope you fucking die in a fire, you fucking loser. Don't watch the channel if you want to know what the hell happened to what? it. Wait, what the, what the point jackass. in even acknowledging these people? What kind of fire? Like a nine eleven well, well, fire, or like a? First of all, we were not. Someone just acknowledged them not even two seconds ago. Where was no, your I'm comment? In then? general, what the point of acknowledging the chat? What is the real point to that? I mean, it's, a, it's quite it's comical a, to address people like really mysterious who will lose his wrench and, um, you know, <laughs> just the fact that his obsession over people's sexuality just really goes to show how gay he really is. And you know what? I'm sorry that your stepfather raped you. Well, actually, I'm not really sorry that your stepfather raped you. I probably would have fucking been there cheering him on. But, well, uh, that's sure. so, um, I don't, you know, I don't really well, give I a can't, fuck I about can't why you with, uh, the gay fucking fuck. person that you are. And uh, that's fine with me. But uh, either way, really mysterious, uh, you ain't shit. I'm here. You're not. Get used to it. Well, really mysterious. I like you because you had my back in one of the arguments, and you said Luke's such a good, smart guy. So, I mean, I can't hate you for that. He likes but, to uh, talk to fucking uh, wait, go against he disagrees me. with you. <laughs> Try it. Hey, well, hold on. I, he hasn't even acknowledged me, and he used to be on my chats all the time. So he's not a cock. He's just going straight for the kill. He dropped now, it's, he dropped now it's still like, really mysterious. Like, you know, oh my lord. What? What's up? Until really mysterious says something negative about me, then we can <laughs> jump and call him a piece oh, of shit. Oh, fucking! That, that sounds like you're insta yeah, and, instigator. Imagine, imagine Hitler saying, "Yes, uh, you know, uh, this man is okay," boy. but meanwhile doing all this other bad stuff. You know, it's just like, come on. Well, dude. I mean, why would I imagine Hitler saying that? I'm just wondering. No, what that's I'm saying is that he can say nice things to you and still do bad things and still be proven. I mean, Gargut's even calling this guy out on this shit. Come on, man. Come on! Wait, I didn't call him. Wait, what did I call him out on? Hey. Gargoth is too drunk to call out anybody. He'd be like, "What? <laughs> well, hold on! <laughs> I'm not that drunk, man. I can fucking drive a car around your goddamn mother, fucking." And <laughs> well, I, I, I highly doubt you could drive a fucking that, car. That does not sound or that they give convincing. You, or that they give you a legal license, you fucking immigrant. But I bet still, you he, he doesn't. It was gonna be legal, bro. I they bet you say, you wait, don't wait, have a license. Wait, wait. Wait, I bet Garth, you don't have one. Going on oh, space. there's something going on. Oh, he's here. In this place. <laughs> he was going to take there's me to court. Weird gotta happen and strange gotta happen and it's Allison. Chuck, what the fuck is happening? Aliens, extraterrestrials. They gave me a shot. <laughs> Nanotechnology. Nanotechnology. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, you're not you. La, la, la. Uh, oh, 
I'm fucking crazy, split personality, Scott McKinnon. They're gonna do, Scott, what you're gonna fucking do. This donation's not going away, and fuck no you. No Democrats stuff was on taking SmackDown at time. Then when they were done, then they let SmackDown back on. It pissed me off that it was taking wrestling airtime. Um, no play Democrat stuff was taking was on talking SmackDown at a time. Then when they were done, then they let SmackDown back on. Wait, wait a minute. What? That's a lie. First of all, talking if he's talking about talking smack, the after show, nobody fucking even watches that anymore. Oh, because they I think completely ruined wait a minute, it. Allison, is she talking about the Democratic National Convention and they like they were yeah, what this is about I, yeah, this is a wrestling comment. Yeah, I mean, you can take your guess at what that what that what we just what that meant. I don't know, but Smackdown. I'm gonna tell you right now, SmackDown was weird tonight. It had some decent moments to it, but that whole Jake Paul thing. Can anybody tell me? Okay, Yo, wait like, a minute. What, wait a minute. Uh, Hold uh, up. Shut Hold the up. fuck up! Oh no, my you god! Shut the fuck up, motherfucker! Yo, I gotta tell you something. Did you see the QR code? All right, go ahead. <laughs> Rojas, continue. I muted him. He interrupted you before we even know what the hell you're gonna say. Go ahead. All right. Well, I fucking just lost my goddamn train of thought, motherfucker. Anyway, the whole Logan Paul thing. What? Like he says this to Roman. He's like, "Who's the real tribal chief? You, Roman Reigns, or Jay Uso?" And it's like, it, and then that's like the big moment that pisses Jay Uso off. But it's like the line doesn't even make really any sense. Like Jay Uso hasn't been in a feud with Roman for like years. There's been no contention between who's the head of the table or not. Mm. It, and like since the beginning, Jay's since the very reaction, beginning, Jay's reaction to the whole thing was just so ridiculous. Like he got so pissed off for like seemingly such a shitty comeback. Okay. Like, well, I don't know that 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 segment was really bad. I didn't see that one. Sammy Steve. Now, what's your problem with that, Dan? Now that you know what he's gonna say, go ahead. Yeah, say something completely different before you fucking muted me. Well, the the why he was about to make a point and you interrupted him. My point was gonna be was not really about what he was gonna say. I was gonna say so, something. So you just were like, different. you know what? I'm gonna interrupt someone as they're speaking and say what I want to say randomly. Just be like, yo, you're about to say something. Hey, I'm gonna say something. So like, you know what I mean? Uh, so you pulled a Tommy. You pulled a Tommy, Dan. Let's just admit it. Dan, you pulled Whatever. a Tommy. Whatever. People do that to me all the fucking time. Yeah, so. they do. Now, what were you gonna say? Uh, now, Dan, what were you gonna say? <clears throat> I was going to say, Joe, aren't you like Neo Wister? Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm 20 minutes. Why, I'm, you want... surprised you didn't, I'm surprised you didn't jump Logan Paul. Well, I was at work until about 8.45, so I wasn't going to make it out there. He, he, he was probably going to pull in late anyway. By the way, if I, I went to watch Rampage tonight, but um, yeah. well, I wanted to, but uh, I don't know when Joe was going to go on, so I wasn't going to uh, stop midway. So I'll have to watch it tomorrow, but regardless, now, it was an okay show. Well, I want to know if you've been smoking, drinking, or taking pills tonight, Dave. Can you tell me which one of those? I don't, um, I don't do the pharmaceuticals, yep. and I haven't skied in quite some time. Mm -hmm. Although I am a little tempted, but uh, yes, um, Friday nights is uh, all right for fighting, and uh, certainly the alcohol is being imbibed and uh. the cannabis is being consumed. Oh, so Dave's yeah. smoking and drinking—that explains why he doesn't. Yeah, yeah, that explains everything. Okay, this is—I like it though. <clears throat> I that like explains why I interrogated you for 15 minutes on asking <laughs> how yeah. your kids got COVID. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have a class <laughs> tomorrow on respiratory infections and infectious disease and how they work. I'm going to have a big thing. Now, tomorrow. Joe, now, Joe, yeah, how did Garth exactly this there with your laugh? <laughs> my, my <laughs> brother. Instead of, instead of uh, what is it? Uh, fuck bitches get money. You're like, disregard females, acquire currency. No, <laughs> read, 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 read books. Just, also, uh, Joe, you yeah, actually I made a note of this. Uh, the other day, you made a video saying that you love reading Rainbow. Um, I love that show too. But yeah. you don't like to read books. Well, fuck's up? but yeah. when I was a kid, I I. But here's the thing: I love books being read to me. So when okay. I was okay, <laughs> okay, you know, I love podcasts, love radio, and I love when read people read to me. Did you have one of those? I'm like girl. Did you have one of those like uh, right. over eccentric fucking 
teachers would be like, and the fucking girl said, yeah. wow, you have yes. big ass eyes. Well, my, my mother read kind of like, not that much, but she had a lot. Of, my mother read wonderfully. But also, I I do read. When I do read, I read much better when I read out loud because it's almost like... But then I don't retain it as much because I'm reading it out loud. It's weird, bro. So, yeah. You do like, go the fuck to sleep by uh, Samuel Jackson? Yeah, I heard about that. I didn't I didn't it's pick it up. It's fucking hilarious. Though. If you could... Actually, yeah. I don't know if you should play it because I think it's copyright, but... Oh, uh, fuck uh, you. Did anybody, have the, did anybody have the Scholastic Book Fair when they were a kid? Oh, yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, we all yeah. did. When, when, I, was when I was younger, though... In the world. <clears throat> Jesus. <laughs> anyway, when I was younger, we had them... And I'm going to tell you, those were the biggest fucking scams on kids because mm -hmm. one, kids never read any of these books that they bought, including like we bought these giant, like I remember picking up this giant Star Wars book that had all this like information on the different lightsaber styles. Yeah. And I literally just bought it because it had like Star Wars pictures. Oh, yeah. It's like, I was like, lightsaber. <laughs> it's, it's all bullshit. Cool, man. <laughs> and I said, like, original. Do you, and do you, I spent I like twenty ninety nine on it. Like oh you know, <laughs> like oh the God. the amount of sh like those books that they either had a bunch of books that nobody, no fucking kid in third or fourth grade, unless they you know actually gave You're a right. shit about about you know education, no fucking kid was gonna read them. Or well, they had these had awesome looking books, Star man. Wars books. Yeah, Sorry. man, they had great books back in. Did my you own day. pay for the posters? They had, they had posters. And they had fucking bookmarks. Like who won my books? <laughs> so you 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 guys you guys didn't have, have the, the, the you guys didn't have a reading program. So every time you would read a book and take a test on the book and pass the test, you would get points for free. That's how you bought all this shit for fucking free. You didn't fucking go in there. I would save up my points. I'd have like fucking like 500, 600 points saved up at the beginning of the end. Like, how the fuck do you have that shit within a few? Well, we thing had is that some sort of to pay full price there, you summer. fucking immigrant. We had a really? summer. Oh my God. Dude, we used to fucking read books and then we used to fucking give away the answers to everybody. Okay, well, like, you, so you, <laughs> I'd be like, I'm gonna read this book. You read, um, so I read uh, Governor's Travels and fucking Doctor Doolittle while other people are reading other books, and we traded fucking information. That's fucking, how you get that network going, and you cheat the system. Only fucking Doctor Doolittle that you ever read was the fucking <laughs> back of the was the back of the this? DVD. <laughs> you read the synopsis on the DVD case, <laughs> and you think, "Oh, yeah, I read Miss uh, Doctor Doolittle." <laughs> Doctor Doolittle was the a white guy. The most difficult book he read was IKEA instructions. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, 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 hey to you be fair, fucking those are together a key thing. Are that thing hard. is hard as fuck. Shit. I'll never fucking put together that fucking kitchen net set. <laughs> but I'll look at a YouTube video. But no, I'm saying that that's how you teach it. You cheated the system. You fucking got all these points. Plus, people uh, that you knew, they were fucking doing um, uh, little books. Uh, what do you call it? Like reading through little books, and it was like zero point five points. And they would fucking have like yeah. three hundred points at the end of the fucking week. How the fuck y'all do this? Because I would always like read the little ones. Long. I would read like the sports ones or something. Because I was so bad at like one. Of, I'll tell you one of the only books that I legitimately read like a lot, and I really remembered some of it was Mick Foley's book. I don't know why, but I started reading his book. And, and and that never happened. I, I always had trouble, but I got through about I, almost all of Mick Foley's first book. It was fascinating to me. I don't know why. I loved his books. Are, books are hard to get into. Books, like I mean, that, guy, that motherfucker's written what six books already? Yes, I haven't read the other ones, but the first one did get me when I was younger. <laughs> so, so uh, also you, you do like the pop-up books, right? Those are the your shit. The, yeah, like where the images come folding open and you can play with the cat or something. <laughs> yeah. Look at special Damn. needs. There's Danny playing with the cat. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's me. What's sad is that you were in your 30s at the fucking public library yeah. playing with like, the doctor's Masturbating. I was joking. <laughs> fucking homeless people at the library that are watching porn right in front of everyone. Oh, I do that at work. So, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm. Oh, we didn't spin. I'm sorry, Allison. To I'll get spin. my day to go by with you. To get my day to go by faster, I literally listen to some really fucked up porn. Ugh. While while oh, at registered that. dealing with people, <laughs> I might Ooh. be accessory to a crime. Allison well, I mean, Tuckwab, that's going to be a lot of points. So who are you rolling for? Well, Allison just landed on a million. Allison could become a million. the top, the queen uh, of uh, yeah. Monetize This Tonight. Allison. The first queen of well, the queen. joke. Run. Well, the she, she won't be the first one, but she will be a wonderful one. I'll tell you that. Oh, don't the forget about a queen, Leah. Man. It oh, sounds yeah. like she's... She's a princess. Man, she jumped over Garguts like that. Look at that. How are you guys going to let Garguts lose? And really mysterious. Is he even on the board? He's not on the board yet. So the, the current crown, the current uh, king of Monetize This and the Wheel of Funk uh, is not even on the board yet. So I'm going to help. She's over one million. One million. You can't even see it. It just says. What? There it is. She's up there. She's loaded right now. From her? She's okay. loaded? Oh, <clears throat> she, she sent another donation that doesn't make any sense about the SmackDown Democratic thing. Shit bomb! All right, I'm concerned. Eddie Chaos, uh, thank you for the $2 super chat party. Eddie Chaos. Ooh. Yes, Joe, what Ooh. you said that interrupted the show? What? <laughs> Oh no! I'm I think. Just, oh, I know what she's saying. Her, I know her what she's saying. Donation. I know. I know exactly what she's saying. She's saying yes. It interrupted the show. The Democratic National Convention interrupted SmackDown one time. That's what she's saying. I believe. Eh? Wait, Shit, no. bomb. Oh. When you've actually broken that show to fucking show that shit? Yeah, dude. They. Yeah. I swear to God, she's not. She, I know exactly what she's talking about. Like I remember that. I was like, what? We were people were like, what the fuck? That was like in 2016, right? Dude, there's more fakeness in a fucking presidential debate than there is a fucking SmackDown show. I mean, like, come on. Fake wrestling compared to politics? SmackDown's more real. No, it's just no, fucking joke. Actually, it's get only more from Colbert? <laughs> no, could you imagine Bernie Sanders hey, going off the road? Fucking, uh, you know, uh, what's his name? Uh... Ah, there's so many fucking. Are you talking? Are you talking about the late night show hosts? I'm just talking about the fact that basically there really is no two system party. It's basically they're all working for one party. Pelosi and fucking get uh, uh, Mitch McConnell, for example, or fucking um, I can't remember the, he. He looks ugly. Uh, he work together. They all behind the scenes. They all fucking work together. Yeah. They all fucking the same fucking bullshit. Doesn't matter if you're a Republican or fucking Democrat. It's the same fucking shit. And then that's why everybody's after each other's throats because everybody thinks that it's worked all up until it's not. It's like it's so always I, been a scam, you know. So I agree. I agree, but there's only so many times. Like I can have this libertarian or independent conversation with myself no, before I just b before I just give up on it. You know what I mean? Where it's like really? fucking both parties are bullshit, man. It's like everybody oh. knows. Everybody knows. I feel like now I used to fuck my lip tarted Elizabeth in the face with my lip tarted dick, and uh, oh yeah, mm, it was so good. Yes. Sometimes I'd like to get raped in the asshole. <laughs> Sometimes Hogan would do this. <laughs> I would love that lip tart in my face right now, so I can pin him one, two. That's what we said. That's a bad thing. The cum starts to fall in. Macho Man never opens his mouth when he talks. I'll tell you one thing there, Gargutz, and I'll tell you one thing good, but you're not doing a great impression, yeah! But I'll no. tell you one thing right now! I am the Macho Man! Yeah! You don't have the bass. Now you're doing a, now you're doing a bass in your voice. Yeah. It sounded like you were doing a great <laughs> he goes, yeah! 
Mm-hmm. He's got the he thinks he's got the bass in his voice, you know. I think the only thing he's got in his voice is a dick. I'm talking about I'm an actual legal immigrant, unlike well, now you. This is yeah, you're tri- illegal. This is just Hispanic Triple H now. No, this oh, is just Hispanic. Sometimes, 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 sometimes this is Latino on the team. team. Okay, they're not Joe Libre. H. It's his oh, Hispanic, Hispanic, Hispanic. Guys, guys let's be honest. Uh, Hispanic, uh, Hispanic, Hispanic. Triple H Hispanic. Days, <laughs> guys, guys, serious. Although Triple H is being praised these days, remember, remember that there were many, including uh, Alberto Del Rio, that reported <laughs> that Triple H referred to Mexican wrestlers in WWE as bumblebees. Why? <laughs> because in The Simpsons, you had Bumblebee Man, who was the Mexican guy from the <laughs> So he would refer to that, and you had uh, Del Rio, who you know noticed this, took an issue as well did other people. So uh, Triple H has made a uh, you know point to call Mexican. Who is the other people? I I I know Del Rio didn't like Triple H, but Del Rio is also a giant asshole. So <laughs> yeah, besides yeah. besides and, besides and, Del Rio, who who said that tri- uh, Triple H said this? So, uh, wait a minute. Well, uh, so, several so, so, several so people. Be, sidebar sidebar. Fucking Del Rio's fucking brother is actually a nice guy. You meet right, right, but, but back to that because I want to know. I just want to know, like, who specifically, like, of anybody that's of no. Uh, yes. Um. Uh, what's his, uh, okay? So hold on. Um. I'm trying oh, to think it was an impact. No, no. This is WWE. You got Ray Mysterio who addressed this. Um. Fuck, I, I got to go through the list here. But I this was this happened, I think, in 2016, maybe 2015. Dean so, Michael? No, it was it was certainly noticed that there was a bias towards Mexican wrestlers. And, uh, you know, there was wasn't this. Del Rio, wasn't Del Rio world champion like three times? And was like pushed as like one of the top main events. Like I don't know. I mean, well, there wasn't a times, I, absolutely. <laughs> he no. was world champion like four times. Yeah, yeah, but you and, know, he and, of, and, and you know, know, honestly, you know, act, uh, wrestlers who basically said they got treated poorly in the back because of his views. I I, well, first of all, I don't believe that shit whatsoever. Here's the here's why. A lot of fucking people now will just hop on to a victimhood mentality like, oh, it's because this guy hates this type of people and that's why we never made it. It's like, no, your fucking gimmick sucked, Sinkara. You weren't going to make it. What about, All right, I'm sorry. What about, uh, I'm sorry. It was a few years, years ago, though. I'm sorry, so El Humanable. El Humanable Galgargo. Sorry that you never won the fucking world title fucking loser but you never were gonna do that anyway so that's not <laughs> like i i don't i don't blame i don't blame triple h and i also just think i've never personally this is this like i've never heard of this whole thing with the triple h hispanic people stuff and i doubt if ray mysterio i mean i doubt ray mysterio would still be working or even still be in the same company as somebody oh, who said something like that. Man. Money talks. Dominic, Money I had talks, sex Dominic. with you. Oh my God, I thought that was Luis Alejandro. Dominic, do, Dominic. You, do you remember that time, Dominic, when I climbed my, into your my crib? My doesn't go that high there, fucking gargots. <laughs> Triple, <laughs> Triple H. <laughs> is that how he sounds? Yeah. I remember that my, time I... Uh, yo, remember Alejandro. that... I I climbed it, I climbed into Dominic's crib, and I and I I performed an action I'm not proud of, and he's so never. So it wasn't me. he. He wasn't calling. Every report that I'm seeing on this, mm-hmm. uh, says it wasn't. He didn't just refer to Hispanic people like that. It was for specifically Richard Rodriguez, uh, who was I believe the murderer. Isn't he? <laughs> no, he's the, <laughs> he was, I guess, the guy who had, did the announcing. Ricardo Rodriguez? 
Oh, Ricardo Rago. Oh, sorry. it's like Richard yeah. Rago. That's, that's Richard, a big difference. Richard, Richard Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Like, what are you yeah. talking about? My bad, my bad. Ricardo Rodriguez, <laughs> who again, who again was another fat fucking nobody that nobody gave a shit about. Wait a minute, I, wait a minute. I, I, I gave yeah, a shit. Fucking, I, I gave a fucking... shit about him. I gave a shit about him. Remember what he looked like when I interviewed him? Look at him. He was like... Uh, we, yeah, he actually fucking shaped up quite well. I looked fatter than Has him. Anything here. come up where, where you want to? But like, either way, like one of these people who will use that type of race. Oh, this guy's racist because that's why they never made it. Or oh, is that where, that's why is they that never went Ricardo anywhere? Said? In the company. Is Ricardo saying that now? Uh, this is what it says. Uh, Triple H's nickname for Ricardo, uh, Ricardo Rodriguez. Ricardo, was, <laughs> Ricardo Cheese Rodriguez. God damn. <laughs> Was totally offensive and totally accurate. And Rich uh, Ricardo Rodriguez talks about negative experience with Triple H. So basically, the only time that uh, that was ever said to somebody was specifically to Ricardo Rodriguez. So I don't know if it was racist or was the <laughs> fact that he just looked like a uh, the Simpsons character whose name is Bumblebee. Right Bumble it's fucking Ricotta. It's not Ricotta. Oh, yeah, Bumblebee Man. Well, that what is what that's, 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 that's now, what I brought up is that it was fucking Triple H who was calling the Mexican wrestlers back in the day. Bumblebee. He called one guy. No, he called R Ricardo Rodriguez. He didn't call like wrestlers them like every wrestler Bumblebee. Can we talk he about Triple H had issues with fucking? Um, Watch this. Um, what's his name? Dave. Uh, Alberto Del Rio. Dave. He Lewis. had he, he had serious issues with the guy. Cocaine. Right well, so did a lot of people because Alberto Del Rio oh, yeah, is a I, fucking well, actually, I'm actually, <laughs> You raise a good Fair point bullshit. because I was there with Joe. Unfortunately, Joe <sighs> fucked up huge. And yes, we're going to have to keep reminding you, Joe. We had the greatest interview with Chavo Guerrero Jr. Yeah. Okay. This thing, this, it was amazing. This yeah. guy fucking revealed so much. And when it came to fucking Del Rio, I was blown the fuck away because everything that the dirt sheets were saying was fucking wrong. And this guy fucking laid it all out. And you know what? Del Rio is a fucking scummy piece yep. of shit. Yeah, we found that what? out. Dave, Dave's interview with Chava was better than... I forget what I did, but, Real talk. Real talk. I, he, but Dave actually had a better interview with Chavo. He, he got to some points that were amazing. It was... Kind of amazing, actually. Dude, is that Tony yeah, Alice's I, I like, shoulder? I like that shoulder? He, called, he called me out. He was well. He didn't call me out. <clears> he got upset at you for well, a second. He was upset. For I a said, minute. I said basically like, oh well, uh, the, you know, the news is this and that. It's like you guys, like you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Here's the fucking deal, and that's when he fucking What's went that? in. To Which is genius level stuff because you got him to go in. By basically getting something, by leaving this, uh, you know, uh, uh, Lucha Underground because of his family, blah blah. It's like this guy, and he was like, y "You don't know how long wrong you are." I'm like, "Shit, okay, tell me." And this guy fucking laid it out, and it was. It's unfortunate we never got that fucking aired. Because it did. It did air somewhere. I swear to God, it aired somewhere, and I know I got it somewhere because I. It was great. It was great. It was on my laptop. I'll I say the N word if I want yeah. to. Just <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello. Hey, here's another thing. No, I just want to say this: Chavo Guerrero Jr., one of the most intelligent men I've ever encountered in my life. Right. This guy was fucking a genius with what he was talking about. And let's not forget that I also never released some of this just incredible sir on at now. six o'clock. So sorry, gotta go for my green and uh anyways. Well dude, let, let uh, me tell you I hit I hit the record button. He's a big money cat and he wants Now I, I have a I have a fifty minute interview with Just Incredible where most of the time he just starts talking about how he would like destroy a hooker or how he could hide somebody or how he wants to assault people like it's, it's like so it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a real gem. So, um, it it wasn't easy, you know. Yeah, but uh, you know, yeah, it's, I mean, what, this... it's what it is, and uh, you know, um, you know, uh, I, I'm 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 giving my I'm I'm allowing whoever is interested in this film which hopefully uh we have a letter of intent for netflix um and we also are doing a hard copy as well now he's promoting his uh, movie thing right there but i'm telling you man it's cr this interview is nutty like and i didn't release it it's actually so 
it's so bad I didn't release it because the next day I was like, hey, do you want to follow up on anything? Because you were kind of like, I don't know what was up the other day. And he was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, well, the inter- like the podcast we did or the interview that we did or whatever. And he was like, I- like, what do you mean? I was just being me. No, he goes, what do you mean? We didn't do it. I don't remember doing it. He didn't remember oh, shit. ever doing that it. Poor guy. Jesus so I, 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 I listen. Don't remember any of that shit? It was so well, bad. I didn't not, do dude. it. I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't release it. He said some crazy fucking shit. Like it would have, it might have, so, like it was, it was bad. But, but you just released it right now. Well, no, no I, I no, played no, a no. clip of he it. Released but, five, ten seconds of it. No. There's you got a more hour. Yeah, shit. More? there's there's a part where I mean, there's some. Right. <laughs> I mean, bro, it's there's. I don't know. I said it to him. It I would said, have been incriminating evidence, right? Yeah, I Basically. said, here's... I go, do you remember saying this and that? And he goes, oh, fuck, I said that? How many... Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm like, listen, dude, I'm not going to release it because it's so incoherent and it's so fucked up. Dude, he was so lucky you were the one that did the interview and not some other fucker that was just, like, ready right. to get clips <clears throat> and shit. Right. Oh, I mean... Dude, this guy... This I guy... I would have released it. Right. This guy was fucking super smart. Like he was talking about all this stuff that was just like oh, it blew Java. my mind. Like I, you know, I've done interviews for Joe in the past, and um, we might do those in the future. Uh, it's hard to get hold of Joe, but I I have access to a lot of Canadian wrestlers that I can certainly interview, like I've done in the past. Oh, remember those? But, those uh, are pretty good. Those are fun to listen to when you were interviewing the Canadian wrestlers. I like that. And again, I I do try to promote uh, wrestling because I like wrestling, but this, again, <laughs> being with Joe, when we interviewed Chavo Guevara, it was fucking it was fucking amazing. Like, oh, so you guys were both there, but you were like leading it, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well, yeah, I mean, like, Joe and I both sort of went with flow and just... Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I just, I never heard it. I'd fucking, god damn it, I'd love to hear that. Son of a bitch. But you would. Yeah, it was it was good. I wish we. I know. I think I do have it somewhere. So that's not out of the question. Yeah, really this, was, this was in the time of um, of uh, Lucha Underground. Yes, and uh, you know, if you if anyone looks into this stuff, AAA. Mm-hmm. I think AAA fucked this whole thing over. They really got involved big time, and they just killed the fucking brand. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's unfortunate, but it is the way it is. But uh, you know, I did I feel like an interesting movie. idea, though. What's that? Yeah. I'm like an idea. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you exactly where that's from, too. Eric. Uh, that clip, I know exactly what. Day yeah, we that. played it last week. It was uh, when you got to fight with Bullfrog or something. Jesus. And uh, and I was on the fucking shit. It was here, right? I don't. I don't know. I don't know if it was. Was here, it not but... here? It was. It was in here. It was over the, uh, in my shit. Jesus Gargutz, Christ! I, Gargutz, Gargutz is like I could. Ex- I can explain exactly when and where that was. Oh, when? Yep. It was, was when it? I was on the fucking no, shit. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Just like, just like your birth. Oh, Julian, are you my new? My... <laughs> we can try to explain it. This is me, ass no, I, I remember right when that Relish. was. I mean, he was over he here, died. wasn't he? When you go into hospice, no, when no. you're fucking in the hospital, when you're fucking gasping for air, I will be. But up, ba ba ba. Loving it. <laughs> <laughs> listen to that I'm one more time. You guys sent it. me that clip, Please, Joe. let what me listen song? to that. What? <laughs> one <laughs> more time. Listen to this. No, I will relish that you die. When you go into hospice, when you're fucking in the hospital, when you're fucking gasping for air, I will be... But up, 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 Loving it. <laughs> I love this shit, dude. Like, and it's not even in it's not even in the tune <laughs> of like the McDonald's theme after that. It's just like it goes into its own thing. It's like da 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 loving it. That, the only thing, <laughs> I don't give a shit. I gotta get one more clip. I gotta get him going. I love it! I gotta get that one. That was <laughs> Play one more time. I would like a hot dog with a relish. Oh yeah, I love it. Let me tell you. And he, he you mentions, I can't me. wait till you go into hospice. Now, who was that for? I don't you know. You can't say at least uh, that I don't provide a little bit of entertainment. Right. No, dude, fucking a. Nobody fucking disagreed a. with that, Dave. 
Well, there's been a few. I think I think I think you you want everybody to scratch your cock too uh, much. I've also got hey, this. Hey, well, yes, Dave is very that's narcissistic. All it's okay. Good. All scratch. But can good. we all just admit that, that I do provide so great good. entertainment yeah, for the Steve. show? Speech. Oh, see, <laughs> Listen to this one. This one's glorious, isn't it? To defend himself with that fucking disgusting speech impediment that he has. <laughs> My favorite line from Dave is it probably has to either be the despise me or the uh, or, or the what was it that what's the one that you always play now, Joe? It's um yeah, I, yes, the scissor me ass I certainly, I certainly laugh at your misfortunes. Oh, that one. This, this, <laughs> this next one, this next one is a this next one is a particularly evil one. Listen to this one. Just show me the papers and I'll leave you alone without... I can't wait till the police bust into your place and just fucking chew you up. It's just going to be glorious for the fucking community. You, you know what? Your, your obituary I will frame as well. I think I'll eventually acquire uh, a wall full of uh, community obituaries that I will frame in gold-plated uh, frames. It's just going to be glorious for the fucking community. You, you know There's not a, you know, Yeah, nothing to worry about. I can't wait till the police bust into your place and just fucking chew you up. It's just going to be glorious for the fucking community. So that's a... I you just want to... You know what, let me Dave, just, let me can just, you not threaten violence on so many people? Now, uh, that, would be, <laughs> that would be okay had he not been involved in that. Oh, my now. God, dude. Uh, that is a bit dangerous. Where the, where the chick's about to hit him with a bat, and he goes, what are you going to do? Hit me with that fish. It, she turns into a fish. Oh, my God. And I, yeah. it's, it's fucking great. That but it's not. Do you have an obituary of Melly up on your wall right now? Oh, no. Luke, Luke actually said something comical just a second ago about... Oh, it, no. it, you, sorry. Best monetized this champion in the world. Go ahead, Jesse, sir. No, 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 no. I was saying, what did he say? No, I was just, it, like, well, the way that he said it sounded very similar to somebody who drives an automatic Mustang. Who, uh, was recently oh, you not, Can you guys not threaten people so much? Even though I do it all the time. Even though I said Alexa Bliss, I hope she I, she looks like one of these women who can't even get fucked anymore. Bro, you know like, that bro, he, he got again, again, he got into it with her. And uh, the fact is that... Uh, I tweet, you know, she she responded, you know, Alexa Bliss responded to what JD said, and I responded to her saying, "Hey, look at this fucking screenshot again." I always share, uh, share screenshots. Uh, yes, I'm drunk and stoned, can't even talk properly. That's for yeah, that's for, all right. Wow. Wow. So, so like, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? I shared a screenshot of uh, me and my discussion with uh, JD. And uh, told her that uh, this guy was a sniveling, crying bitch and cheated on three women at the same time. And, uh, wow. well, a lot of people Dude, are... What he, a... of all people, cheated on three women. JD is not an attractive guy. <laughs> right. Right. Like, and, he's a, and he kind of reminds me of the Mickey... Uh, not the Mickey Mouse guy. The Chuck E. Cheese uh, mascot. You know what I mean? He has the similar quality to him. Wait, are you uh, talking about the pizza dude? dude? You know, he just has this sniveling look where he's like... Nip, nip, nip. Like, I just imagine, like, JD going ham on a big fucking cube of cheese. But nonetheless... You know I, sorry, Luke, but I just really need to intercept the hero and just say that uh, whether or not you like him or hate him... Um, well, we can just still acknowledge the facts. Apparently, his father beat the shit out of his mother, and that he had Whoa. to call cops and all that shit. Check it out on his timeline. Apparently, there's a uh, there's some sort of um, and women beat. That's why he looks for women that will beat him up. To uh, alcoholic uh, obsessions. So and where were, where did the cat? Yeah. Hour and a half with him where did some cats get? If only he would beat. If only he could get beaten up by his dad. Then that would be yeah, well, you know, 
Why? But, yeah, apparently his dad got sent to jail. His mother was on suicide watch, and uh, oh, Jesus, yeah, he oh. was uh, bitching on uh, fucking Twitter. JD, well, I'm sorry. I have I have nothing to do with this. By the way, JD, if you ever hear this, I just like to make fun of your voice. Yeah. I didn't know that. Like, I didn't know that your dad. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Well, first, oh, first, that. that was Dave Rose. Like uh, you can find Dave Rose on Twitter. I am not on Twitter. You can find Dave Rose on Twitter. No, hey, hey, Joe, Joe. Yes. We got fucking Elon coming back, brother. You're gonna get your fucking original account restored. The original That's one, right. baby. And I'm gonna get my original one too, baby. It's gonna come out fucking huge. Oh, it's coming oh, back, baby. Smoke, Let's oh, yeah. go. It's a cesspool, uh, the septic tank. Right, and I want to be in that cesspool because I exactly, baby. Yeah, I want to float in the Jesse. sewer with the other shit. Jesse, right. do not be one of those people. Do not be one of those people. Like, don't get into that thing, man. Hey, 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 what are you hey, doing, man? man? Let's be, let's get something Wait, straight. If I'm saying that, that's me saying that. I don't give a fuck about other people. All right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You Never certainly do fuck. not, Jesse. I love you, you Jesse. I love you too. I, I bless I your heart. You put yeah. each of us through a wood chipper. Smoke weed oh. every day. Sup, Dave. Whoa. Hi, Joe. May I join your Discord or call in? Oh, four look at that, Jake. Dave. Wow, four points to Dave. That's not enough to spin the wheel, uh, Jacob. That's not how it works. He doesn't even know how it works. Uh, Jacob Sweet. RP. Not enough points. Thank you, Jacob. Oh, Smoke up, what baby. Points, hey, right as you mentioned Elon Musk, there he is. That was weird. That was beautiful. Yeah. I like it. What up? Uh, I was saying, fucking Luca, you know about the booster thing, right? So people oh, booster? called me booster before. Yeah. Just put the suit on. Just put the <clears throat> suit on. There you are. <laughs> I don't know why, but when you said put the suit on, it <laughs> reminded me when <laughs> when Ashley oh, when Ashley sold to... all of Tommy's fucking suits. <laughs> oh. I didn't even know it's that. too bad Tommy's <laughs> dead. Oh yeah, that sucks. I mean, He's dead now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it's fucking great. I, I, send me a clip. Yep, his 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 death would be reported. His death would be dealt with like how a whale dies. Oh, like, what the the fuck? fucking cleanup oh, crew no. coming to his apartment. Dude, all the whales come up to mourn him. Like fucking <laughs> another one. They get like eight specialists to bring his body outside. Someone's Google selling gear. his fucking blubber on the fucking uh, black market. <laughs> Yo, I'd sell his fedora and his yellow jacket. Some well, idiot have you seen the video of Crystal's like pussy? Like Sith Negan sent me oh. the 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 video. Wait, wait, can I? Can somebody send me that why video? Haven't you, why haven't yeah, you? Sent wait it to wait a minute. How much pussy are we talking about? Well, I'm like actually serious because Crystal is fucking. I actually think she's really hot. I wanted to. Fucking, I think she's I hot in a dirty trailer way. Like it's not. Dude, she, how she's big is that Grand, Grand Canyon? Dude, she's exactly. probably crap on fuck Tommy's ass. I'm gonna gotta, say she. Play. I think her thing smells. I'm just going to say that. Whoa. How big is that Death Star? <laughs> no, no, no. She looks like a nice. She no. looks like a nice trailer girl. So she'd be yes. like the trailer girl who actually dresses nice and tries to like yeah. present herself as like a normal city girl. But, you know, just deep down, she's just a fucking disgusting fucking, you know, deep savage, down, she, savage what, who was molested down, by her wait, fucking deep dad. Down, she could take it deep down. She could uh, be defeated by a tornado. I think she honestly what? wanted to get. I think she honestly wanted to get fucked by Tommy, but no. Tommy was such such an idiot that he never picked up on to like the he constant to hints. Her. <laughs> he touches her without her. He touches her all the time unwillingly in spots, and she has to be like, "Stop yeah. it!" But why would? But why, as an so adult, her dad? Why would? Why, <laughs> as an adult, would you spend any time? With a man who burps in your face and vomits hey, and hey, hey, in front look, of you. Look, I will explain this to you. I, I, I have the perfect explanation. Thank you, Dave. Go ahead. Okay, so here's the situation. I love we drunk, have, Dave. We have these individuals, females, uh, at, um, you know, mostly these days that are being featured on, you know, media. But it happens. Only with fans. No, you the fact is that you have some fucking females that are taking advantage of the young fucking students and stuff. Oh, geez. the same thing. It's Manchowson syndrome by proxy. Uh, you have uh, basically Crystal saying, "Yeah, I want to take advantage of you." 
So it's called that. fucking, you know, models getting with nerds, and then that's the new thing. And then uh, like, I, 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 I honestly him. think I honestly think Tommy's too ashamed to admit it, but he probably really does peg fucking crystal and he can't say anything about it because she like they she gets really drunk she's like i don't give a shit if you've got no brains i want to fuck them out anyway dude you, and they, you might <laughs> right like, you got to fuck her like once or twice and like she just holds Look. it over his head because yeah. you know he doesn't because you know how ashamed he's to talk like he hates talking about masturbating so you know he that might. he wouldn't talk about fucking either you so know what i mean foreplay. but his foreplay he's like i got oh. this fucking fake mustache and I got quarters. What are we? Oh. That is not foreplay, my friend. And I, you, I, you I hate to, you. Do you want me to? Mm-hmm. I I <clears throat> well, guys, he it's, takes it's, off the fake mustache, and there's another mustache. That's not that. foreplay, though. That's. <laughs> but guys, remember, it's wrong for us to make fun of Tommy, even though every other channel does it, hey, and I they do it. it. They don't point out their own hypocrisy. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! It's wrong for you guys to make fun of him, but it's not wrong for me. You're exactly. smarter. Though. You know what he would also really hate if you did? Because you're retarded, or why do every uh, autistic, autistic people hate each other? If it's wrong, it's okay. It's okay to make fun of him. Like, why? Why do LGBT community? Hate it's okay to fun him to make fun of him as long as it's not on Joe's stream. If it's on anybody else's stream, you can do it. But if you do it on Joe's stream, then they're gonna call you. Uh, why do you guys always make fun of Tommy? You know why? Right? I he's, mean, he's this is an old he's argument that who cares? He hasn't been on the show over two up, years. Uh, a homeless man's no. house. Remember that? He hasn't been on the no. show in two years. Yeah, he's a scumbag. This trash. That was a man's house. He's a bad Dude, person. He only considers Joe a friend. That's why that. No, happens. he doesn't. He's just like, scumbag. Is not, the, the answer. All right. Well, whatever. But see, I'm telling you, psychology. The fucking guy so. expects more from you. No. And when you don't stick up for him, but you're making jokes, he puts you to a higher standard than he does. These I other think people. that you're right about back then, but that's not the way it's been for years. Now. I don't know what he's doing, but that to me has always been his trigger yeah. is like, well, he, he didn't do it. He other didn't... people as friends. Yeah, but he, but he sees didn't. you as a friend. He, I understand it's really. an old well, I understand well, he doesn't, it's doesn't do it to other people show, who, but he, you know what though he doesn't do it to other people who are who did become his friend and much closer friend he's not even not really he's, not my, not, he's not my friend now, now. That's what I he's not my friend now he's not my friend now he hasn't been my friend in it? years so who's he doing yeah. it to now no one so what are you talking about well no I because no he's just a piece of shit he's a bad he's a piece of shit that's all we weren't we weren't blaming anybody we were just saying that it is hypocritical yeah we maybe it's a point that's already been made but i mean i mean mean, this is i don't even know why it's being brought up who cares the guy's not coming here moving on bring a little fucking uh i don't i don't like him at all let me tell you that put it that way i couldn't i don't like him He's a bad. He's bad. There he's been go. bad. He's nothing right. but bad to me, and I don't like him. He's not a. He hasn't been a good friend to me. He's never been a good okay. friend to me, even when I do things for him. And he's been nothing but talk shit about me and bad. So oh. fuck him. He's a great guy. Yeah. Then anyway. we shouldn't even be fuck. talking about the fucking guy. Then let's go. All right. What else yeah, we got? Go. Other let's people bring him on. up. Moving on. Joe's so hot. The, can we all just talk about yeah. how Joe gets? How Joe starts to act like a weird, like white kid when he gets interviewed by wrestlers. He's like, "Oh yeah, I've been watching yeah. you guys for <laughs> <laughs> like, like yeah, when he's he saying the better than Dead on Dave, so, saying, you know, "Right on, man. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on, man. Right on." your next? By the way, new right there, on, there's man. a uh, there's a new there's a new Smile Empty Soul uh, CD coming out next coming week oh, or shit. so. Check it out. Right Nothing on. makes you smile like an empty soul. Let me tell you. Oh yeah, um, or an empty heart. Yeah, or an empty or cock. An empty fucking yeah, empty brain. A little bit of that. Here it is, empty right here. Dick. Oh, look at that! Empty I was right. Brain. Can we stop eyes. talking about Tommy already? <laughs> mm-hmm. He's what playing the piano. Uh, destruction of Earth. How about destruction? Hey, uh, of private have you, property. Have you been watching? Um, have you been watching? Uh, she Hulk. Nobody. No. Nobody. nobody? I am. Dude, I'm not kidding. They, they, they did. A, they did a good Daredevil reveal this week. That's oh my true. God, She Hulk looks fucking awful. Listen, it is, it, it's it, not, it's it's look, I'm gonna say like, this: if you're if you're not gonna like, if you don't like, you know, you weren't you weren't around the '90s, so you you have no fucking say in this shit. 
But no, oh. shut the fuck up, Gargus. That has well, nothing to do with anything. Okay, okay can you tell me something? Can you tell me a scene in the did comic you? books in the nineties? Can you tell me the nineties scene where mm-hmm. um she shits on Bruce Banner and says women can do it better and blah 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 this and that and so third. You have and then, can seen you, but it. can you also remind so me of the nineties? Can you also remind me of the nineties scene? Uh, the nineties equivalent of her twerking with uh, Tammy the Stallion. What? what when, when did so that you, happen? So you have seen it. So you have seen. I've seen, it. So I've seen, seen it. enough. I've seen enough of it to form. So an opinion. what I'm talking about. So so before you before you try to form an opinion right now. In the nineties, in the nineties, what I'm talking about. I guess, okay. I'm saying in the nineties, it's fucking goddamn Clarissa yeah. Flockhart. In what's her fucking show? Come on, you know it. I have no you idea what? what you just said. To be quite I don't honest, know what you're you, oh, oh, I'm you've not. never seen you've never seen Clarissa Flockhart. And, okay, so so I would say like okay, Boston Legal, Boston uh, Public, you got those, and then you got uh, Clarissa Flockhart and her fucking. Uh, it's basically the same shit. Well, this she is all I need to know same. about She Hulk. The critics no, give it an no. 87. The fans give it a 35. Yeah, and well, but, but uh, listen, I'm going to just so, tell you right so now, as shame, what, what gonna... as terrible as that twerking scene, scene is, what's even more shameful so, is you, the you, fact you, that you, I... You know, you know how long that, that twerking scene was? It, it was... I masturbated so hard well, to that scene, it's insane. That scene is four seconds long. That scene is four seconds long. It's not the, the point. Darguts. Darguts. Absolute lie. Not four seconds. There was a was little bit more than four seconds, but not even that gargoyle. I don't think that's what makes it's it bad. Literally, though. it's like that's not the bad part about the show. That is literally just it's like so insane that that would happen in like because the CGI is so bad. But it's also like her for no reason wanting to become a She Hulk, and then when she becomes a She Hulk, all she does is complain about being She Hulk, and then it's like, well, why did you the, even? Become- you didn't see the latest episode, so. She actually fucking says, fuck it. She Hulk. And yes, uh, but, what, but why, why did she even have a conversation about that in the begin with when she's the one who chose to transform for literally no reason? I, and then I, the whole, the whole stupid thing where she's like telling Bruce how he knows nothing about anger and this and that. And the third now about controlling honestly, his anger. Honestly, it all fucking clicked in her head at that moment saying, I need to be show, uh, and you know what? The, my fucking manly cousin is right. They can't transfer back into fucking hu- human form. I'm saying like he's right, so let's do this. Like he can. I'd like to get fucked by She Hulk. I mean, well, that'd be pretty he, good. He, um, death by snooze snooze is what happened with Casey Kasem. So there you go. That's a She Hulk right there. But <laughs> this I is mean, Casey Kasem. I like the show because it's comic accurate. They come accurately. Yeah. Well, back let me in... tell you something. If that's accurate to the She Hulk comics, then the She Hulk comics probably suck. No, um, no, no. She Hulk breaking the fourth wall is accurate to the comics. But that's just because it's accurate it's to Deadpool. her breaking the fourth wall. What is good about uh, another one of these feminist superhero movies or shows that shit all over the male equivalent of the hero and basically are be now, like, hey, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you mean by, what do you, now, well, she I literally, know. she literally, I want to know, know, she, what do you okay, mean? shitting on the fucking male equivalent. Well, if you'd let then, me explain without well, cutting well, me off every five fucking oh, seconds, oh, Gargas, exactly. well, I'm going to say this. Well, I'm going to say this. Exactly. Okay, Gargas, let me explain, but let me explain it because you just asked me four times and I tried to and you went, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, Yes, shut up, Gargas. Let him explain. No, hold on. I'm trying to tell him that exactly how I fucking feel when you don't let the fucking goddamn story fucking uh when you read a book on the first page you go, Oh, this book is shit. Uh do you or do you read the entire book? Do you want to be fucking knowledgeable? Do you want to fucking know some shit? Do you want to wait for the story to go? But no, if you're gonna look at it, and I know, I know that, I know that fucking Hollywood fucking gets you into this fucking mindset. It's like, Darvitz, if I'm reading a book, it's gonna be. If I'm reading a book, let it fucking play out. If I'm reading, play, let it play out is what I'm trying to say. Fuck reading the book. Fuck reading the book. 
I'm trying to say, let if it I'm play reading out. a book or if I'm watching a show, Gargutz, if you do not let me speak, I'm going to fucking murder myself and my whole family, and you'll be responsible for it. Anyway. Oh, my God. Are you threatened to go <laughs> Chris all, I'm, all I'm saying is, Gargutz, if I'm watching a show or reading a book <sighs> that sucks for the first five or six chapters or five or six episodes, I'm turning it off because obviously if it's supposedly good, it yes. would have it would have been good from the first fucking episode or two. Yeah. I don't like, have to you wait know, around you for You read a book and you could. wait for it to fucking... No, do I don't. If I read a book one and the book is badly it, written, one... then I oh, give God, up God. on reading the book. Gargots, There's gargots. Shit. One person likes it, one person doesn't. Who gives a fuck? If he doesn't want to watch it, he doesn't want to watch it. There you well, go. No, we're, not, we're not arguing about that, Jesse. What we're arguing about is... Is it okay to just not finish something if it seems terrible and not just let it, let it play through? If it's well, terrible and totally you're not in, it if, okay, well, if it's terrible and you're not enjoying it for the most uh, part, like, and it's on episode four or five, minute. then okay, so I mean, you gotta have a gray area effect to this because he, life more 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 often than not is a gray area. It's not a black and white deal or whatever the fuck or blue and red like some matrixy fucks will say. It's like a you have to have a little middle ground where it's like, hey, maybe it gets good at episode seven or eight, but do I really want to wait for that? That's where I think you're at. You don't, you don't want to fucking wait for that, and that's fine. He doesn't. <clears throat> yeah, some people can wait longer. It's like he's, 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 um, um, you're, yeah, but what are you like doing? Week by you're week. fucking up week by week. Whatever you no, and I'm saying that week by week, week by week, I see it fucking saying that. You know, they're going to go dip down, they're going to dip down, they're going to dip down, they're going to fucking wrap oh, it up real quick. So that's what fucking they did. They, they, well, that's, that's, that's something you for you to enjoy. And who gives a fuck if he does or doesn't? Because, Gar- doesn't because Je- Jesse, we're trying to have a conversation because it's a show. Yeah, it sounded but, more like a fucking, that would have been a rape or something if you were in person. <laughs> It would have been I, 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 I agree. I agree. Though that that was fucking that was ear rape for a little bit, but it's I. You know what? There is a case where it's like you love the show for so many episodes, and then you get to the finale. Debate. You get to the finale, and you're so disappointed. You wish you hadn't even spent yeah, that much time getting that. invested. I mean, the the that's the case for the new Dexter sh- uh, show for me. I was so oh, dude, into I it. That was a stinker. Uh, no. I was so into it for the first like nine something episodes, and that finale just completely <laughs> killed it. You know, dude, the the last finale of the whole series, I feel like they had they did a great sixth season. I thought they did a good job, and then at the end, I'm like, this is how you're ending this shit. Like, yeah, like it, is- I think it was season nine or whatever, but like the fact that it was it. Yeah, really it did <laughs> like they finally gave us a good follow up on because nobody liked season eight. And it, it was really, yeah, I really. How many a, seasons it went? Maybe it was nine. That's all right. It was a really well thought out yeah. season, and people really were enjoying it. I was really enjoying it. I thought the villain yeah, was too. great, and then the ending. I don't know if I can spoil this for anybody, but like the ending was nope. so completely rushed, and it was. Yeah. Obvious, it yeah. felt like the. It felt like the show was it. Like the information, like the thing that ends up, you know, ending the show or whatever, it felt like that should have been a cliffhanger for the next season, because or it should have been like, uh, like a cliffhanger for the, you know, the episode right before the last two or three. So you have this like, oh fuck, I can't wait to see the end of how this turns out. You, but I you're mean, right, I it was think, rushed. Rushed. I think the way they focus on such a big. It's like that needed that needed more time than just an I'm episode. Yeah. yeah, and it, it should have just it should have just been her like looking at the computer screen and then like putting the pieces together and being like, he's. And then it cuts the black, and then the next season is when we start to finally like. So, okay, now that's when they're gonna start to you know. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it. Um, it's been years, years since I watched it, but like, didn't she start to tap into her inner serial killer by the end there? Oh no no! I'm talking about I'm talking about the newest season that was just released. Oh dude, fucking! I was see. I was just saying how they ended the first Dexter series. They ended the whole series, uh, Dexter episode one to the end, and that ending is exactly what I feel like you're talking about with this other one. That that's what I was trying to get to earlier. Well, that, yeah, that's like, what I'm. That's what I'm saying. This new season was made because that ending nobody liked, and so this uh, new season, this new season. 
was supposed to be like, hey, this is a finally a good way to wrap it up. And then for the most part, the whole season as a whole is great. But then once you get to that finale, it felt like it should have just been the finale of that season. And then the next season could have been the end. And that's what would have followed up in. Ooh, instead yeah. they're like okay uh, okay let's just finish the finale the that i know is the one that i finale on the all right they're, they're relaxing Jeez, right. So, um never mind look, about the uh, look at the tweet that i just put into oh uh, look at your tweet you know look at relax your there bestizo um, dude look at it's me look at, look at look at look, look at look at it it just, me Jesus Wait a minute! Christ, shut the Luke, fuck didn't up. you ask me a question earlier exactly. about why I like the show? Exactly, Dave. You know exactly how I'm feeling. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll do the work for you, and I'll make it verbal. But uh, oh, I want Luke. I want Luke. God damn it! Nobody likes fucking. fucking I'll God. turn this car around. All right, uh, I'll, I'll just talk over him. So, Luke, um, I just put into the uh, JCS chat there a link to a Twitter uh, feed. Uh, I wish Joe would uh, show this. I uh, don't know where he went. I'm right here. But, uh, okay, well, if you could show that, that would be great. You have a woman that actually looks like fucking She-Hulk. She's fucking tall. She's mm. fucking deliciously gorgeous. And um, you don't need fucking all the fucking CGI bullshit that they fucking pulled on fucking uh, she Nice. Fuck, you look at this don't like the C- You don't like the C- you don't like not the big C- enough. I don't like CG. No, I'm not a faggot. Thank you. Sorry. No, oh, she's oh, not. She's yeah, not that's, that's, one. that's one. I, I, I have to accept that. That's I personally, point. hey Dave, oh, I tried. I personally really like this lady. Can she? Does she do fucking porn as yeah. the she? Because oh, I would. Now know. is this the? We, is this the we can always use. Is this the Olympian that they used on set? What? Look, the, the the bottom line is that there's people that can certainly <laughs> fit the bill. Do you mm-hmm. not know that they use an Olympian on set? Who gives a fuck? Look at this. So oh, she's yeah. way, that, she's that, way taller. That's what they were fucking motion capturing. Did they, did they use her? Did they use her for the fucking twerking scene? Because that was a really great use of her fucking uh, talents. Hey, yeah. you're an yeah, Olympian. If, you if, fucking if you, twerk if you with off that, bitch. If you but, jerked off to that, well, shit, this, this one doesn't. I mean, yeah, I jerked off to it, but that's beside the point. Doesn't mean it's not dumb. <laughs> this one doesn't need to twerk. Plus, she's also wearing the. Yeah. What I love is she's wearing the original costume of She-Hulk. There you and go. Yeah. What would have been so Funny difficult for that to be shown on? Oh on no, the show? they're gonna That's do it, Dave. But it's gonna be so. It's either gonna be at the last episode of this season, or if they do do you make another not, season, you just if did they not do, watch. They, but if they do make another season, they'll give her the they'll give her the outfit, and it will be like a, and it will be like a. It'll be like a dramatic reveal, like where it's like she opens up the box. Dude, they and just like fucking. You, if you didn't see the goddamn last season or episode, up, they just guy. fucking shut the fuck up, bitch. No, they just re, the they just up. shut up, oh motherfucker. God. Goddamn, like, you talk too much. Shut up, the fuck have, up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, so and did you watch the last? Se- did you watch the last episode? Next, did you watch the last episode? You about to talk like a robot, like you? Do you watch the last episode? Hey, shut the fuck up. They no, fucking released this goddamn. Know, they they I mean, released her know, suit on the last episode. For someone, for someone who never oh. wants people, for someone who never wants people, for someone who never wants people, for someone who never wants people. So, anyways, they fucking they fucking had the fucking goddamn season of this last episode. She's wearing that suit, so everybody Can't shut the, right the fuck guy. up. Listen to this guy. That's oh, it, I'm so dude. obsessed with fucking She-Hulk. Of course you are. Dude, I love oh, oh. God damn it. You want everything right, bitch? So shut the this fuck up, you fucking goddamn. I probably like Batman. Fucking dude. goddamn wannabe. Yo, Dave, this motherfucker has has been. that girl. He probably loved, uh, what was it, Batwoman? When they were like, <laughs> shit, I'll fucking, <laughs> yes. Shit, I'll fucking, that's what I called your mother's pussy. Bad that, means, that means he liked oh. it. Oh, she fucking flapped away in the Good fucking up. wing of night. What the, what the, what the, what the. <laughs> Thank all you very much. All, all, you need for here a all, guts, all you need for a Gargut's joke <laughs> is someone's mother and someone's pussy 
And all I need for your joke is a virgin. (laughs) Oh, wait, never mind. You are a virgin. Get the fuck out of here. Wow, you're going to attack me for being a virgin, even though I admitted that to my, like, to everybody, and I don't care. Nobody cares. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wasn't a virgin. Jesus and God care. Yes. Jesus and God care. Holy goddamn Christ. So I'll turn this car around, and I'll fucking take it off a cliff. Everybody, sit down. Put your seatbelts on. This <laughs> would be like, I'll kill every Uh-oh. single motherfucking one of you. Wow, Jesse's got that crystals. Was... This is gonna throw in our faces. That okay. was some crazy oh, shit. Meow, meow has just been lacing a fucking shoe in the in like the DX lights. been smoking some weed. No, honestly, if he comes out to that shit, I'll fucking be scared. I'll be like, what the fuck? Yeah, this is a murderer you're looking at. He's he's always either either tying his shoes or he's like molesting his dolls in the fucking camera. And so you'll be like making a point and then just all of a sudden you'll look in the corner of your screen. They are called (laughs) They are actual figures. Yeah. They are. They, they, fucking, they, have, they have karate chop action. <laughs> karate chop action. They are you know, ready. To, he, he, oh, right now, he looks like uh, somewhere. <laughs> the, these shoes don't look like shoes. They look like something that you hey. wear if you were on the moon. Hey, there you go. Wait, dude, fucking, I got a question then, Luke. Did you ever fucking have any cool action figures from wrestling that you enjoyed? Because we all grew up with some pretty cool shit. I had a, I had a ring. I had Kane. I had Kane, Undertaker, uh, John Cena, and Randy Orton. Which Kane did you have? Like, did you you had the ones from that time period, right? Yeah, it was it was bald Kane. Uh, it was, <laughs> Kane. It oh was, it no. Was, it was Caillou Kane. So But not only I I wasn't to be quite honest with you, wrestling toys didn't interest me as much as wrestling as the product itself or sure. as the video games. Uh-huh. Because it's like oh, yeah, you yeah, never the best toys, you, toys ever. Oh, I'll give yeah, you a I noise. Was more, I was more interested in Dragon Ball Z basketball toys. dance yeah. off the God, concrete. God, I hate Dragon Ball Z. I mean, I I'm just why. so sick of you little meth head. Devil I would have beat you up, Luke. I'll be honest. I'd like to take a big bite out of your face. I'm kidding. I'm back. The problem with it is the people don't respect Tony Khan. If Tony Khan had a shred of masculinity, then people would respect him, but right. they don't because Tony Khan is a fantasy booking mark and a fucking dweeb. He's a billionaire. They would respect Shane McMahon, though. Yeah, they might respect Shane McMahon. That's a great point. But, I mean, Tony Khan's a billionaire. Don't you think? Chino? Oh, MTA. Don't mind if I do. What's my name? Dunkachino. It's a whole new game. Fucking Dunkachino. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. MTA427. Thank you. Ten bucks coming in. Was I the only one as a kid who would put their fucking toys in in like a glass of water and then put it in the freezer and then you take it out like eight hours later and it was like frozen and carbonite kind of like han solo that's a great idea i never thought of that in america i never thought of that you were the only one that did that no 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 that's no the fucking dan said he just he did it too must be an autistic thing yo did you see the i did it i did it with i did it with captain america that makes that makes some sense you see the McDonald's fucking fuckers with the fucking double eyes? That shit is creepy. What the fuck is yeah, that? Yeah, they're going for twenty bucks. That's ah, such 20. a that's such a bullshit fucking scam. The adult fucking uh. That is. You yeah, I'm gonna. I'm really as someone that bought it. Yeah, it is. Well, it too is many marbles, Mark. They're fucking not growing up, so they're taking advantage. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Just, I'm gonna leave this briefcase right here. Oh, I'm gonna leave this briefcase right here. Yo, the donations are coming in. Here's Allison right Tuckwa here. again. I'm gonna leave this briefcase right here. She's at the top of her uh, game uh, right I'm now. Leave this briefcase right here. Son, run, run, you fat bitch. Run, 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 you fat bitch. Run, 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 you fat bitch. Run, 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 you fat bitch. I'm a little, 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 I'm a
You play my fuck fuck game? They surf. Play your fuck fuck game. Run you fat bitch. When you play your yes, little Joe, fuck what fuck you game. said that interrupted the show Sam voting show what is on the air taking on the air from Smackdown but when that was over then Smackdown came on. Yeah. God, damn. Damn wow. fucking electric lady take a breath. What are you? Good lord. The run on sentence. Uh, Allison, thank you. Yes, I do remember this. It was awful. I remember. Games. Play your fuck fuck no games. Would you play your little fuck fuck game? It's called a period. Well. <laughs> oh. Double on Tundra. Did you ever see that um that guy that I showed you? Uh, Ho Young Fat? Ho You Fat? What the fuck? What the hell? Yeah, is the, the NBA, the NBA guy. guy? What, oh, oh, is, is, that a, guy. is that a oh. Mortal Kombat character? Wait, no, how a... tall is this little duke? <laughs> he's, oh. a, he's an NBA. Wait a second. I'm, I'm some asshole that's got a couple dozen people watching me. Oh. Can I, can I, can I just point out <laughs> All right, that relax. Jacob killed me in the comment section? Who? <laughs> he, goes, he goes to to the whoever this guy is. He goes, right. I certainly will. Obituary confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap! I didn't even know who was. I was like, obituary. <laughs> I don't know. I just I love the yeah. Just the fact that he loved like he's talking about love, murdering love for half their death certificates. <laughs> <laughs> honey on your tits and kill yourself. Well, honey on your tits. Oh, oh, kill your friends too. Yeah, Joe. I had to do that. Uh, ho you fat. Uh, ho you fat. It's a guy, oh, he, he's in a he's a NBA G, G League, mm. and uh, he ends up going for a three, he misses, and he's the most famous player in the fucking NBA NBA G League now. Oh, you, Dude, you know, Pat missed once in a while too. That tall, bald, oh, you fat H O space Y O U space F A T. Ho, who I fuck, ho, who I fuck, yeah, ho, who I fuck. And, you, and the when the announcer does it, he goes, "I don't want any tweets towards me." That's his actual name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he's gonna get him. He's gonna get him for that. He's gonna get him just for saying that. They're gonna be like, "What's wrong with his name?" He probably did. He probably did. They probably should have done it for that, Chris. You know. Run, you fat They gotta do that for the other guy. So, Joe, you think you think it's pretty much like. Do you think if the the rumors of the buyout is true, do you think Punk is going to take the buyout? It sounds like he is. Wait, he's a lazy you know, fuck, and he's a. Sound, he's, it sounds like he's holding up the the whole situation because if he did, it would result. It sounds like he's the one that's holding up this whole. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I think he's not sure. In the right. I, I think he's not done <laughs> in wrestling, so he's going to oh, come oh, back he's and he's not, like, but dude, he's yeah. a, he's not going to he's going to make sure this goes on his terms. In his head, yep. he's going to make it go his way. That's uh, how he works. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's he's why Tony Khan is trying to get out of it then because he's like, all right, you're going to make legal stuff. I'm going to get rid of it. He needs some confidence. That little fucker, dude. I just watched him on Hawani's whatever fucking thing. And I'm like, this guy, say what you want him to be to Mark. That's obvious. Yeah. But it's like he has no balls behind what he – he doesn't believe in anything he's saying, I don't feel like. He's just he's so afraid of thinking negatively that he thinks everything's tremendous, everything's great. It's like, no, nah, dude, some of your shit's fucked up, and you need yeah. to address it. Oh, I'm the person of that is, this is not. You got to remember that he's a that he's a bill. He knows so that. He's, probably, he's just not going to no, say it publicly. He can't run he knows that, but he's not going to say it publicly to bury his own company, man. You think he's a fucking idiot? He's going to come out there and be like, yeah, you know what? We fucked up every time. You know, he's not a fucking moron. Sorry, like, I did, there's my call. No, I'm not what saying he doesn't stand to go one way or the other. I'm just saying he's he's got a not he's so confident sounding, uh, but he's not. Yeah. You can feel it. And yeah, no, no, yeah. Have, he's not gonna have a company <laughs> very long if he's not confident. I got the chance to meet him. You know, he was pretty yeah. good. I don't know what fucking piece of shit. I hope he dies. Oh uh, fuck. <laughs> fucking <laughs> I, you know, I, I know that CM Punk guy. Let me tell you something. If I was in that locker room right now, I'd have a problem with CM Punk. That's all I'm saying. Because I would try to fight him. <laughs> I would try to fight him. And then I'd break I I'd probably snap his neck is what I do. I snap his fucking neck. 
Oh, shucky, ducky, quack, quack. It's the <laughs> pop. <laughs> oh, the night. Oh, oh, for you, punker. Nah, dude, fuck it. Let him get what he wants out of this. Sam, <laughs> Sam, if, the way I see it, Sam Punk probably has something on AEW or the Young Bucks or no. Kenny or something. Yeah, he yeah, has something. It's called a fucking lawyer. It's called a lawyer with a lawsuit ready. That's what he's well, got. He's do, you, do you think he used the same guy he used on it's WWE? From what everyone is saying is that he is holding the whole lawsuit sure. up. And he might even be protecting uh, Ace Steel. So... Uh, well, no, still according has to Joe's video, he still has gone. been fired. So there's a Ace lot to be speculated. What the at least. fuck? I'm getting out of, but Ace still literally threw a chair at somebody's head. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, and he's still fucking employed. So what does that say? Oh, you, no, yeah, no, but they no, also he's gone. He's Joe been... said he's gone. Well, it doesn't matter because the guy employs fucking Andrade, saying oh, we're not going to get rid of you because you want to go. If he's smart, he would say, you really don't want to be here? Well, here. Here's your pay and get the fuck out of here because you well, don't want I mean, someone around that isn't about what you're doing. It's get not rid of Andrade. <clears throat> if you get rid of Andrade, think about this. Andrade is going to fucking gain a lot of attention. That's like, oh, fine. You, you oh. got to not worry about that if you're confident about your business. You want to yeah, move forward from the WWE, though. I agree with Jesse, to be honest. If they don't want to work there, just get them out. Get them out of there, man. Yeah, get yeah, out of there. It it's the just going to cause build issues. A garden. It's too easy to be the garden. You know, it's there's no you failure. Blue up He's, that's why he's not letting out Aleister Black of his contract. It's because it's mm -hmm. because... Yes, it makes sense. Why pay him if they don't want to be here? But it's also like, yeah. okay, well, you signed a fucking contract, and now I'm not going to just let you go so you can go to WWE the next week and fucking yeah, make, exactly make a friend of AEW and take all the fans that started to like you on AEW back over to WWE. Okay, like that yeah, but that's a chicken shit move. I feel like I would have a penalty. Like, okay, if you want everything settled right now, you need to fucking, this is what you're going to, like, you're not going to get what you think you're getting. You're going to get this amount because of their, you're penalized. We'll kill, we'll kill the contract now, but you need to, you're going to take a hit. And if they want to go where they want to go, well, whatever. Only cost him probably 500 grand at that point. Right. You know, I don't know. There's different ways to do it. I feel like he's keeping them held from getting another job because he's fucking scared. But they're still getting, think about it like this, right? Yeah. They already got the money. Because they're already getting paid, right? And then once they get fired, once they get fired or whatever, or they yeah. get let go and released to their contract, obviously the next spot that they're going is going to either be uh, an indie pr promotion that's going to pay them pretty mm -hmm. decent amount of money until they can get to a bigger co uh, company like WWE, or they go yeah. straight to WWE and make even more money. So what what's wrong with that though? What's penalizing them? What's penalizing them more? Not allowing them to really do anything, okay, gain any really real traction, have all of their momentum and heat basically die because they're sitting uh yeah. waiting waiting to be released or not. Or mm -hmm. or what's what's better? That uh I'm sorry, what's worse? That or getting uh, let go, um probably getting mm -hmm sort of payment out of it too because isn't there some sort of um like uh what's it called severance and then not only that you get a new you get a it shiny contract you get a shiny new contract and you get a bunch of attention as the AEW star well, but dude, it depends on your personality like in my case i would want i would feel like i'm still clinging on to them somehow they're draining me of my shit I want to move forward. Like I want to kill any contact with them. I want to kill any energetic ties with them. I want to be done with them until who knows down the line, right? It depends on who, what his philosophy is. Does he, if he wants to make a move, you're right, dude. That's powerful. It's a power move in a sense. I just like but Andrade and Alistair Black. I don't think it's any risk for him to have them still on because yeah. it's not, a waste of money for him. It's <clears> either way, he's good on those guys. But CM Punk's a whole other animal. The other hand, is not million fucking dollars that you like. Yeah. You have, by the way, man, do a lot of people fucking Eric Bischoff a huge apology. He was oh. so right. Like, <laughs> what, did, wait, what did he? I've heard him, but what? Did, what? Did, which part do you mean? Of what he said? He said that he said that CM Punk 
is the biggest financial flop AEW ever had. Yeah. Now, at the time he said it, when he said it, I don't. I didn't agree with him when he said it because I think a lot of viewers were watching because of Pump uh, Punk. Oh, dude, but, I, I was only watching because of his ass too. It's honestly. Funny. In retrospect, we do get a yeah. spin, we Allison. Like, um, how how long was CM Punk over there? Not even a year. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> 200 for Allison, so that's going to get her uh, 200 times 300. So that's going to be right. a nice little chunk there for Allison. What's the minimum for a spin again? Five bucks. And, uh, right, on. So right on. Right on, man. Right on. Right on, man. Um, <laughs> right on, man. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. So it looks like Allison yeah, is... I always say that. I Allison... Uh, say I think Allison's going to take home the crown tonight. I got to be honest, looking pretty good for her. We're not on much longer. Tomorrow night is beat the clock. Also, I want to mention this real quickly. Um, There's a a UFO report over Toronto last month. Let's go. It was advised to me, but it was also viewed over Boston and Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. Uh, Basically, it was a SpaceX fucking... God, I'd love to go into like this on the first stage that was just re entering and right. it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a big so deal. It was, yeah. UFO. Yeah. It was well, seen everywhere. It's, it's wasn't it Starlink? Okay. I thought it was Starlink, Why but it was SpaceX. It less of a well deal. they they launched the Starlink, but the thing is though, the they've got reusable rockets. So mm. what they do is that they just slow themselves down and then just, you know, come back in the atmosphere. So that's what Dude, people saw. All right, so people gotta stop this nonsense. We're gonna get fucked because of this. Like, dude, we're fucking the whole alien thing, it's like, you, how do people think that we're going to have the mental and emotional and spiritual capacity Whoa. to even see these things yeah. if we can't even fucking deal with each other without right. trying to kill each other? How the fuck? No one has the <clears> mental <throat> capacity to even see an alien or feel it or or hear it. What the fuck? Look, Jesse, we're getting a transmission from an alien right now. Listen to this. <laughs> Tell him you're black. <laughs> that was fucking ridiculous. Uh, it's not the oh, first time sure he's actually laughed. cried uh, like a bitch on fucking. Oh. Air, so. Is it really the first? No, it's not the first. I'm saying it's, oh. there's more than one I'd example cry. of him doing that. I'd, ah, cr- hey, uh, I'd cry hey, for you. Yeah. I'd cry for you. <laughs> Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> You guys never well, watched the fucking... I, I, that's right. Joe hates fucking musicals. The Madonna he likes movie? Fucking, uh, I saw the Madonna He likes movie. fucking female... Um, you know, what's it called? Uh, figure skating? Not but, really. Uh, no, I just watched it with my mom. here to defend himself tonight, which Wait, I would like, like to criticize skating, him bro? for. But that's uh, shit. he doesn't like musicals. No, dude. I like I liked, uh, Madonna in that. She was good. <laughs> what? Dude, I fucking hate figure skating and goddamn musicals. For the most Yoda? part, I I went to like South fun. Park, I, I do have to. I want to bring this up. Okay, and we got Latinos on the call. Um, when <laughs> they did this, you know, they did the whole uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. Madonna starred as Evita. I don't know if you yeah, guys, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yep. Um, it was like ninety three. Yeah, it, and I'm Argentinian. And stupid Argentinians come from a failed country. Complain, Good job. Oh my God, Madonna! She's such a whore. How she could? How could she play our first lady? Um, if anyone knows anything about history, Evita was actually prostitute, and Perón basically found her and said, "Okay, I'm going to make you my wife." But she grew wow. up as a whore. So if you're going to get mad at Madonna playing and 
you know, we, we know what Madonna did. Um, you can get mad at her playing a fucking whore of a fucking, you know, woman. You're fucking stupid. So I remember that coming out back in the 90s and stuff, and I balked at it because it's like, it, 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 Vita was a whore. Like, <laughs> why, what's the big deal here? Yeah, but, right. And it's also it's like why even get upset? Why even get upset that an actress is portraying um a female like because it, why it, why because this this woman uh, or Madonna I don't know if I call her a woman but okay so basically she basically was very open about her sexuality. So that's the reason it was like oh my god we're Argentinian Catholics how dare us fucking. No, it was fucking hypocritical. Besides the point that it's a uh, that it's hypocritical because uh, apparently she was a whore. What I'm saying is, who gives a fuck whether or not Mad like this person had sex at all, or fucking, or you know, fucked fucked dinosaurs, or who gives a shit? What does that have to do with their performance in a movie? You know what I mean? It's like when people like so many times in history has how many times in history has this happened where it's like. This guy's been casted as this guy? What the fuck were they thinking, bro? And then it turns out that that person was, like, perfect for the role. Except oh, for the case... Bloody Joker. Except for the case for uh, Chris Pratt's Mario, apparently. Because everybody was right up the money about that one. <laughs> Have you got the French translation of Mario for the movie? It, lo it sounds actually like Mario. I'm watching the movie in French. I'm not because I hate the French. I hope they all fucking okay. get shit on. Seriously, Canada. Hey Joe, really have you ever considered making an animated series? Yeah, I'd call it rape. Uh, you guys see Adam Driver as um, Enzo Ferrari? That's a new movie that's going to be coming out soon. Well, I hope I hope Brian in the chat gets hit by a Ferrari. You fucking loser. Mm -hmm. Oh, think damn. about the car. That's true. That's How'd true. You ruin a beautiful car. At least get like I don't know a Chevy. Get a Toyota. Oh my love. No, but Adam Driver looks like that guy can certainly change his look, just like fucking. Uh, um, was it uh, Bale? What's his name? Yeah, Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Thank you. Um, yeah, th this guy just to totally changed his look, and uh, this new movie that's coming out is similar, I guess, to the whole Ford versus Ferrari movie. Um, it, yeah, he certainly looks the part and looks like it's gonna get, gonna be a good movie. God damn it, I'm fucking drunk and stoned tonight. <laughs> Hell yeah! No way, me too. Ferrari. No, what a surprise! But then again, unlike Scunty there, who's there in the chat. Hello, Scunty, Mr. Omegle Stucker. Um, I don't get tased by six cops at once while trying to share my cake with somebody else. How did he never, he never well, made that? Why, that why did that sound like a bad porn? <laughs> but well, Dave just wanted it. That, but he that? never made that Look. cake night and stuffed his head into it you know what i mean well you he know tried to share that cake with joe and then uh when it was denied because joe was just so busy with his fucking anniversary episode this guy decided to go nuts so. that was so many years ago and it's still like i still feel in a way that he still hasn't forgiven joe for that and it's just like oh no the song's he, stuck in my head now they beat you no he won't <laughs> he'll never he'll never fucking forgive it he's again he's passive aggressive uh ocd type and it's gonna be something that's gonna forever you know infect his brain so he's you know never gonna let it go My matters on the well this horse is about to let it go a big shit stain into the desert look at this really the mysterious it's the okay, king is here Matters on the floor. It's okay, I am a horse. Fico matters on the floor. It's okay. Fico matters on the floor. It's okay, I am a horse. Fico matters on the floor. It could be worse on the floor. Fico matters on the floor. Fico 
And I certainly have um, a gay old time. And I certainly have um, a gay old time. No, I will relish that you die. When you go into hospice, when you're fucking in the hospital, when you're fucking gasping for air, I will be but a ba 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 loving it. <laughs> hey Joe, let's try a wee little X1000 spin. Luke knows way more about COVID than Dave. Garguts is the king of late night and Jesse is the voice of reason. Shout out Mastodon, Reckless Jeff, Luis Money, Raman. <clears throat> Damn, really mysterious giving everybody a shout out and some love. That must make him feel real bad because uh, me and Luke are actually reading a lot more than uh, he'd probably like. So, Well, and he's <laughs> also in Canada with you, so he could. you guys could go meet up again. Uh, for the time being. Well, here we go. <laughs> Really well, damn, I never heard anybody more fucking goddamn offended. What? What? Are you okay? Another, I'm sorry. Never mind. All right, 400,000 points to Really Mysterious. That will put him tied for second place with Garguts. And we're, the show's almost over, so... Oh, and they can vote for themselves? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not the belt, so that's okay. Speaking of that belt, uh, you got to send me that uh, belt. Well, you better do something. Cabin. Better do some. Uh, maybe you should send me a belt. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll work things out. It's okay. We'll, we'll I like how Dave Bob Ross says to get that belt. Did Dave just you have should, a? Dave just fucking should, had a meltdown. <laughs> no, no, no. He couldn't get another belt, so he wants his belt. I mean, My desire is to fix that belt. Okay, I called fun. it out when it happened. Over I never bucks. thought that belt should have been fucking defamed or fucking defaced. Hmm. And uh, I will fix it. So you're you gonna, are you gonna, are you gonna kill? Or you gonna take out? You gonna, uh, you gonna go well, after Joe? Actually, now that uh, now that the uh, requirements to cross the border won't require me to mm -hmm. uh, have the stab stab, um, maybe I will go Good. take a visit to uh, so that uh, individual. Joe Compton. What about what about when I lit it on fire? Do you remember that? I mean, you all you really did with disinfect at Gargots. Mm, You're not JB. Yeah, JB uh, lit on Oh, fire. actually, no. I lit the fucking thing on fire. I didn't put it in a fucking box like JB did and fucking pretend to lit it on fire for fucking Tommy to fucking go. Aah! No, I fucking actually lit that bitch on fire. The fucking Damn, goddamn like I... leather. If <laughs> Joe looks at the leather, you can see it singed from the fucking fire. So I guess I'm gonna have to fix that too once I get the belt. Okay. I was, mean, all, all Gargots really did with disinfect it. Gargots, why would you do that though? That just seems like that a is way weird to, like, to do. You wanted to copy JB and fucked up. So no, what I what no no no. no. What I said it was it was time for, it was time for it to die, and we needed we needed that new belt. And that's what happened. Oh, so you wanted to kill everybody else's fun and burn up a belt that you didn't pay for? Gotcha. I can burn up your fucking mother too, but whoa, dude, what is with you? That is like your go-to joke tonight. Well, yeah. I, yeah, I could do insert joke here. <laughs> that is weird. This is right, Rory's just, one. Just like the new trailer for House of the Dragon is here. The HBO original series premieres on August twenty-first on HBO Max. Wow. <laughs> you getting, pay, getting wow. paid for that commercial joke? <laughs> yeah, yeah, every right. Every time he plays it, thirty bucks. With that fucking oh, disgusting yeah. speech impediment that he has. <laughs> <laughs> what the man? I don't know I why. I was as keen as you guys were fucking capturing all these fucking clips, man. <laughs> yes. Dude, I've got... These are just like... Uh, and I, I gotta tell you something. I did not listen to Dave much, and I didn't. And I have a lot of clips, let me tell you. Most of Is them are... from one episode? No, but it's... Well, maybe like three, but it's like... I, I gotta carve... Who knows what else is out there? I mean, like, what? Too many. There's too many. Oh, man. You know what? That's just funny.
You know, it used to be funny was when I if I went back and listened to something, I didn't listen to a lot, like I said, but they were like even recently. But like I'll like I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna go. Oh, he he has something up. I'll listen to that for a minute, and I'll listen for like maybe 25 minutes, 30 minutes. But like in the middle of it, at some point, Dave goes, I know you're listening, Joe. Call up. And then I, it's like, but and I'm like, wait, oh, this isn't live, so I I can't like, I know, but I am now. But it's fine. So I'm like, I can't fucking call. It's already recorded. Um, but yeah, and I and I say that out loud. It's funny, but um, I don't. But yeah, and the other funny thing was always when like somebody, not not Dave, but anybody, other people would do things, and then they'd be like, "Well, you know what happened yesterday," and I'd be like, "What are you talking about?" You know. <laughs> like somebody did an Instagram live video and they're like, you don't know what happened yesterday. I'm like, no, I don't even follow that person. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? So, but I, I did, some of them were sent to me. Some people sent, listen to this, you know, you know, who is, uh, just so many great clips, you know, sometimes you get clips that are just dumb and I'm like, I don't give a fuck about this. They're like, whatever. But those funny little clips that people grab of that stuff, like Gar Hey, I'm at the bar. <laughs> you want to go in the restroom? Blah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how Gargut says picks up women and has sex with them at the bar. Hey, I'm at the bar. You want to go in the restroom? Blah. <laughs> hey, Joe. Uh, yes. I didn't get to and bring this up uh, on SmackDown earlier. It happened before, Paul, so damn. Paul Heyman was making a. Uh, he was doing a promo, and uh, he was You're bringing up. He was bringing up like old. Or no, yeah, like YouTube famous people, and it was so cringe. He was like, "Because Wait, are you talking about when he brought up Mr. T?" I just no. know that he fucking just like. Okay, well, Gargas, did you even watch the show? I don't think you did. But anyway, <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I fucking don't know. Are you even watching the show that you're on? Jesus Christ, that went from like left to right real quick. You're like, hey, uh, I know that uh, we're going to get off of this subject, but let me talk about this other thing real quick. Conversation topics that you bring. Hey, can we all just, when I was fucking uh, fixing uh, else's uh, How many times have you fucked a girl? Talk about when I, can we talk about when I fixed this guy's Can we talk about when you're pa past the virgin, then you can be cool? Talk about this. Talk about <laughs> you know, be a lot cooler if you fucked the virgin. Can we talk about this guy's shower pipes that I fixed? That I, I would. Fucking, you know what? As a the fan, first, he, the first girl that I, I, I predict that you're gonna fuck, and I know I, I respect. What are you guys this. talking about? I don't know. He's, he just got the fuck ever, and he doesn't talk about SmackDown. Being more of a retard than me. That's what I'm talking about. He's gonna lay the SmackDown on this fucking 58 year old girl, what? woman. Yeah. I Old lady, line her up. What yes. I say before fucking Garguts had to make a comment on every fucking sentence that I made was that it was fucking. One more time. Can you not interrupt and let him talk. Luke, there is this your first day? <laughs> is this your first? I remember my first. I remember my first pussy. Uh, the fucking dude. That's like the only joke you have. The whole your whole existence is funnier than me being. Uh... No, I did it even better, man. That's my that's my gift. Nobody cares. Just keep, going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. You don't like to be fucked with, so shut the fuck up. Metallica opened up for me, man. I opened oh, up Metallica's mother's legs. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> he goes. To All right. Listen, I'm gonna wrap it up because we gotta. Oh, okay. Joe's not pleased. He wants to just stop. Well, I got okay. we got I got beat the clock tomorrow. Some stuff to do. Luke Rojas was trying to talk about something. I don't know. He was interrupted. I don't know. We'll figure it out tomorrow. Extreme rules. Right now, extreme oh, rules is tomorrow night. It's a big show tomorrow night. Wait, did you do predictions or are we doing that? Wait, why it's coming, baby? Tomorrow. Can't wait tomorrow. to talk about. Okay. There's 15 people and one of them being Garguts on the call. So you know, mm. no. Can't can't wait to your virgin has to be around here too. He's not a what? person. Uh, he's not, he he can't be classified as a person. He's a hominid that hasn't fully mm. developed as well, a homo sapien. Unless something com <laughs> unless something comes in before the show Thank ends, uh, Allison looks like she's taking home the crown. Unless something changes, but right now, Allison, the queen, the queen, yeah. Allison, Takwa. Come on. One All right. point oh six million. Now, uh, and everybody, uh, now Dave, please publicly execute Garguts for everybody right now. Go ahead. I will do so. Hold, hold the execution. 
Gurgut's, um you might as well just euthanize yourself. Mm. Uh, you don't have that in the world at all. Mm. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're talking to a fucking Mexican that doesn't give a fuck about your goddamn... You don't even speak Spanish. You call yourself Mexican, you call yourself American another day. You don't even speak Spanish. Well, I'm, 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 it's, it's a lot harder to be uh, three, four nationalities at once. What are you? Well, you're not really even Mexican. You lied about hey, that. Stupid. I what? never lied about it. Uh, you want to see, you want to see my uncut dick I'm gonna, I'm gonna on your face? In, um, I'm going to tag in uh, Luke Rojas. Why did you lie about having sex too? Like that's so weird that you lied about having sex and you lied about being Mexican. Me nobody talked about nobody talked about sex. What are you talking about? No, now you're being weird. Okay, well that's now okay. no, that's weird. No, no, that's weird. Continuing to talk about. It's no. really strange that no, you're. No, you know, holy shit! Fucking Luke Rojas needs to have sex so much that he brings it up in other people's conversations. It never happened. Wow, oh, you yeah. really need sex so much as that you bring up me being a virgin fifteen hundred times. I'm starting to think that you never. That had was sex. non-sex, not having Did sex. You, what? So, so no. you are what? Mexican and you haven't had sex, but you lie about having sex. Okay. Wait, I thought he was talking damn, to me. This about guy needs to have sex already. Stuff. God damn. God damn, this guy needs to stop lying about being Mexican, even though he doesn't know a lick of once Spanish. He, once he, he busts a nut and somebody, he's gonna be like, "Oh, I get it." Dude, never once this mind. guy lying about busting nuts into people. Hey, don't. When he, he lives on. Fucking with his fucking piece of shit maintenance man guy job, probably some fucking loser job that has turned I like into this is a fantasy you live in. <laughs> this sounds like a fantasy you have in your mind. I'm talking like a prince now. Right. So that I gotta get out of here. That was I, I was wondering where that would go, but man, that was that was like first grade retard level fight right there. Uh, I thank Dave Rose, Luke Rojas, Gargut's Jesse and everybody else who stopped by tonight uh, for being on Monetize this episode 387. We are so close to 400 episodes of Monetize this coming up. Tomorrow's Beat the Clock, but it's really an episode of Extreme Rules. So tomorrow night's going to be a big show. Uh, predictions video in the middle of the day, and maybe some other things as well. Man, I had a blast tonight, and congratulations. Looks like Allison taking home the crown. The queen is mean and hard. I'm ready to go. That's right. They're nice tits. They're <laughs> Will. fucking beautiful. They're fucking wicked awesome, man. Whoa. Wicked awesome, man. Yeah. You want to be wicked awesome? Come with me. It's Duke Nukem against one cocksucker. Sorry. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Dragons Roar is one. The new trailer for House of the Dragons is here. The HBO original series premieres on August 21st on HBO Max. No. Oh. Wow. Man, this is all jacked up on. To defend himself with that fucking disgusting speech impediment that he has. <laughs> Good Lord. Hard to believe Monetize This 300 was this long ago. Not that long ago, really. A lot of people have tried to burn Joe Cronin. A lot of people have tried to stop Monetize This. But no matter what they did, they didn't put out the fire. <laughs> you know, it's on a night like this. That I realize why so many big dogs have left the show. Big reason for that is the fact that the biggest dog ran them off. Unwillingly, I might add. I would have rather had them all here tonight. But over the years, Alpha dogs, 
they go slave. Alpha dogs realize that they've been dominated. And when they realize that, they tuck their tail between their legs and they run away. And that's why tonight, on Monetize This, after the last year, you think a guy like Drew would ever last this long on this show? You think other people like this that we've had on, Nerdy, Jesse, etc., would last on this show? No way. They've existed because I've allowed them to exist. But tonight, I go back to what I was years ago. Tonight, I reclaim my spot. Tonight, I'll monetize this 300 as the alpha dog. Woof! As I stare into this fire, I'm reminded of the past flames. The fucking dog the barking in the background. And of the inferno that Monetize This started as. And as the wood is slowly burnt to a crisp, one beautiful piece of wood at a time burned through char cold, dried out, and rotted away. I'm coming to the realization that every other so-called alpha that's ever been on the show was that wood. They were that wood. They couldn't stand the test of the fire, and when they were put to the fire, they burned. For a long time, I wondered why. Why I didn't burn in the fire. Why I didn't flame up and perish. And that's when I realized I'm not a piece of kindling. I'm not a branch. I'm not a piece of wood. I am the fire. I am the alpha dog. And tonight I'll monetize this 300. I will become what I created, the monetize this champion for the fifth time. And nobody can stop me. Everybody die. Little Lance Archer is from Joe there. Except I actually won. We're only uh, 13 episodes away from Monetize This 400. Congratulations, Allison. And good night, everybody. You're all sex machines. Oh, fuck. I lost the belt that night. You're right. Really mysterious. J-Man dropped $2,500. Wow. Well, we'll never see J-Man again. Thanks to, uh, you know. Good night.